Hello, everybody. I'm awake. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put my clothes in the dryer last night. But now I gotta dry my clothes before I can leave and go to a dog now. Hmm. So that makes me a nigger here. Big time. That makes me a nigger here. Oop. I'm gonna run that down. There we go. So. That the monster is on my laptop so I can see who all's in here because I'm not awake yet. Let's see. Little guy, you're right. I forgot your seat. Come on, little guy. Leave the cat alone. Come on. Come on. You do it, you that. Oh, goodness. All right, let me get my glasses on so I can see. Starting the morning out just perfect, aren't we? <laughs> Let's see. Got the little in there. Mike Sampson, Sampy Sam. What's up, Sampy? Skip Jack, Cindy, Gigster. Stonefly, good morning. Hey, Chris, morning, Hooks and Hammock. Y'all working or? Oh, y'all was headed to Tennessee or something, weren't you? Uh, I don't remember. I'm not, I'm not completely awake yet. Where was I? Okay, let's have me misplaced country girl. Good morning. Greg Wolf Outdoors. Good morning. Fat boy Eric. Good morning. Hold on, Eric. I'll put that invite thing up and you'll be able to come up. But you got to go out now, too. Okay. So, why are you coming? Little guy. What was doing in there, huh? What were you doing in there, huh? It is cold out there this morning. Jesus. It is cold out there. Maybe I just, good thing I did leave my clothes in the washer. All I got to say. Maybe it's a good thing. Trying to get going. What is today? Friday. That figures. Let's see here. Got that. Get like this. Copy that. See, put that there. Uh, more post comments. Okay. Okay. Finished off with Eric. 
Chuyện này bị 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 cả đã chọn phi phu bên kia luôn. Wonder how long it's gonna take my bibs to dry. There we go. Now we're good to go. Erk, Erk, fat boy Erk, you come up there now. Squirrel, squirrel. Yeah, I thought you were going somewhere, Chris. I couldn't remember. You're going to Tennessee, right? We're about to Tennessee. I'd come and drive you if I wasn't going somewhere already. Uncle Lou, I'm going to be heading out here as soon as humanly possible. I forgot to put my clothes in the dryer last night. So I got, I guess I got them in. I just got to wait for them to dry. Uncle And as cold as it is, I'm not in that big a hurry. Here you go. Here we'll we'll get that. Here, you Yeah, I can't look on my phone what the temperature is, but I got a feeling the temperature, if you look at the weather thing, says cold. Okay, let's see. Did you say snow, Uncle Lou? Okay, we got a drink of Red Bull, and I should be zooming now. All right, now let me continue doing what I'm doing here. Uh, got squirrel. Good morning, J and J. Good morning. Good morning, Curtis. Geekster. <laughs> Well, I ended up, I went. To, I had to go to Walmart last night so I'd make sure Mom had enough stuff uh, while I was gone. And heck, I don't think I got back from there till 9, maybe close. Well, uh, whatever, Catfish Weekly was, is, was that what was on last night? Catfish Weekly? I don't remember, whatever. Yeah, that's what, no. Bake shop was on, but some one of those two was on anyway. I got home just as it was ending, and then it dawned on me that I needed to wash my bibs and some stuff. I don't remember what I washed, and while it was washing, I was doing something and. Decided it was getting late and I needed to go to bed. <laughs> Here we are. I don't know how long it takes for stuff to dry. It'll probably take, what, 45 minutes, you think, an hour? Here's the way it goes. When that gets dry, I shall get into my vehicle and head to J-Dog's crib. I know he's probably not up yet, or if he is, he may be up. I don't know. 
Okay, don't text me if you're awake. I know I seen almost a full moon last night, so I don't know if anyone knows if they think that affects the fishing or not. Tilly, what is that barking about? Huh? What? You already had your treat. Sorry, that's all you're getting. Okay. So I reckon we won't get to fish until we get to fish sometime today, which I don't know what the temperature is, but it's cold. Let's see. I don't know if I can do that on my phone. Why? I got this launched or not. I know it's uh, sketchy to try to check something else out or whatever. You know what I mean? Thank God I don't need a map to get to J Dogs. You talking down here? Or. Mm -hmm. Stonefly, are you talking about over by J Dogs or down in Tennessee where Chris and them are going? That's a gig. See, I I was a kid. They always told me that the catfish didn't bite with the full moon. But I was watching, I forget, I think it's a live one here. Not too long ago, and there was a full moon, and they were catching the heck out of catfish. So I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, oh, okay. Most rain's supposed to come today. In this evening, so if you are all fishing tomorrow, should be okay. We're planning plan on fishing today too, so looks like we're gonna get wet. Better make sure I got some kind of rain gear. I don't know if J Dog's got a top or not. Let's see. Let's check the weather, Cincinnati. That gets us close. Okay. Check Friday, Friday, Friday. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you only need the edge. Well, it says. Oh, I'm not, I'm horrible this morning. I'm trying my best, guys. Bear with bear with me here. I'm trying to look at the weather for Cincinnati today. I don't see any rain around Cincinnati today at all. Now wind, we got seven, six, five, 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 three, two, and then three a.m. Got eleven mile per hour. So right now the temperature doesn't look bad. It's thirty now, and it shows it going all the way up to fifty-three degrees at three p.m. Anybody else see that? Okay, I'm looking at, I don't know, I think it's the Weather Channel thing on online. What the 10-day forecast says on the Weather Channel thing. 
Yeah, you're right. See, it's different than the other one I was looking at in Boneheads. But at least it's going to be kind of warm. 59. Barley College guys this morning will give way to occasional showers during the afternoon. High 59. Winds light and variable chance of rain 60%. That's a pretty high chance. And then... Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you only need the edge. <laughs> morning, Nate. And then Saturday, it says, morning clouds give way to sunshine for the afternoon. A high 49. Winds north at 10 to 20 mile per hour. Yeah, Saturday sounds kind of rough. Saturday night. 26 degrees, clear skies, low of 26. Northeast winds, 10 to 15. Let's see, northeast, we can probably find a non-windy place somewhere on the Licking River, I would say. So, I just needed to know how to dress, actually, so I should be all right. <laughs> All right, Curtis. Okay, well, there's the moon comment. This place Country Girl, Kentucky weather, 60 plus with rain after 11 a.m. Okay, thank you, Country Girl. You live there, so you would know well. You're uh, west of there, but it come through that way, I suppose, before it comes here. missing there yeah nate i'm already got the long johns out i'm just i'm gonna have to get in the garage and get uh, one of my good winter coats i had one of those three and ones from catfish clothing that was derby, literally an awesome coat and uh warm waterproof windproof i mean they're the best. And uh, I seen some kids standing at the gas station last year. Where, and it was like freezing rain and just horrible out. And uh, he had a sweatshirt on. And uh, what happened to my thing? I don't know why it changed. But anyway, he had a sweatshirt on. And a blanket wrapped around him, and that was it. And it was freaking cold out. And uh, I talked to him on my way into the store. He's a young guy. He's probably in his mid-20s, early 30s, I'd say. But he says a vet. He's homeless. I asked him some questions to see if he was really in service or not. And he was. So when I come out, I gave him my three-in-one coat and told him, I said, this will keep you dry and warm, you know, if you put it on. And uh, at least it will stop the wind and stuff. So I gave it to him. Now I got to give me another one just while I was getting out. But I looked on the website and I couldn't find it. So, in fact, I messed up last night. The guy was on the show last night and I should have asked. If he still had those. And. Uh, if he did then. I, I know I can order one. I'm rambling this morning. Because I'm just not awake yet. <clears throat> Dad. Snuck his phone. In his little walker thing. It's got a little. Pouch lid on it where you said that <clears throat> I'm sitting there yesterday afternoon get what I'm doing but all of a sudden my phone rang and it was him I was like are you kidding me he took his phone he snuck his phone with him I'm like man you gotta be kidding me and he couldn't find a suitcase well, what happened they, he'd come in they you know, check him in, everything, give the nurses his medicine, all that, and then they take 
took his clothes down to the laundry and they put these, they almost like an iron on thing with his name on it, <clears throat> on all his clothes. <clears throat> so he, you know, so no one can steal his clothes if they have his name on them. And that's what, that's where his suitcase was. Is it was north of going to snow up by South Bend, Nate? But anyway, I don't know how many times he called. And I called the nurse to ask about the suitcase because I had no idea what he was talking about. Yeah, me too, Lou. I, I, I can't talk enough good things about it. It is bar none the warmest coat I ever had. Keeps you dry, keeps you warm. You can take the liner out in the spring and fall, and it keeps you dry and warm enough. In fact, I have the liner. The liner wasn't in it when I gave it to the kid. I just had the shell come think of it. But he had a insulated sweatshirt on already. And I let Dad wear the liner one day, so now it's his, according to him. Oh, that's mine. I bought that. <laughs> Where you at, Eric? Mainly that you're Michigan, yep. The lake effect snow. Yeah, yeah, the liner you... Pretty much only wear in the winter time. But today would be a really good day to have that coat, is, was the gist of my story. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got stuff to load up. I don't even have a clue. Okay. Freezing holes and clothes is about it. Some lunch stuff, I reckon. Finster, the Finster, good morning. Drifter Nomad. All right, Drifter man, thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Oh, what was I thinking? This is going to show a prime example of the I don't ever hurry me because we'll get there when we get there, I reckon. Even though I know J Dog's grinding his teeth mad at me right now. <laughs> but he loves me, so he can't stay mad at me for too long. I'm his charity case this year as far as fishing goes. I got one bag of malted Easter eggs left. Question is do I take them with me or no? Look, I take that back. There's a half a bag there, too. So I got a bag and a half. I think I'll take them because sometimes driving, if I take something to munch on, uh, I don't smoke as much. I gotta dig. I better do that. Now I gotta get my medicine out of my backpack and take it. I forgot. Wait, maybe I laid it. Bet I did. Thank 
is today? Today is Friday. Yeah, it's like they're all in there. Yeah, Gray Wolf, you have no idea. It's not even efficient. It's the fact I can, can wake up this morning. I don't have to worry about that or anything waking up while I'm sitting here talking or having to do some junk, you know. And I did have an order come in, an appraisal request, and I wasn't taking any because every time I did something happened with Dad, but I got to do some kind of work too, man. I can't not work. So I'm going to, I went ahead and accepted it. I'm going to do it next week. Thank you, Greg Wolf. I appreciate that, brother. Oh, yeah, I was starting to get grumpy, man. Well, I told mom yesterday after uh, they come and got dad, I was like, you know, I was getting grouchy. I definitely needed some time away. Hey, Stephen, how are you? Still in you. How are you, man? That's my favorite person on YouTube, bar none. If I was rich, I would hire him as my hype man. And I'd pay him a million dollars a year just to hang around. My PB cat is a 10.8 pound channel. I caught up here. It was my first, what I call, I didn't know at the time that that was a good size channel cat. I think I got a picture, a video, or something somewhere. What do we do? There we go. Bear with me, Russ. I had to do this on uh, my phone, and I ain't real good at it. Are you on the road yet? Oh, no. I <laughs> I forgot to put my clothes in the dryer last night. Oh, yeah. I've done that. Hi, Denise. Gray Wolf. Uncle Luke is still in yet. Any fans? What you talking about, the liver, Uncle Lou? You mean you? No, you guys are my 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 partners. But as far as people on YouTube, that guy has the most positive attitude, man. I'm telling you. And if you want to increase the quality of your life, try to have positive people around you. Yeah, well, I guess we would get there. Roasting. He said roasting. Uncle Lou likes me. He said roasting. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Curtis. You all know you're all right with me, but you know what I'm saying, and if you don't, blow me. How's it? Oh, shoot. I forgot. This isn't a backstage conversation, is it? <laughs> Oh my goodness, buddy. Oops. He's a man. That's funny yeah. you said 50 pounds because that's my goal for this year is a 50 pound cat. If oh, I only yeah. catch one fish all year and it's a 50 pound blue, then I will have had a successful year. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Stonefly, good morning. Yep. I caught, so far, I have bagged over 100. And I still got three quarters of a cooler to do. Morning, Stephen Merchant. Oh, yeah. I can't skip Jack every time I go. So. Yeah, you guys won't see uh, Curtis Monday on the Hog Leg Show because he won't want to show his face after I kick his butt this weekend with my Uncle Lou spinning rod. Oh, no, <laughs> I take that back with the, uh, the Mad Cat rod that J Dog gave me for my birthday. That's the rod that will send him home with his tail between his legs. 
Morning, Yak Shore. How you doing, Anthony? Hey, Yak. Good showing this last weekend, brother, in that tournament. You killed it. Yeah, I missed that tournament. I was uh, skipjack fishing. I wasn't. What was I doing? Oh, I was. Uh, oh, heck, I took my muscle relax from Friday night. I slept all day Saturday. Hey, Dylan, yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. I'll Google that one later. I wonder. That is a good question. That'd be kind of old, I'd imagine. Stonefly said, nope, we didn't have it. No, I'm good this morning, Curtis. I'm doing all right, except I'm an idiot because I left my, I didn't put my clothes in the dryer last night. So besides not being too intelligent, I'm doing okay. <laughs> yeah, Stonefly, Roger was up there and, and I decided before I keep any, I'm going to give him three seven-gallon bucket pools, and I did. And we filled that. He had this monster cooler, a big one. And uh, we filled that dude up. Then I started keeping some for myself. Then I wind up keeping three seven-gallon bucket pools for myself. How's my shoulder healing? It's healing good, but right now it's sore. Yeah, I bet it is from vacuum packing vacuum packing bought a few hundred fish yeah it does that whenever because i have to grab with my left hand and hold the bag in my right hand yeah that's the only way i'm coordinating with it so yeah i'm sitting low so i get down to the cooler good and it's just i do about 100 150 then i quit and then i Right, right. Some fly, they were on they were on the live and then once they get ready to start fishing they went away didn't they i remember we was watching i was watching that they were up on the live <laughs> and once they were getting ready to start fishing for skips they went away but i guess didn't you go live rustic no uh, no uh, me and, okay. talk about it, and then we decided let, let's just fish yep because sometimes that camera is a jinx man I got a bucket full of fish, 25, 30 pounds. You know how you smash them in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go in here and check. Right, he carried mine up at seven gallon, and he came back and he said, You're a lot of fish. I feel you, Rustic. I think it's this dang cold, wet weather. Yeah. just buzz. Even after I was done skipjack fishing, I felt good. Yesterday, I felt good until I started packaging up fish. I thought, eh. Hey, I guess because I was moving around more. And I'm going to tell you, Roger, he's, he's like me. It, it, what you see on lives and on people's panels, that's what you see in person. I mean, he's just like he is when he's on his show with Creo. Uh, I found out if you catch a blue cat or a flathead, I've got to dispatch it invasive in Jersey. Wow. Well, there you go. Take home dinner. Morning, Jay. Yeah, take that dinner. I just can't get comfy at all. I feel like I'm a crackhead bouncing around. <laughs> Morning, dope, Jay. Get that coffee. I know you, Uncle Louie, when you got a foot out and you can't get it walking around, it's irritating as crap. Just like I can't grab what I want to with my left hand in it. And I keep forgetting and I try to go for it, then I pay for it. Hmm. Hey, the Piper. Oh, yeah, you pay it good, too. And I imagine Uncle Louie, when he tries to do something, like he pays for that. I hate when you're sleeping and you jerk real quick awake when you got when you have something like that healing. Yeah. 
<clears throat> like I'll be laying in bed sometimes and the way my nerve damage is, I can be sound asleep and all of a sudden my whole body like jerks up off the bed just yep. real hard. And I did that the other night. I tried to and I was just about to sleep comfortable where my arm could be comfortable where I can lay to bed. And it did that and oh my God, it threw that left arm up in there and I was like, oh hell, yeah, heck of this. That woke me up. My ex said I always used to to jump when I was sleeping the night after I went racing like that day, that night when I was sleeping, I I jumped a lot. And I just figure I was probably dreaming about the race that day before and you know, sometimes making, you know, making those jumps out there. Yeah. I jerk. She said I jerked and and stuff when I was asleep. Yeah, mine's for my nerves. It makes my body jump. Well, no, I used to get the worst cramps because I didn't properly hydrate when I went racing. <clears throat> I would get these cramps. They set up Bill in drive. between the thighs because when you're racing your dirt bike, you're gripping the bike with your legs. And man, I would get these massive cramps. Yeah. Well, Uncle Lou, it's like I said yesterday. It, it, I don't know about y'all, but it drives me nuts when I have to wait on somebody. And uh, to to go, I'm I'm ready to go, and we have to wait yep. on people because yep. you can't. J Dog's gonna, gonna be mad today, but then again, it's twenty some degrees. It's it. We'll wait till the sun comes up. Anyhow, ain't no way in heck I'm getting out on that water this early. Hey Chris, I just came back in, and it seems there's a whole lot of jerking going on in here. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, NJ. Jerky boys, what up, NJ brother? How are you, man? How's your pop doing, by the way? I feel bad. I didn't ask you that the other day. I know next year I'm going to invest in it. Pair of bib coveralls or whatever fishing stuff. Now that I know I'll be able to go a couple times throughout the winter. I know I've been told I need to invest in some good rain gear. I said, Why? I don't like fishing rain. Yep. Yeah. Even if you have rain gear on, you still get wet. Yeah, and it's miserable. I used to hate in the army, we'd have to wear those ponchos in basic training. And it'd be raining and humid, so you'd get just as wet in the poncho from the humidity. I was in South Carolina in basics. Hey, is Chris Hooks Ham, is he going to fish this weekend? Chris said, money, money, money. <laughs> he said, man, it's that cold it's about to break you going out there. Let's see. I need to check Dad's closet. I think my Uncle Lou t-shirts have disappeared. <laughs> NJ said, still, yeah, it's been so cold lately. I haven't even looked at the future. <laughs> <laughs> That's what do it. Yeah, because I just washed a bunch of t-shirts and I don't see an Uncle Lou t-shirt nowhere in the pile. Huh. <clears throat> I always figured that he had some chunky in him. <laughs> Talking about Chris. <laughs> so when do you plan that you're going to plan about that blood? Blah, 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 blah. When do you plan on getting out of there then? About what time? Oh, here in about 30 minutes, mate. What time is it? 530? 
Five o'clock. So it'll probably be here in the next 30 minutes. I'm packing my clothes now, so as soon as I'm done doing that, got to get dressed. And we know I'll forget something. We'll probably have to turn around and come back. Bell and me. Giga Billy said, uh, stop and get him an egg McMuffin and a hash brown. Or talk, talking about a uh, NJ. He's out there. So, except for stopping and grabbing a red bull or whatever, I should be able to just get on the road and go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave for now a official staple of my diet. Not much, NJ. That ain't going to do much for you, fishery. Hey, NJ, did you catch any carp for the day, buddy? Okay, that back now. Hey, I reckon this one's ready. Even though I know I'm forgetting something. He has now and grab a spray paint can. <laughs> Let's see. Well, NJ, if you ever show up at a man's house and he's wearing a bikini, you got a beard. And more hair on his chest than Bigfoot, you better run. Yes, 50, it's only 503, yep. Eric, when you coming up so I can click the button there, I'm getting ready to go in here and get dressed. Hey, Uncle Lou, you know what day it is? It's Friday. It's therapy day. <laughs> Oh, yes, it is. Friday, Friday, Friday. We'll sell you the whole suit, but you'll only need the edge. On a Jimmy Geiger. Geiger counter. Hooks and Hammock said, is Buggy staying, is Buggy staying live for the drive? I'm a poet, and yeah. I didn't. Yeah, I'm planning on it. NJ said, Bug, I almost had a hit the other day. Almost had a hit. Yeah, I'm with you, man. That's my life these days, too. Almost had a hit. <laughs> I hope. Jay said he's going back to bed, Buggy. What's that? The Colorado Jay said he's going back to bed. All right, brother. I don't blame you. If I had somebody to drive me, I would go back to sleep myself. Chris said, okay, we're leaving now. <laughs> you want to jump up here? You can go ahead and jump up here while you're driving. I'll be I'll be going <clears throat> excuse me, going out here and getting in the truck in about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I got to do morning things, you know, before I go. <laughs> and then, yep. uh, be careful out there in this cold weather mornings, man. Them deer are on the move. You'll, you'll more than likely be in Tennessee before I make it to J Dogs the way I drive. Oh, sweatshirts. That's what I was going to look for. Is, uh, Chris, you going fishing with somebody or are you doing a tournament? There's Jody, Jody, Jody. I watched your live from last night. You started off with a good story, try to tell a storyline, then James interrupts and cut you off. I was waiting to hear the rest of the story.
Yeah, it's probably a good idea to wear a long sleeve t shirt under the sweatshirt, wouldn't it? Amen. Like Chris is telling them. Yeah, I see you, Eric. Hold on, buddy. <coughs> yeah, maybe not. I thought I seen someone. No, it uh, jumped out, jumped back in. Oh, whoa, okay. Good morning, Jody. You don't remember much of last night. What y'all been what y'all drinking out there? I don't know, but she was hilarious what I seen. Yeah. Yeah, I told her said she started the show off with it, trying to tell a story and uh and James cut her off and she never come back to the story and I'm sitting there like where's the rest of the <laughs> I forget what it was I seen. Oh, she was doing the skunk off magic potion yeah. wave thing or something. <laughs> I just watched Jody just, uh, just wait to hear her start giggling. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a good show. I watched it. I guess Possum could get signaled to get up on there. But he went fishing and he caught a couple catfish, caught a blue channel cat and, and uh, something else, I think. Jody saying hello to everybody. Everybody saying hello to Jody. I better check real quick and see how long it takes me to get to the licking. So I'll know what to tell J Dog when I leave, how long it is before I get there. Let's see. Google Maps. I'm going to give you some more coffee, buddy. No worries. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to go up here by Cincinnati. Looking right there. Let's see, I'm sorry. Let's see here. Where is the one I get off at? Look, man, when I go to therapy, I see two therapists. I see a one day I'll see a guy therapist, the next day I see a woman therapist. That really? woman hurts me. <laughs> yeah, she must have something against men. <laughs> no, it's just a yapping the whole time and you, you just have to sit there and listen. And uh and she'll pull on your arm. You say, hey, 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 that's a little bit far right there. And she's supposed to pull it that far. She's supposed to, she, that's that's in a massaging phase of it. Yeah. And, uh, and but that guy will tell me, he'll tell me, so I got you, I got you. Just relax your arm. I got you. It ain't going to go nowhere. <laughs> she don't tell you nothing. She just pulls it. <laughs> Good Lord. So, lady, my arm won't bend that way right yeah. now. Yeah, I'd be like, come on, man. You're killing me, lady. All right. Nope, I'm not going that way. I'm going this way over here. Sorry, that Highway 1 is way too twisty. Two hours and 29 minutes. Yeah, now, I don't have much to see her, but she's got a big upper chest, and she'll put my hand between them, my arm, 
and try to tell me to relax. And I'm like, yeah, I, I'm trying. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be back. I got to get dressed. Where is that pampered pooch Jay though? Either he's watching or he's asleep or he's trying to get the boat ready, waiting on bug man. Sorry, Chad, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking up something on the map. <coughs> Glad you said physical therapist. Yeah, it, I mean it done pretty good. I went Tuesday. And when I left out of there all day, my shoulder felt good. It felt like a million bucks. And uh, they put that tingling machine on there that sends the electrical waves in there like massage your muscles. Oh my God, it felt like heaven. I need to get me one of those that I can take fishing and I can let it run while fishing. <laughs> They said I qualify for one to put on my shoulder, and uh, I'm going to have to look in that. What is it? Uh, $30 on Amazon. Oh, I'm going to check that out. What is it you're talking about? Trial coast? <laughs> Ten unit. Oh, do those work, do they? On my back, it didn't work at all. Because yeah, my. I don't know why. My, my spine is when I got crushed under that steel, it, it smushed it like hamburger. So it, mm. it's those muscles are messed up a lot, but boy, it felt good in my shoulder. Huh. I'm going to look that up. $30 on Amazon. Yeah, because when I got done Tuesday, when I left out there, I was pain free all day. But they told me that when they done that nerve block, they said it's going to be probably three months for the nerves start stop. Uh, Hurting every now and then. I have an internal spinal stimulator battery is now dead. The wires go to the base of the brain system. And the long spine. Yeah, they wanted to put one of those in my back. And I said, how often does this battery got to come and get cut to cut open and get the battery changed? I said, it depends on how much you use it. Well, I'll be in here every month and a half. And I said, I don't think so. Mm. <clears throat> That's went from green to white in just a few minutes here. Oh, Uncle Lou getting some snow. Hey, curbside. Good morning. Curbside Classic said good morning, Bugman. Bugman is trying to get packed and ready to, for his trip. He'll be back in a moment. And that snow starts piling up. It's going to drive Uncle Lou nuts. So I say, just pull up to the window and just watch it come down. Get a hot cup of coffee, a good cup of hot chocolate, and just sit back and watch. Mine is rechargeable through the skin. It lasts 11 years out. Yeah, the one that, when back when I was having mine down, they didn't have the rechargeable one. I had a battery in it. I had to go with and I told him I really didn't want that battery in my body. <laughs> It'd have probably done me a lot better. Help me get through the uh, nerve pain a lot better.
I watched a movie one time and years ago. It was an older movie, but it's a newer type movie. Can't remember the name of it, but these old rich people, they would, uh, 18, 20 year olds, they would get in a car crash and they'd be brain dead and they would pay to have their brain took out of their body, put in that younger person's body. Then they can live their life over again. They was living like hundreds of years. And, uh, then it got to where they were actually harvesting young people and making them brain dead so the rich can put their brains in their bodies where they keep living. What movie was it? I can't think of the name of it, but uh, it's where old people that was real filthy rich. They was living yeah. for like two years. They was basically buying young people's bodies and putting their brains in their body. Oh, that's cool. I like the premise. Unless I'm the young person, then I'm like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> hey, Kevin, Paul Mel Cass in there said, did you forget to put your on your makeup again? <laughs> nope, close. Looks <laughs> <laughs> said, get out. <laughs> I don't want to see me without clothes on. I know you all don't. Look out, Max. I'm trying to get dressed, everybody. I know, I love you too, but I gotta get ready to go. J Dog's already gonna be mad. <laughs> J Dog's probably glad you didn't show up right now because it's cold out there. Yeah. Well, I told him I was gonna try to leave by 5 30. Lou said he's a good idea if I had not forgot to dry my clothes. <laughs> Uncle Lou said his ground was turning white already. Oh, that's the name movie, Get Out. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it. Oh, okay, cool. Get Out. Well, they started out as getting young people that had brain trauma and they were brain dead. But they had healthy bodies. And then somehow somebody got greedy or something and they started going out purposely taking out young people to sell them. It, it, it was a good movie. I ain't seen that for a long time. I was thinking, man, it'd be nice to live about six, seven hundred years, see how the world evolved. Yeah, I don't think I'll wear my boots. I'll put them on when I get there, I reckon. I would, too. I'd be comfy on the drive. Exactly. NJ said uh, they opened up a bar over here. It's called the gym. So some people can tell their wives that they're at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Where there are you going? Got, to the gym? Came in, uh, Palmetto came in. Yeah. Hey, Lauren, Kevin. Curbside Classics, good morning. Stephen Merch, good morning. And it looks like everybody. Yeah, they still coming in. I'm glad you said physical therapist. Sure. Uncle Lou said NJ, they have one here called Work and Church. <laughs> mm -hmm. Work and Church. That's wrong. You <laughs> that building will probably burn down. I won't be in it very often. Hey, up at Lake Wapel, they used to have a bar up there. They'd go in on Sundays and drink and, and worship the Lord. <laughs> Had a preacher, a band, everything. First Baptist bar, Israel. Well, I got an avatar up there, man. Oh, good. No, no. There we go. There we go. I'll come back up here. Hey, fishing with Jeff Beal. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. There's that better than Jay. Would you rather look at all this sexiness than my avatar? I don't think so. <laughs> hey, 
Morning, Jeff. Hey, y'all don't forget to go over and check out Jeff's uh, bill he's got coming up where he's got the DIY build your own rod out of, out of stuff laying around. You're funny boy, NJ. <laughs> You're funny man. Yep, I got a feeling I'm going to get cold. <laughs> You're going to get cold? Yep. yep. Now, I don't have my winter gear like I did when I used to work outside. So, yep. We're just going to have to keep layering stuff on, I reckon, until I get warm. Hey, Jason Buggy's laying in bed now, laying in bed naked right now. Yep, not even thinking about getting up for another hour. <laughs> I'm trying to think up an excuse about an hour from now for why I ain't there yet. <laughs> like, oh man, I had flat. I'm on my way though. Oh shoot, I forgot about that part. Dun, dun, dun. Y'all don't forget about uh, fishing with JBT. His tournament is tomorrow. It's the 23rd. I think it's tomorrow. Uh, from 9 a.m. till I don't know when it quits, but Channel Cat tournament. Yo, tune in That's for that cool. one. Cool. Then I think Jody will be live tonight. Hopefully not during the hours of Fish Nation. See, that's what sucks. Getting ready to start sweating on the damn house is so warm. Yeah, Jody, Jody's out fishing. She just wants to come up on, on our panel and just fish. That'd be awesome. You're very well. Much, 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 much welcome. To do something. <coughs> uh, Jeff, yours is tomorrow at 10 Central Time? Or is, I know JBT's is, is 9, 9 o'clock, 10, 10 Central, yeah. Rob, aren't you fishing this morning too? Match and match. I should have said oh, that. Bill, he's not blue either. Oh, who is it? Jeff Bill. Oh, I didn't know that. Hold on, Jeff. I'll hook you up. Yeah, so that way you can drop your. DIY tournament deal. Trying to remember how to do it. So work with me here. Oh, wait. I got to do it on this one over here. That's right. Oh, yeah. Jeff's is the fourth month, 20th day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yours is good because mine, mine is that morning on the 20th. The January 30th, March, April. Yep, April 20th. Yep, mine's April 20th. But that mine's at mine's that morning. <laughs> morning, Dallas. Yeah, I just told him gig. He's working on it. He should be now. There you go, Jeff. Say something. 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 Yeah, hey, sweating by the time I get out. Get everything loaded up now. It's still hot in here. Your birthday's the 20th of April. Also, 
Well, come on over to my channel and watch uh, the Skipjack tournament that morning. So are we talking birthdays? <laughs> <laughs> Jody said, how about them guard dogs, Rusty? <laughs> to me, they're worth having in your tackle box. Just in case. Some people like them, some people. Jeff, is that your uh, is that the link to your to your DIY tournament? I mean, uh, yeah. Any fans the first rule of guard dog? Don't talk about guard dog. Second rule of guard dog? Don't talk about guard dog. That guard dog's all right, you know. Gives you an extra, like having an extra person there, like you got your back dealing with another fish or uh, you're trying to cut bait and stuff like that and you're not paying attention to your rod. I mean, a lot of people won't use them all the time, but sometimes they, they help out in some situations. That's the end of this is now. We ain't fishing right now. Wish we was. We're not. I'm just too dumb to set it up. <laughs> I don't know about now. Lazy possibility. <laughs> hey, Nate. Yep, that's right, Nate. It's a tool like anything else. Hey, you didn't get skunked in. You caught fish. Curtis said, easy, Rustic. I'm still watching. <laughs> the can of corn and the cars as they went by. Yep, they are. I've never had them, but I've heard they're good eating. They used to be plentiful around here until the run off from the chemicals on the farmers smoked them, killed them out. But now you, you catch it, you have to go way up north of Missouri to catch them. Mm -hmm. I'm just moving stuff out to the car. Eighteen dollars a pound. Good lord. That's almost just pay to go somewhere where they're at. It's be cheaper. Fish tacos. The greatest food, man. Fish tacos. Never have. Southern California, man. San Diego area. I went out, out there surfing. And all my life, I read about these fish tacos in Dirt Bike Magazine. Uh, when they talk about going down to Baja and racing the Baja 1000 and stuff, they talk about the best part being afterwards cold beer and fish tacos. And uh, I went out there surfing and literally had them every night for dinner. That I was out there. There, I was only, I was only there about a week and a half or so, but yeah. they were so awesome. Yeah, I heard people eat them. Said they're good. I've never had them. Yeah, they put this sauce on them. And I don't know what it is, and I ain't never. I've even Googled trying to figure out how to replicate it, and I can't. And it's the bomb. Is it called BPA or? 
They ain't gonna do no good around here. They're not supposed to cut trees out of wetlands or swamp areas, but they've been doing it and filling it with dirt so they can farm it. And then when hmm. they get the grain, they pay for it because they sink them tractors in them. Yep. <laughs> Mm. So, like Andy's fish batter and Miracle Whip and relish with lettuce and cheese. Yep, I use that Andy's fish batter because mom can't eat. I used to use the Louisiana stuff, but it's kind of a cornmeal thing and she can't eat it. Yeah. The cornmeal kind. So, I, I found Andy's. And that stuff's the bomb, man. Stonefly, that's crazy. Be running behind them, picking them up. Hey, you don't throw them in the bank, you in here. What are they? Stonefly said that uh, 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 told Lou said they they say in Maine they throw them on the bank they don't keep them. I mean, perch. Yeah. Oh man, dude. I'd be asking the DNR if I'm going to eat them. Can I cast net them if they're that thick? And I'd be filling up coolers full. Yeah, for sure. Okay. If, if we're just gonna throw them up on the bank. Uh, Eric said, "Uh, he's backstage." Okay. Cool, brother. Sorry, I'm packing stuff, and it he don't said, do no. It don't do no good to send me messages, Eric. I don't know how to find them on my phone. The he one said is from. Oh. I was backstage. I wasn't sending you messages. No, sorry. Oh, it says two more under the more. What's that say? It said he's backstage. Like private chat or something. But anyway, it's dark back here. I just <laughs> felt something hard hit me All on right. the floor. I think it was oh, a tube stop. Help me! I'm lonely. Curtis Roth left me. <laughs> a bunch of there's a bunch okay. of pop tart wrappers down there. Uh -oh. wrappers, uh -oh. I forgot to buy it yesterday, too. I went to probably oh, okay. a couple of red cans, the bull, red bull cans down there. If it's my truck, I guarantee it is. <laughs> this is a pop tart wrapper. <laughs> Oh, it looks like he's at the shop. He's fixing the head out. Yep. Smoking a cigarette before I uh, jump in the work truck. Yeah. I only got six stops today, Buggy. Only six. Make it last, buddy. Make it last. Oh, no, making it last. It's Friday. Today's the day to be speeding. <laughs> well, if you get down early, you have to work at the shop, don't you? Uh, negatory. Boss is not here. He was in a meeting in Indiana. Oh, get the head out early. Today's the day you go in and clock out and, and sneak out the door before they ask you to help unload a truck or put stuff away. Yeah, NJ, that's the time to do some scouting. Amazing old spots you find that you can fish from the shoreline when there's no leaves or trees. Oh, 
to the oh, that's right. <coughs> so when y'all go to head out. I'm decided if I'm gonna leave tonight or wait until tomorrow morning. Still up in the air. Well, if Buggy keeps hanging around his house, he'll probably leave the same time y'all do. Yeah. Come on, chatter chatters. We go we get a lot of people lurking back here. Come on, get up there and talk. Oh man. Uh, Uncle Lou said twins, man, beat him. Oh, that the twins may beat him. <laughs> yeah, they, they'll beat beat Bugman there. <laughs> I ain't had enough coffee yet, Uncle Luke, to read between the lines there. <laughs> oh, Mikey. So. <laughs> Let's see, today's Friday. I got therapy at 8 o'clock this morning. I thought yesterday was Friday, so I went all the way to Sykes, Missouri, and got up there. Found out, asked lady, said, what's today? What's today? She goes, Thursday. I said, crap. Yeah, it's That's chilly that. out there. It's chilly out there, guys. I ain't going to lie. I did find my refrigerator coat, like a Carhartt coat made by refrigerator. Yeah, good. It's uh, here. What's that? So it's forty nine here. It's in the twenties here, I think. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. I'm getting right head out to the car, though. I think I got about everything I need. I say that and I'll forget something on me. Yeah. Let's see. Meds, bait. Oh, Get that right, Lou. That was yeah, full. Yeah. <laughs> then I didn't even think look at my gas hand. I better uh, take both bags. The bag and a half of these robin eggs. Just <laughs> something snack on there, buddy. Huh? Something snack on. You know, J-Dog be saying, hey, give me some of <laughs> These, you but only yeah. get them once a year, man, so you got to indulge all you can. Yep, so I got out of the big city, started coming home. I guess I'd come home, come on in my van, and I drove 28 miles to hold my gas light on. It's a miracle I made it home. So now I know when the gas light comes on, I can at least go 28 more miles. Rusty got promoting you on my next live. Hey. Awesome, Jeff. I appreciate that. I'll give you a, a send. Send me a if you send me the the picture of your deal like Hogley's got of your DIY deal uh, tomorrow night. I'll, I'll I'll show it up on there. Show everybody. And I think it's going to be interesting that DIY. There's something different, and it's going to be interesting to see what people come up with. Man, the crybaby finally made it here. Really? Oh, he saw somebody else. I was yelling at uh, Wayne's son. The guy in the, the Jeep that just showed up. Yeah. No, he's the biggest crybaby out of us all. He calls HR at least once a week. Really? 
Yeah, he called HR on, on me because the name's Andrew and I call him Groupie Drew. Groupie Drew. cried so much. Yeah. I told, I told the HR lady that and she started busting out laughing. She's like, yeah, he calls me at least once a week on somebody. He did that to me one time. Called a guy Maynard. He would have first complained on me because I called him Maynard. Wait till he gets out the truck and I'm going to run him over if I'm on my way out. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Send it to me on Facebook or you can email it to me at outdoorsrustic at gmail. If you got Facebook, you just message, or message it to me. Just send me the picture and I'll, I'll put it on there. Well, I'm trying to talk buggy and get the Facebook messenger. Yeah. I mean, I, I can go. Have have Facebook to have the messenger. I've told him that numerous times. Yeah, I can go to his page and uh, screenshot it, but it won't be as clear as if he sent the picture. Seen a picture yesterday where a uh, guy over the Tennessee River caught a hundred, I think it was a hundred one pound blue cat. Man, that freaking thing is massive. I mean, massive. That thing was almost wide as that book was. Massive fish, big, big, wide fish. Hey, I got it. Got it, Jeff. Just got it. But I've been trying to. Uh, I've been trying to uh, come up with an intro for the show. I don't know what I want to use. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Huh. Things that make me go. All right, we're about ready to go. One more trip, stuff out the truck, and then we're out. He be on the road again. Bugman be on the road again. He's going fishing with a friend. He'll be on the road again. Yeah, J Dog probably ain't even awake. He's probably still in the bed. Uncle Lou said the, the twins will probably be, uh, uh, he said the twins will beat him there anyway. Yeah, but he does drive like a grandpa. Yeah, he admits it too. He don't, he don't lie about it. He admits it. <laughs> Lord forbid he, he passes a station with flashing lights as Red Bull. He turns in. <laughs> Buggy likes to enjoy the scenery as he's driving down there. I do too, but driving. No. Hey, don't hate me because I don't get in a hurry. Well, you better be in a hurry when that rod bins come this weekend. Now, if I'm sitting close enough to it, I just got to lean forward, reach up, and grab it. All it's got to happen, Eric, is J Dog said that was getting a bite. He'll jump up. Oh, I'm up in a heartbeat. Don't let nobody kid you. You can laugh at me all you want. It happens. <laughs> now. Hey, good morning, Danny Stone. How are you, brother? Morning, Danny. Hope you're getting better, better buddy. Okay, let's see. All right, I'm trying to think what I want to use the bathroom for. I go. You guys got to go out real quick before I leave. All right.
Somehow I knew that was going to happen. <clears throat> Hold on. Oh, no, guys. Go potty, Charlie. Okay? I go out here and get the truck started is what I'll do while you go potty. Go on, my friends. Friends, friends. Go ahead. I don't have to go 52 or 23 or 315 today. Do what? <laughs> What's up? Uh, I'm glad you got to go on 23 today. I think Saturday is when the next load starts and come up 52. That's super load for the next tail playing up the Hebrew. They block off the freaking road. Huh. So making sure fish has said, Bug Man, he's checking in. Who's that? Jamaican sure fishing. Hey, there you are, brother. How are you? Good to see you, man. I'm getting ready to take off. I'm going to go fishing this weekend, hopefully. Bar any unforeseen circumstances. I'm hey, in the process of getting I can say is, even if you don't go fishing, you'll still have a good time hanging out with your buddy J Dog. That's right. You ain't got to catch fish to have fun. Bug man, build a build a fire to fire pit. Just sit around that and drink Red Bulls. That boy. Man, I'd be perfectly happy, right? Sit around campfire forever. One time last year. I feel better though. I got uh that refrigerator coat. I'm not gonna get cold now. I forgot it was out there. Uh, Jamaican, you're good. We're like Eskimos, man. Okay, I shall be right back. I gotta go let the dogs back in. I better get me a cup of pop too. Better leave a trick out there on the horse for butters. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Man, who will wake your mom up in a little bit? Butters come up to the door yesterday at, or last night at like 10.45 or something. I just closed the blinds on and told him to go home. <laughs> <laughs> if my truck takes off driving, I'm not in it. Giga Billy said, yes, don't forget the dogs. Butters kept coming back trying to get free more free uh, treats. Eric, what's your temperature there? Cold. <laughs> no, I think it's like I think it's like 28, 29, somewhere in there. My, oh. my, my, my chart said this morning. It's like I, I called possible last night. I was I was always he's a loudspeaker. I said, I said, where are you going fishing tonight? And there was a guy that was there with his buddy his, and you can hear me in the background in the water. I said, well, it's going to be awful cold and wet in that water. <laughs> uh, Jamaican says, headed out the door. Brothers, the school run will link when I get back. Okay. Uncle Lou said, Buggy could snuggle up to Mason and stay warm. Mason should be going to school. Uh, J-Dog kicked Mason out, jumping there himself. <laughs> There's a lot of people out early where you're at. Good morning, Dave. Oh, Dave, good morning. Man, 
had my shoulder give me fits this morning. Dag of nerves. Bug me all the way down to my elbow. I was trying to catch the name of that sign. I missed it. <laughs> well, let's mind these be updated. It shows 49. I don't know if that's correct or not. But... I know earlier Uncle Lou said that it was snowing, his ground was turning white again. Yeah, everybody's getting snow this weekend. I don't know if he's getting it, but I know other people are. I know Uncle Don's getting it. Yeah, that's right. Uncle Lou said, Chad, drive safely. Couple people said in the Tennessee. Yeah, Hooks and Hammocks going there too, ain't he? Is that where they're headed? I think that's where Chad's at. Well, I think he's heading to Tennessee and then he's heading to Alabama. Boy, it's cloudy where you're at. Okay. We got everything. If we don't. Got it. No, we don't need it. J Dog, the Falcon has sword. <laughs> he's 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 flying slow, but he'll get there. Yep. Today's a, a free day, anyhow. The turtle, the tortoise is moving. The tortoise is in the race. Hey, Hooks and Hammock, are you guys go live or are you going to come up here? It don't matter. I can go over to yours if you're going live while you're driving. I'm just trying to think. I don't think I have anywhere I lose signal maybe once between here and the boat ramp two hours and something away. Yep, I know I need the oil changed. Yep, I didn't get my Uncle Lou and catfish hat thrown in the uh, dishwasher yesterday. So they're just going to have to be all stained, sweat stained and stuff. But uh, that happens when you're fat. Dave, uh I caught Roger. I had some catch that he took. Uh, I caught him like 200. Pistol, yeah. More than I brought home. Uh, probably a little over 200. I, I still ain't. Imagine. The what, buggy? I couldn't imagine that many little fish or big fish, I mean. Oh, there was a bunch of big ones caught. Yep, I couldn't imagine it. <clears throat> Yesterday, I packaged over about 150, over 150, something like that. And then uh, I still got three quarters, three quarters of a cooler left I got to package today. Hey, morning, Ted. Hey, I don't know. That sounds like a lot of work, Rusty. Oh, that's what I told Roger. I said, you can catch them real quick. And uh, I said, but it takes hours to package them. Heck yeah, it does. Yeah, I'm a little upset, Roger. He didn't drop down on the dog, so we can have some skippies to fish with this weekend. Yeah, he said he drove right by there, didn't bring none. 
He said he could at least drop me five. I said, that's okay. When I, when I go to Ohio, I'll, I'll go by there and I, I'll bring you a cooler that has about 50 or more in it. Are you going through Indiana? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> There's Telly, Hooks, and Hammocks. Good morning. We are in the basement. I got you. I got you. I'm sorry. Hey, that's uh, good morning. I see my spot on Facebook. They're going to be doing a rustic. They're going to be doing a big fish in Dusty Bay. Yeah, I heard that yesterday. Yeah. Who is big? Sandusky Bay Catfish Tournament. Yeah. Channel Tournament. Yeah, they're going to do a big big channel of the year and they're supposed to be paying out a thousand bucks or something. Wow. Who was putting that on? Catfish clothing? No, uh, Sandusky Bay something or other. Yeah. Sandusky yeah. Bay Fish Tackle or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Not that far away. They want you if you're a bank fisherman. They want you to make sure you bring the fish to them so they can lay it there and take it back and drop it back off. Where are you going, Chad? But they want it alive and they want it alive. Drop back oh, in the water. I know you're going down to Tennessee to fish the Tennessee River thing, ain't you? That's right. They're going to Alabama. Oh, that's you no, know, that's Chris and Telly, isn't it? We're going to Tennessee. They're going to Alabama. I'm talking. Uh, Chad and them are going to Alabama. No, they're going to Tennessee. They're yeah. going to Alabama. No, they're going to Alabama. Fishing the Tennessee River. I thought I thought Chad was facing was doing the Tennessee thing this weekend. He is in Alabama. The Tennessee I'm River goes to, to Alabama. Yeah, Wilson and Wheeler are in Alabama. I didn't know the Tennessee River went to, all the way down there to Alabama. He said, we're going to push Tennessee in Alabama. I got to turn the brightness down on this until the sun comes up. That's a given. Let's see here. That's a little better. Yeah, I think I can do that right there without getting in any trouble. Telly and I are staying in a room at a bait shop tonight. Heck yeah. Smelling crickets. <laughs> staying in a bait shop. Yeah, it's that not really a bait, bait shop. It's a it's a it's not really a bait shop, it's a tackle shop. Oh, okay. So you ain't going to get no crickets to sing you to sleep then? I don't think so. So, so are you guys also looking at houses while you're down there? We've, we've already seen plenty of houses. Houses. He wanted to know if you were looking at houses down there to move down there. Yep. Yeah, we're always looking. And the gas company, gas line crews out here early already. Heck yeah. Oh, there's a train coming. Good thing I was already going past it. Oh, I hate driving anymore. Destination is fun. The journey, not so much anymore. I need a chauffeur. Uncle Lou, yes, we've got bait. Taking 20 skipjack and some secret bait with us. Uh-oh, secret bait. Oh, Garlic shrimp. No. Nope. Damn. Chicken breast. I don't think no. that's cool. Man, I don't know. I don't even think we have chicken. Dough ball. Dough? Did you say dough ball? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no. Carp, no ball. No carp, no ball. 
Oh, shit. I started to go. This guy behind me is going to be pissed, but he has to realize who's driving this car. He's I hope we spread out just enough that you don't really want to go, but we're going to do it. I'm go, four it. go, four yeah. cylinders, go. Go, four cylinders, go. He got it. No, he didn't want us to get, he didn't want us to forget. That's, that's happened before. It won't be long that sun will be up. Well, it may be up for a little bit, and then we aren't going to have much, but a little bit, maybe. Uh -huh. It looks kind of cloudy. Hey, Fred, why are you moving to Tennessee River? You can't catch fish in Ohio. I didn't hear what you said. Tennessee, uh, you can't catch fish in the Ohio. No, Tennessee is more beautiful. Yeah, by far, man. You got hills. I'd move down to my family's land in Kentucky if I could. And the fishing is better. I, yep. I wish we still were there. That's a fact, Jack. Fishing oh, is God. the fishing is much better. Actually, there's no comparison. No. The fishing is so much better down there. And yeah, they got a great fishing down there. The bluegill fishing's even better. Yeah, buddy. And they have got some the, the best deer hunt around I found is in Tennessee. I know northern Wisconsin is pretty good for it. Yep. I lived up there. I was driving along this four lane road one time. I kind of pastures on each side, and I looked over and thought it was a bunch of cattle and it was deer. There had to be 200 of them standing out there eating. Er yeah, we better get a Red Bull for the trip. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's three dollars and forty nine cents a gallon. Are you kidding me? I'm good, so that's regular. <laughs> that's Man, I had three years. I got bored with it. I've, I've actually, my mom has been gone. When she died, I lost interest. Did I choose beer? She'd be the first one I come. Mom, I got you some deer meat. Good process. Well, look at the different time zone between Eric's and Chris and the sun coming up. Bugman is still in the dark. I'm farther east than Chris. Yep. I'm south of Bugman. I'm far south of you guys, and it's pitch black. I'm probably three hours south of Bugman and three hours west of Eric. That sounds about right. Well, that almost looked like double hook angle day walking across the river. Right now, I'm on the road that splits right in the center of I heading south. 38 degrees. Hey, good morning, D. 
Dee. Miss you, Dee. Y'all see where Bugman's at? You know what he's getting. Red Bull and a donut? Probably. <laughs> I know Red Bull for sure. <laughs> he's seen the sign was lit up. <laughs> Got a quarter tank of gas left. Think we can make it? No. What do you drop? My truck? No. Really? No. Boy, you've only got 308 miles to go. You might stretch it out there. Tell him I'd have to take over the steering wheel and make you push for the last two more miles. <laughs> well, the truck says I have 79 miles till empty. Y'all pull the boat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you know, you're going to get Pulling the boat with the, the boat's got, of course, all of our fishing gear in it, but it's also got the tent, camp table, camp awning. It's loaded. It will have, it will have a bunch of water in it when we stop. And then the truck, the whole back, the whole bed of the truck's completely loaded with all of our camping gear and the back seat's completely loaded with all of our bedding and clothing. You got two of them, we're cool. Next month, we're traveling the bike. They know, they know it's in the house, about to go a hard river that he ain't scared. Hey, my philosophy is better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Uncle said, yes, no problem, set the cruise and kick back. Yep. Yeah, when I pull in the boat, I keep it under 70. If I if I go between 65 and 70, I start getting really, really bad gas mileage. Yeah. Hey, look, man, J-Dog's in the house. Hey, J-Dog, the falcon has soared, sort of. <laughs> I'm going to hit it I got the crew set at 65 right now, and we're getting 11 miles of the gallon. Ooh. How heavy is that boat? Uh, I mean, it's under 3,000 pounds. With all the gear and everything in it, it's probably over 3,000 pounds. Maybe that was, and I'm guessing. I don't know for sure. They know, so I've been for five minutes. Steve Lowley said, it don't matter what I do, I get bad gas mileage in with my truck. Man, what do you, you drive? Keep talking. Making my little four-cylinder Ford sound awesome right now. 31 mile a gallon. <laughs> it ain't pulling yeah, a boat. I get, yeah, yeah, I get 21, 22 if I'm not pulling anything. Here in Milwaukee. I might get 17 in my pickup. Not pulling anything. I can get too much in my truck. I get 1,000 miles to gallon just because I don't have one. And 30 to 40 in my vehicle. Hey, boy. They know, said, I came in to steer the crap. He's With good at that, that's for sure. Um, that V eight hundred gets that bad oh against man, the oh There was somebody wanting to come up, it looked like I don't see him now. It was rustic, he popped in and out. Oh, okay, that's what the little red dot was for. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I did that did because I moved. Yeah, oh, yeah. I figured your truck would do better than that. Thank you. I couldn't wear shorts today. Hey, Jay Dogger, shorts okay? That's all I brought. Some shorts and uh, flip flops. I should be all right, you reckon? Yeah, oh. Chad, but we dropped a piece of the truck, Chad. Well, 
Chad only has two speeds, stop and floor it. <laughs> but me and Freddie were following know. him back. Me and Freddie followed him back from Mendota, pulling pulling boats. I was getting seven miles to the gallon because we were doing 80 and 85 the whole time. Oh, shoot, I had to wave at him as he went by. <laughs> See ya. Jay Dog said, oh, if you did, the buggy, if you did, you're screwed. <laughs> the semi had his flashers along going real slow, so I got over to pass him. As soon as I got up beside him, he sped up. Ah. You said you had a heater. Uh, I got to turn back around now. What do you need a heater for? Because <laughs> I'm wearing shorts and flip flops. Keep you warm. They got a blanket. Yeah, they got a blanket. Did Jay Dog request the flip flops? He wants to look at your toes all day. Yeah, he's he's a freak like that, man. You gotta watch that guy. Wake up, he'll be taking pictures of your feet, posting them on foot fetish sites and stuff. With your name and phone number and everything else. Huh. <laughs> Take your eyes off the road for a second, bug man. He said, I got a heater, but you're going to have a frozen pizza. I hope I didn't forget my ibuprofen and the leave, man. That can have it. I bet I did. See, I told you I always forget something. Every time I go somewhere, I forget something. Even if, I, if you forgot it, you didn't need it. Oh, the ibuprofen and the leave, yeah, I need that. One trip up and down that hill, that boat ramp is pretty much prized. My knee is for the day. Because j Dog, he won't stop and pick you up the car. He drive around and start putting the boat in the lake. If you walk down the hill. Carrying all my stuff. Well, or you could drive your vehicle gonna, down there and unload it and drive up the park. I was going to say, I ain't going to feel so bad. That just went a guy flying on a motorcycle. Jeez, dude, he's got to be cold, man. He's going to look like a crotch rocket laid down behind the head of the windshield. He's got to be running 85 or 90. Because he's already outside almost. I can see what the team is. It's 34 here. You kidding me? It's a heat wave, baby. We're in. It's not even going to rain all weekend. I guarantee no rain. That's a guarantee. One hundred percent chance for fifty. Tennessee. Good morning, D. Good to see you this morning. Yeah, there's guy that looking similar now. Yep, I always get passed by everybody. But they ain't none of them made it any further than I did. Yeah, yeah, they got past the line, I guess. Spoke too soon. I'm probably going to have to get a sandwich share a little bit. And it's a, it's a driving show today. No, no, D, that is not a curse when I say it. I used to always say that when I was going dirt bike racing. They'd forecast rain. And I'd be like, nope, it will not rain. We'll have partly sun and 50 perfect racing conditions. And no matter what happened, that's what I seen in my mind while we were doing it. Okay, 
Okay, that's fast enough right there. Scottsburg. Nice. You making you way down. You getting ready to cross the river for long. But we're gonna be stopping for gas before we get to Louisville. Oh really? Oh yeah. Hey man, I could I I could afford to drive that anywhere. All I could do to get from my house out to the Muncie Reservoir back. What tournament are you guys going down fishing? King of the Tennessee. Is that for the bell? Yeah. yeah. Uncle Lou said gas and a Mickey Dean sandwich. I'm thinking That's about a possibility because there's a McDonald's at the gas station. Surely is. I was just getting ready to say that. I'm thinking about doing me a sausage big muffin with cheese. One of my favorites. That was my go to when I went racing. Every time I had to have a sausage big muffin with cheese on the way to the races, every time. Stonefly said, Hook. You take your bumping rods? No, we didn't bring the bumping rods on this trip. Uh, Day Dog said, Buggy, we have our own tournament this weekend. Out, outfish the Tennessee. All right, we'll do it. And if they, if they have a fun well, meter, I guarantee, our, I guarantee our fun meter will peg harder than theirs will. Oh, but I know I so. speed up but I can get back over again. I see. Don't you all know I'm I know I have an issue with changing lanes. That's why I set my crew on the floor. Happy We're gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it be funnier. We catch better fish but then they went all the way down there and catch fish. Uh oh, do I need to purge over? I think I got him. Oh, God. Yes, we got him. Sorry, dude. Beat you. Three nice folks know what size you got, Chris. What? What size motor you got in your truck? Yeah, it sure is nice. No, man. It is. I miss doing this, taking road trips and stuff, man. You better have water. It's my Tacoma. It's just a V6. Yeah, the river's nice and low. Well, I've just seen the weather on the news here in Living Room. It's, it's 49 degrees here. Definitely shorts and flip flop weather then. That's a different story when you get on the water though. <laughs> yeah. Especially if that wind's blowing that cold air off the top of that water. It's cold like it's, as far as wind goes. I'm all about finding a place where there ain't no wind. I don't give a damn if there's any fish there or not. Yeah, y'all keep that cold weather up there. <laughs> yeah, all them clouds is behind me now. They was pulled up me. That's cool. It looks like clear skies ahead. It'd be great for y'all to get Sorry, I gotta get off up here. 
trees in my church right there. Yes, it was. What well, looks like air coming in some pretty weather. Well, that's a chance. Do I need Some's anything? Burning. Walmart. Yeah. There's some kind of big fire somewhere. Can you guys see all that smoke? It's like fall. No, it's it. So, oh, hey, we're just now starting to get into it. Yeah. Thick. It's super thick. Oh my goodness, something big is on fire. Something real big. Yeah, you're starting to look foggy. Yep. That's smoke. That's smoke. Oh my god, that's strong. What's it smell like? Fire. Like, like what? Like a campfire. It smells like, yeah, it smells like a lot like a campfire, but. I wonder if there's a. Uh, it's like a forest fire thing. It's all wet out for that right now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't know. But, whew, Lord, I'm looking. It smells like you're standing and you got your face in the campfire smoke. That's what it smells yeah. like. Yeah. Oh, it's getting hard to breathe, actually. Are there any big lumber yards right around there, I wonder? There ain't nothing here. There's nothing here. Huh. Yeah, we're getting out of it now. Stonefly oh, said oh. he thought there was forest fire right down that way. We're, on this we're down. We're down around Henryville, Henryville, Indiana. That was real He said they had like six or so of them contained so far. And you better stay. Now you can go over. Some man, I dare get that man. Integrity. That was real strong. What's up, DHA? How are you, buddy? What's up, Double Hook? Sure there's a lot of traffic for this early in the morning. Y'all people go back on. <laughs> well, one hour of our trip is gone. I'll do it. Go to work today. Hey, J Dog wants to know. I don't. I want to know why Chris doesn't love me anymore. Because he asks questions like that. Me roses Well, yeah, double look, brother. I tell you, it's going to take your body went through a traumatic experience. It's going to take it a while to recover. You know what I mean? You're going to have, you know, some fatigue and stuff like that as it slowly, you know, it's like a shock to the system. Now the system's trying to reset itself. Get the dogs in the hat. Anybody who's came in on the chat, man, I'm sorry I ain't say I don't see your butt or whatever because I'm driving and it's not safe if I look away. Steve Moley said, I want to know why J Dog doesn't text me to go fish. They don't want to change his tire. Uh, Eric, I some spam, brother. I got this spam with me today. Individual servants. J Dog said because Eric told me if I fish with you again, he would cut me. 
Logan said, I got roadside assistance now. <laughs> Yeah, them brothers, they some, they some rough guys, man. You got to watch them, man. They are sticky. All right, we're going to take this exit, and my GPS lady's not going to like it, so I'm going to go ahead and mute. Okay, brother. Yeah, because they'll start telling you you went the wrong way. Make the quickest turn around as you can because you're going the wrong way. It's like, nah, man, I'm going the right way. You just got to recalibrate and figure out where I'm going. That's a little buck creek right there. That flows over by my house. Yeah, buggy, I'm going to restart my phone. I'll be back. Right in. Oh, I gotta watch for people coming up, don't I? Okay, I see now. Never mind. Rustic always been messing me up going on and off, and then the little dot comes up, so I click on it, and there ain't nobody there. While well, I'm driving and drinking Red Bull. Yeah, Dad took a ton of so when I talked to the nurse, I said, hey, when he falls asleep, get that phone and put it in with his medicine where he can't get to it. Because he'd call and I'd answer it and then he wouldn't say nothing because he couldn't figure out how to use it or something, I guess. When they finally got, and I could talk to him, the first thing he said is, what town am I in? I said, I don't know why, because I'm coming home. <laughs> now you're going to get there. Well, I'm going to walk. <laughs> I said, Bob, you can't walk to the bathroom. What makes you think you're going to walk all the way home? He said, well, I'm going to try. So we hmm. spent 20 minutes on the phone, me explaining to him why he's where he is and that it was for me, and it. Oh, I forgot. You're right. That's so you can go fishing. Okay, I'm sorry then. <laughs> like, all right, I love you, Bob. I'll see you in a couple of days. Don't understand. You gotta have a break too sometimes. Oh, hold on, I see you, Rusty. There we go. Cause you don't send me flowers anymore. Sing it, Buggy, sing it. I got that one down. I'm picking that gas station by my house. The last two afternoons I went in there, they had some red-hot chili peppers jamming. I'm like, yeah, this will work. I'll be back. Jamming some Californication yesterday. Uh, looks like Eric done spotted Taco John's. Taco John. I'm due for an upgrade on my phone. I'm thinking about doing it. Get me a new phone and giving mom this one because hers is all jacked up. I could get a free one if I sent this one in. And I'm like, ah, damn it, that's a tough decision. And I'm not so sure mom's is messed up as opposed it could be operator error. CAJ, hold on, brother. I'll scroll back here. I'll find you. Uh, he said, 
Now I'm going to have to drive through life like buggy driving down the road slow. You know what, man? You got to look at it like I do. I got nowhere to be in the rest of my life to get there. So I ain't in no hurry. <laughs> when you finally adapt this status, you'll understand what I mean. It sure makes life easier. That just enjoy every day from now on out. Yep. I mean, technically, this trip right here was supposed to have started at 530 this morning. And I would have been sitting at the boat ramp by now, but shit happens, man. <laughs> he forgot the dryer. The, the dryer incident. This is the, the dryer incident of, incident of March of 24. <laughs> he forgot to put his undies in the dryer. <laughs> but technically, I'm not late because I never said when I'd get there. I just said I'd be there. He said, I'm starting to look at it that way, Buggy. It sure helps. I think Buggy lives in Indiana, don't you, Buggy? Yeah. Yeah. Muncie, Indiana. <laughs> north, actually, north of Muncie, Indiana, a little bitty town. 28 miles to Rushville, and that means I'm probably 45 miles from Interstate 74. Look at there. Eric walked back out and didn't bring us no Taco John. No, man, we got no taco. Get a, get a, brother, get a breakfast taco today. Breakfast taco, please. Steve said about an hour from him. Who's that? Oh, Steve yeah. Moses. Not, yeah, Steve Mosley lives over kind of southeast of me. We need to get together and fish, actually. I'd like to fish the Brookville Lake. I don't think I've ever been on it, actually. Uh, Denise, if I lived that close to j Dog, I'd be going fishing with him all the time if he'd let me. Hey, Curtis Cunningham, good morning. We done set his camper up. He's in for the long haul. Check you out, buddy. That or they got something going on this weekend. No, heck, he had a sewer line hooked up to that going to the... Huh. Interesting. Uh, hog legs started going uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays now. College basketball national champion, Indiana Hoosiers. Rode to oh, mine for the Dallas Mavericks long enough to get a pension. Welcome and, back, Buck, man. Welcome back. He was coaching out there by Lou. He put in Iowa. I think he coached uh, Missouri or something one time. Could have been, oh, could have been one of the Dakotas colleges or something. I don't know if he's still coaching or not. His dad, he was a good coach. He'd probably come back and coach at Indiana had they not done Bob so wrong. Go, Speedy, go. The speed trap up here now, I'm telling you. Just passed. <laughs> Three nights said, I'm guessing Hooks and Hammock spent $82.80 on fuel. 56. Fifty-six. Wow, it cost me sixty-five. I would 
was complaining about 30 I had to squeeze all I could to get $30 in this car. And it was on the little gas pump guy was on. It's 345 a gallon here. All right, Steve. Good day. 345 a gallon. That's what I paid. Jeez. It's it average about cheaper. Jeez, Three nineteen a gallon here. It'll get cheaper the more south we go. Yeah, like <laughs> everything else. Uh, Curtis Cunningham said his Prius takes fifty six bucks, <laughs> but they got a two gallon tank on it. <laughs> but I go a long ways on a tank tour. I think for thirty dollars, I can get down to J Dogs and. Probably about halfway back before I had to gas if I let it go all the way down to empty. But, oh, there's Weenie Three World. Yep, his dog said it in Illinois. It's 369 where he's at. Dave said it's 305 there. Yeah, some places here it's 305, 309, 319. And just think how good it'd be if there wasn't all that taxes tacked on there. Ryan B said, "Park slippers." There's probably uh, seventy cents worth of tax on each gallon. I'd say. Ryan B, what's up, you big bedwetter? You. <laughs> I heard Brian B got him a boat motor. He's ready to go fish. Heck yeah. yeah. It's one of them you wind up. Just yeah. a little white right handle on the side. You twist. <laughs> I was thinking the one for the rubber band where you wind the propeller yourself. <laughs> Has to carry extra rubber bands with it. <laughs> I want to go faster, but I've already got eight bands on there. <laughs> you know, I seen a pretty cool video clip the other day. Guys up in the very highest part of the football stadium you can be in, and he throws a paper airplane, and it went all the way down to the field. I can remember we had a class one time, and... Uh, in elementary school and <laughs> learning about the Wright brothers or something like that and we had a paper airplane was, contest. Wait a minute. Were they were they guest speakers? What's that? <laughs> you had the you had the Wright brothers as guest speakers when you were in school? Yeah. That's what it was. Well this was prior to them inventing it, but they were talking about it. You're trying to say Buggy's ancient? <laughs> I saw what I said. Well, there's a Dunkin' Donuts. Get out of here. I didn't know they built that here. Uncle Lou said, we there yet? <laughs> Go, kids, I'm sitting here up. waiting on Telly to get out of the gas station. Kids, shut up. Sit in that back seat. Be quiet. Like I told you. I'll leave hey, you on. You want to see our here? Here, I'll show you my back seat. <laughs> it, looks like it looks like mine. I'm loading stuff up thinking, man, I need a bigger vehicle than this. <laughs> that gun, Chris, go for the long haul. Actually, I mean, it's just the, the two suitcases take up a lot of space. So, yeah. Y'all huh? staying the weekend down there? We're staying until Wednesday. Wednesday. That's yep. why you brought a lot of stuff. Okay. Yeah. Vacation. Well, I got to get my shoes on. 
I'll be hitting the road here myself. Friday, Rustic, you got therapy. Yeah, yeah, today's Friday. <laughs> you got some therapy? Yeah, eight o'clock. That's in 15 minutes. Yeah, eight o'clock, you're late, man. Where in the world is she? Hey, Eric, I got a full tank of gas today. I don't think I'm going to run out today. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, sure work. Thank you. I'll help bring me some gas. Some gas inflation. Yeah, that's a She'll probably spend fifty dollars in that gas station. <laughs> and some snacks, man. Well, I mean, she's getting McDonald's for us. Oh, that's even better. She said, and she was going to get us some water to drink on the way. And she's probably having to wait on a McDonald's. Probably. Yeah, and then wait for him to get the order right the second time. Morning, Sandy. What up, dog? Hey, go, brother. I wasn't going to get over till this road got smooth. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me today? Oh, this guy just blocked me in. There's a whole parking lot right there with parking spaces. And he pulled between me and this camper, blocked me in. Yeah, I've seen that. What an idiot. Well, it has to do something with the dumbing down of America. I don't know what they've done, if it's chemtrails, something in the water or whatever, but this country's I mean, sure a lot stupider in the last 25 years. Right there is where the cars are supposed to park. Huh. I see at least three empty spots. Hey, Chris, did you see on the news uh, some teenage girl got shot on a 465 road rage thing? No, I didn't. Yeah, it's like 17 years old, man. And I don't know, some guy cut her off or something and she honked her horn and ended up shooting at her. It was a shooting like five times or something. Oh, okay, here's my wallet. Here's my keys. Nice right oh, I'm tired. I'm go back home. Come back tomorrow. I have to get a nap. They got to probably be back out here before Telly is. Yeah. Mike, I think you're right, man. It, uh, and I, and I actually think the computer age and social media and everything has a lot to do with it. 
so easy now to research information you, that you don't even they don't have to retain it anymore really and google it every time they need it good morning Rillo. and the everybody's the important thing now that they got the internet I like the one the cops were arresting this dumb lady walking around this hotel naked somewhere in Miami, I think it was. And she was like, don't you know who I am? I'm famous on Instagram. <laughs> really? And I was like, I don't have Instagram. Chris, are we still waiting on McDonald's? I don't know what the hell we're waiting on. It's not like about me, but my wife goes in a place like that. Well, my guess is yes, we're probably waiting on McDonald's. Yep. Yeah, I can see her standing in there at McDonald's. Yeah, she's waiting on the food. Hey, J-Dog said, okay, Buggy, I'm all scrubbed up and clean for you. All right, brother, I'm glad you're going to smell good because I ain't, I ain't had a shower in a week and I lost my deodorant. Oh, good lord, buddy. But I got new underwear on, so that's that's a plus. And he'll change him out when he gets back home. Exactly. I'll change him in a few days. And my clothes are clean because I washed them last night, put them in a the dryer, and didn't turn the dryer on. Well, <laughs> I shouldn't have said that, but that's what happened. <laughs> Dryer episode of 2024. Yep. I shouldn't have said forgot to turn it on. I should have just said I forgot to put them in the dryer. <sighs> I gave away the forgot to turn it on part, I guess. Now. <laughs> Oops. Oh, Eric. Places. oh, Eric's screaming down the road, boy. He can get me. Oh, look at that pretty boat. Here she comes. Oh, yeah, that's the sun come up. Ain't a cloud in the sky right here. Chad said, uh, do you have a glove glove and a scrub brush to get over your head? All these people in chat were saying you're in there spending all kinds of money, and I'm like, no, she's waiting on McDonald's. She's the fastest woman I know when it comes to going in gas stations and stuff. Yeah, I'm sure now, that's he, not what you said. Now, now he said that. Now, give me my biscuit. <laughs> that, I believe. It's like you say, you're right, so. No, we don't have her seatbelt on. Nope. Good morning. on your shoulder makes you happy. You know, Chad, I'm allergic to rubber and latex, so he's just going to have to bear a hand up with me. Uh, J Dog wants to know how far out is Buggy? Uh, how much longer until you get way. there, Buggy? Oh, shit. I don't know. Two hours at least. There's some jumps. I bet Buggy jumped up before. Because I'm probably 35 minutes or more before I get to Interstate 74 in Greensburg. Then once I get on 74, it, 
goes faster, it seems like the time does, but then I'm probably. Uh, fun, I don't know how long it takes from 74 over there. It doesn't seem like it takes that long, but it does. Plus, it's Friday morning, so it's hard telling what I'll get to into on traffic. What is that? 275 or whatever goes around Cincinnati. Hey, good morning, Lance Cool Guy. From Greensburg to the Licking Rivers, an hour. From what? From Greensburg to the Licking Rivers, an hour. Oh, okay. That'll work. Then I'm probably a, at least an hour and 45 minutes, if not two hours away, because I gotta I'll get a sandwich here directly. He said, uh, he said, all right, he's headed out to the river. I will see you at the Licking River Pumpkin. Okay, brother, I can't guarantee how long it'll be before I get there. I'm going to stop in Rushville and grab a sandwich, I'm pretty sure. I think there's an easy in and easy out McDonald's right there. I can turn my brightness back up now. There we go. That's excellent. Oh, yeah. That's nothing between the sun and me. Oh, it's beautiful right now. be a good road for a Ford County cop to take radar on, I'd say. What are you going to do, Jay Dog? Go catch bait, or are you just going to go there and fish until I get there? 294 miles till empty. 282 miles till we destination. Catch all the fish till I get there. Well, you best come up here live so we can watch. Then, hold on, somebody. Well, you got a double one, Rustic. One um, got there. There's one. Now this one here, gonna have to boot off, right? Boot stage. No. Why ain't it going away? Uh, oh, I'm here. I'm watching you. For some reason, there's two of you here. Did you not log off? There we go. Thank yeah, you. I got, I got kicked off by accident. When I changed from a uh, Wi-Fi to 4G, it kicked me out. Ah.
Yeah, I double, double checked my calendar this morning. It's Friday. Friday. Uh, so I got a school bus pulled out in front of me today. Come on, brother. What you got to do that for? It ain't a car for another mile and a half behind me. But that's all right. You're going faster than I am right now. I ain't too far from Steve Mosley's. Or, yeah, I think for Steve Mosley had the won the Bloomfield contest that one day. Huh. It's right up here. Just outside of Russia. Oh, and J Dog, to answer your question, no, it's not. here we must have some rain moving in somewhere oh look at here my check engine light come on I wonder why that came on Put a piece of tape over it. That's what I do. Yeah, I don't pay no attention to that. Sometimes it comes on and it'll stay on for a couple of days and it'll disappear for a long time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Anything? Huh? Yeah, the the. Uh, Fast air flows in through getting a piece of dirt on the end of it or something. Yeah, I've had it checked on the machine before, and they said they can't find nothing wrong with it. Yep, the light is what's wrong with it. Now moving on down the road. Chris said, Shut up, I'll beat my biscuit. 
<laughs> I'm done eating now. Damn, you didn't eat. You inhaled. Are he now I can't do what I want. Y'all don't forget, you get up there around J Dog's new boat now. Don't forget to take a picture in front of it and send it to me. All right. I'm not sure what we're fishing off of today. I think it might be the deep fault that I can't get in and out of. It'd be okay if they had the boat ramp here. They had the pier in at the boat ramp. Then I wouldn't mind it so bad. I climbed up the nose, crawling on my bad knees. Like, dang, somebody kicked me in the testicles. So I'm going to Are you serious? I don't know what he was trying to do. Uncle Lou said that burrito didn't stand a chance. The ground. He was trying to get out. I don't think he put his feet in the right place. Next thing I knew, I heard a motion deep on the grass. Uh, good morning, uh, Mikey. Thanks. Good morning, Kelly. Kelly Bullock said, Can he join the driving party too? Once we cross the river here, you guys are going to experience the worst interstate in America. I don't know. What, 65 been south? On some of Missouri's. <laughs> 65 south from Louisville all the way down to, uh, what's it called? Something Junction. Lebanon Junction. About 30 miles okay. or so. Interstate's full. We're seeing our first drop. Uh, got our first drops of rain. Is that the one with all the potholes, Chris? Oh, yeah. I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> Be crossing the bridge here in a few minutes. I can yeah, see one of the bridges yeah. there. They'll send you some uh, money for that bridge. You get it in the mail. Uh, I've got a. Oh, you got a pass? Yeah. I yeah. Got Kelly said, Chris, that's why he don't go that direction. Well, it's go this direction or drive 45 minutes out of my way. Yep. Yeah, just got to just got to dodge the potholes. Let's go see what they got in the speedway for breakfast. Speedway. They got sandwiches in here, I think. I'm sure, they got chicken. Well, we recommend gas station chicken. Yeah, buddy. Chicken on the stick. <laughs> chicken and jalapeno on a stick. Chicken on a stick. 
Well, get on, Chevy. There's a state patrol probably down yonder. Ohio River. Hello, uh -oh. Kentucky. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to jack me when we got out of the shop. Going across that bridge. Oh, he's crossing the state lines down there. Look at that. Blue. Welcome to Kentucky. Hey, I was just there a couple days ago. Anybody heard from Roger since he got back from skipjack fishing? I'll bet he was sore the next day. I have not. I ain't either. I, last message I got from him, he, uh, he messaged me and told me he made it home. How many did he catch? Oh, and to, send, and to send them pictures. Charlie's <laughs> wondering how many he caught. Uh, I'm going to say well over 200. Because I gave him three huge bucketfuls of them. And, uh, and he caught a bunch of them. So I haven't heard the final tally on his part. But mine, I packaged 150 and I still got three quarters of a cooler to do. <clears throat> no, they didn't have nothing to look good. We'll stop at Mickey D's up here somewhere. There used to be a Harley's up here. I, don't know if it's still I told there him, I said, as long as I take home about 200, I'm good, but I'm going to stock him up. And that's what we tried to do. Since he drove that far. That's cool. It's just like you, Chris. If you and Telly come down here, oh, I'd help y'all stock your coolers up before I did mine. I plan on coming down there again before the run's over. Well, you just let me know and I'll meet you down there. Got to figure out when we can do it. I was thinking if we get down there, we could probably drive down and just fish for like three or four hours and drive back home. I mean, it'd be a full oh, day, nice. but if that's all you got is three or four hours, just let me know and I'll help you. Well, otherwise, we got to, you know, pay for a hotel room. And... Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, if y'all if y'all come down in three or four hours, I can I can help get y'all. On my part, I could probably get you at least 200 caught. Sounds good to me. If they're in there good, might even be more. I have to bring another cooler. Because it's only like, yeah, it's only like a hour 45 minute drive for me. And if y'all have to drive that far, That's I'll four hours, help bro. y'all out. That's four hours, bro. Yeah. As like I'll tell you, like I told Roger, as long as I, as long as I can take, bring home two hundred, that pays for me going over. So, yeah. Well, Chad brought up a good point. You know, I was talking about, you know, driving down there, paying for a hotel, and he's like, "But yeah, but it's better than paying eight dollars a piece for them. You know, you only have to catch Hell yeah. thirty or so. Yeah, pays for the whole trip." Yep. Yeah, depending on the area that you have to buy them. Some places, 10 bucks a fish. So, the only place I can buy it around me, they're $12 a piece. Jeez. Sometimes you'll get a pack that's got a big one and a small one in it, and they still only charge you $12. And they're yeah. not frozen right. Uh. 
I vacuum seal every one of mine. Well, these are vacuum sealed too. They're just they weren't they weren't done properly because they don't bleed or I mean they're gray when you cut them open. Wow. If they're gray when they cut them open and they didn't put no ice on them, they left them out there for a while. Probably. Tell you looking at food. I've seen people lay them out on the driveway, take a water hose to them, and wash them off and let the sun dry them a little bit. That is bad for them. Yeah. I thought you just washed all the outer oils off them things. <laughs> See, when you catch them, skip jack. When you, when you catch them skipjack and you pull them out of that water, if you look and see how slimy they are, they're secreting oil. Yeah. And you don't want to wash that crap off there because that's a lot of the scent. Seventy-nine miles to our exit. Seventy-nine miles. <laughs> right now, I'm on a nineteen-mile stretch of road. It takes forever to get down it. Chad's doing. Uh, go. I think Bugman needs somebody up there that ain't driving just to read chat. Yeah, yeah, I got the I got the screen on right now. Hey Miss Chrissy, how you doing? Kelly said rustic question for you. How can how can you wash off the outer oils when they're in the water all the time. <clears throat> well, if you catch them, when you first put your hands on them, they're just wet from the water. But after you, after they're out a little bit, they secrete this uh, this slimy, slick, oily film. That's why sometimes after you catch a bunch of them in the cooler, even if they're on ice, when you go to pick them up, that slime strings off of them and it you have to wipe that off. Nasty. Yep. That's the only fish that does that. I'm like. No, that shad does do it too, man. Those shad slime up like crazy. Oh, yep. Yep, that's right. Shad does too. You say Chad does? Chad, yeah. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Have to ask D that. D does Chad slime up too? <laughs> Don't let the sun fool you, baby. It's chilling out there today. Woo! It's not too bad here. I couldn't live with it. Yesterday, man, it was cold. Hey, hey it was man's got the, the house. Day. It's 34. Uncle Lou says golden eye and moon eye does it too. Yeah, I haven't caught very many of those. So I can't tell you nothing about those. I'd like yeah. to have a bunch of moon eye. She was all moon eyed after. After that, J Dog and Sambo's been catching a moon eye yet. Yeah. Sam broke and pulling things in like crazy. Said crappie gives off an ammonia smell. Yeah, if it's laid in the water and the sun's on it, it rots. Yeah, 
know, I've always heard everybody talk about how bad skipjacks smell, but I I don't think they smell at all. Well, they smell, no. but not bad. They don't, the only time they really get a bad smell is when you cut one open and you leave it in the sun and it starts rotting, and then it puts off a... You don't want to get that oils and stuff in your clothes. <laughs> it stinks. A fresh skipjack had... You can't smell it. <laughs> I better slow down or I'm going to run this stop sign. Yeah, Miss Chrissy, how you doing, Miss Chrissy? Ooh, what's that lane in the road? Is that a tool? I don't know what that is. Hey, there's a truck oh. delivering tires. Is that Eric? <laughs> no. Mine in Indiana. Oh, we do have an in, a warehouse in uh, uh, just south of Indianapolis. Is that yeah, the same kind right of truck on. you're driving that's one of the problems? On the road okay, again. Get back to normal. Uncle Lou said Asian carp. Yeah, Asian carp stinks when you cut into them. He said, oh man, snowplow just went by. The rusty can hurt to get that massage. You daggum right. <laughs> After they done that that tin deal on me, man, I felt good all day. Eric, what's the name of your company? K and M. K and M. Lance Bakuga. What up, Lance Roman? Our colors are white, purple, and orange. This is a Bauer built tire. And We'll probably end up buying them that soon. Clarksville, Bio Indiana. Uh oh. Bio built tire. Power built. B A U E R. Power built. Power built. When I first started working for this company, I think there was 17. Now there's 38, I think. You keep buying out the smaller tire companies. Yeah, trying to eliminate that competition. Heck yeah. That's right. Well, we had a contract. We got a contract with that Nest where we can't, with the Nest Nest tire, <laughs> where we can't go south, but that contract ends, uh, ended, I think, April. I think it ends in April. Yeah, because that's, yeah, yeah, that's in the fiscal year, yeah. Uh, even last coup guys getting snow today. Hey, yo, <laughs> Keep that S word out of your mouth. Keep that stuff to your set. Keep that stuff keep to Canada. Yeah, Man. keep it up north. <laughs> Way north. Well, heck, there's somebody burning something up here. It's like fog up there. Well, we just entered Bullet County. Downtown stink of coffee. My signal will probably go bouncing in and out. <laughs> Well, that's good because I just entered Stoddard County. <laughs> I couldn't tell you what county I'm in. Rush, I think. They should go back into the Madrid County. 
What the heck are they burning over here? They're burning something somewhere. He's going to down rock so I don't put it. Billy just found our house. You guys want to see it? <laughs> Watch for the good cow sign. Uncle Lou said, guess once wasn't enough. Had to go by again. <laughs> Talk about a snow plow. <laughs> Get out the door. Get on your... Tell him, said that's our house. Do it right there and tell him, hey, do it right. Heck yeah. What, $500,000 or so? I bet it's more than that. I would be pennies when I win the lottery, so it won't matter. I'm with you. Hey, Chris, have you ever been on a cruise? Nope. Tell he has. He did. That's surprising. As much as you like to gamble? I'm afraid of the cruise. Me Everybody too. always gets sick on cruises. Yep. Yeah. That's not what I'm afraid of on a cruise. I'm afraid of the pooper overfill, and that's what I'm afraid of. Everybody's always getting sick. Cruise ships are breaking down. Yeah. Catching on fire. And there's not a single rod holder on them. There are no rods on them. You'll get banned for life. Trying to fish off a of cruise boat. <laughs> we'll try to get a new axle when this trip's over. Down here in Amish country. That's before lighter, and then you're going to walk away. What the crap? Well, we're getting 12.9 miles of the gallon since we filled up. I can live with that. Well, that's, that's taking into account since we started, since we filled up. That averages out over the
<sighs> God, I hate this interstate. Yep. That hit the spot. Wonder if I should eat the second one. It's not even the potholes on this stretch of interstate. The the inter the, the the concrete's just bumpy. It's not level. Feels like you're driving over railroad tracks all the time. Yeah. No, 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 no. I don't know if they can tell how much our camera's mounted or not. No. Yeah, I can see it. Pine Creek. Surprised we still got a sick. Right lane, right lane closed. What rest area is busy? start to pass you, you want to get over. So my Up on Grandpa Shelburne's farm. Um, yeah, he rode in the right way. Uh, all the way through it. Door now in. The 
Yes, the Mines think they own the road. Right there, see. You know, Tilly and I have traveled all over this country east of the Mississippi, and I don't think we've ever made a trip anywhere that we did not experience road construction. Oh, man. Yeah. Highway, but then you gotta do it in the summer, the spring, and fall, and winter. Troyer's Country Store, Deli Bakery, man, I'm, I'm coming back. I need to stop there. I'm Pick up, dude. Get out of here and get these cars. Talking about Willis? So, this guy needs to wake up and get his cars. Pay for his tires. Seven thirty, my time. Because you're by, behind. Eight thirty, no, my time. No. No, 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 no. This is hell's country. That's right. Hell's. I would say, hell, the devil's. Uh, this is the devil's playground down here. If you don't believe me, ask Uncle Lou. <laughs> Yep, the devil's having a little fun with you today, Uncle Lou. Uh, <laughs> he said, I don't miss that area and I ain't going back. <laughs> All right, now you seen me coming. You're going to pull out there. Didn't even use turn signal. Uh, some people, all they know how to do is start it up and put it in gear. Yep. Must be from Virginia. You guys can't drive out there, in Virginia. I swear. It's Worst drivers in the place. country. Worst drivers in the country, I think. I don't know, man. Indiana can be fun for drivers. Well, it wouldn't be so bad, but they want to pull out there dead in front of you then like they're in a hurry then they slow down yep yep and then you get up to go beside them to pass them and then they speed up yeah that drives me nuts let's see turn by the big tooth Eric, you ready to go see that new King Kong movie? We're looking at it again. I just don't think he wants to be passing. I like you going to do some road work. Don't, 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 and they need to repair this road. I 
stuff I'm off to raw hold. Well, that reminds uh, me, I gotta uh, order another monster rod holder. Oh, oh, oh that's rough. Let me get the weight on this guy. Find me a park in this between two lines here. There we go. Ah, oh, we made it. Morning, Dustin. Morning, Rhonda. Fishing for whiskers. Morning, Rhonda, Dustin. Dustin, Rhonda. Let's see who else came in. I missed anybody. Come pick me in the state. Jay, dog, I'm one hour from you, brother. Doing my best. <laughs> Uncle Lou said rustic's correct. It's actually probably hotter than hell <laughs> down there. Oh, it does, man. Especially if that uh, humidity gets up with 70 degree weather, you got 100% humidity. It's miserable. It'd be 120 degrees in Arizona. My sister called and complained about it. I said, well, We got 100% humidity, but it's 70 degrees. I'll trade you for a day. <laughs> Yep, Dustin said hello to everybody. Good morning to everybody on the panel. Hey, Justin, how are you, buddy? How you feeling? Getting a little bit more rain again. Well, Lance Cougar said he's got a job interview and everybody to have a good day. All right, good luck, Lance. Lance. Yep, good luck with job interview, buddy. Look them in the eye and shake their hand firmly. You're hired. All you gotta do nowadays, tell them you'll come to work and you'll get hired. Yep, tell them you're an eager beaver. Yep. Yeah, I'll be at work early every day and I'll leave late every day as long as you're paying me. <coughs> he said, I'm feeling great. Thank you. Hip and knee are getting stronger every day. Oh, what awesome, was that? Man. Awesome. That's the best part about being young, man. You get to heal a little quicker. Yep. Dustin said, good morning, Miss Telly. If you are in the car, too, why, you know. Good morning. Oh, she's there. It's not like he. I've got to work on the Tennessee. Of course, I'm here. Going to she Tennessee. said, she said, you ain't going fishing without me, buddy. Uh, Let's see what we got. Speed limit 70, I imagine. Yep. Hey, good morning, Northern View Outdoors. I don't really like to run too fast, though, so we'll get her up about 68 or 9 and call it. Look what you started. Got me coughing now. Skittles. Skittles. Taste the rainbow. Okay, but the rainbow, but I like me some Skittles. Oh, Mary, you're the best. 
I think as, as much sugar as Bugman takes in every day, I bet his blood's more like syrup. Uh, oh, my blood test come back good from the doctor. Mine does too. My wife says he can eat. I can eat a truckload of sweet cakes, and and my sugar never changed. And she said she don't hardly ever eat sugar, and she's diabetic. Yeah. Morning, Stewart. I just had blood work down a couple of weeks or a month or so ago. I need to go get my physical done. It's starting to turn green down here. Yeah. Oh man, I hope my flotation device thing is in here. Dak and I have a. I'll bet I took it out. That stuff. Oh, look at the therapist. They're just showing up for work. Get in there, check in. I got to be in there in 15 minutes. <laughs> Good Lord, excuse me. I've been congested for three months. It's time for that crap to go. Yeah. Oh, we lost Chris, didn't we? Yeah, I'm saying that he'll be back. He said, lost signal coming and going, going to stay in chat. All right, brother. Yep, y'all be safe out there driving now. Oh, mercy. Yep, y'all have a good day. I'm going to get out of here. I got to go in and get my therapy started. All right, man. Y'all yeah, be safe out there, bug man. Eric. Sure, will do, man. And everybody else is driving. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye. We losing, everybody? Yep. Get them. Just the OG crew now. All we need is Lou and J Dog. Oh, 
Nice out already. Sun shining. We are up to 37 degrees. Hell yeah. Heat wave, baby. My heat wave. <laughs> Here. On to the next one. Slow down, buddy. Put pull up around the corner. Hell, wait. Someone is shy. Sorry, Chad, I can't see it to read it. I apologize. I'm going to read that second song. It gets you cold. I think that's it. Cool. Right there. Make you feel sick of Alaska capital of Indiana. Three more stops to go. What you say? I said I only got three more stops. Just turn out oh, right none of my clothes. Yeah, easy Friday for some reason. I don't know. Early. The stinkiest place in the lot. Stinky paper mail. Here. 
stinky paper mail. Say what? Said the old stinky paper mill then and teal old stinky coffee. What are you doing there, buddy? You coming out or what? No problem, buddy. You guys should let you go on first. You're there first. So are y'all coming up tonight or in the morning? Uh, I haven't decided yet. Yeah. And, uh, Probably, most likely in the morning, I have to wake Curtis up. Ain't no fun here making fun then, John. Brighten us up, fellas. And not took too long in terms of Batesville, Indiana, the casket capital. Did you say Batesville? Yep. Is that where the Bates Motel is? Do what? I said, is that oh. where the Bates Motel is? <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of money in this little town, though. Well, there's a lot of money in death. Exactly. Job security. Green light, go, go, go. Jackson. That's my finger. Jackson, Ryo, and Beaker is all I got left. Bum, bum, ba da da, bum. A double hook angling comes on here at nine, guys. You can all go for and hang out. I might end this then. Be honest with you. Find something to listen to. Uh, oh, I'm in chill coffee. It's out. Home of a good biker party. I'm gonna pass that this morning. That that track over there looks pretty cool. Over there by the fairgrounds. Motor motocross track. Oh really? I can't see nothing just small. First time I ate breakfast, I don't know how long. 
Long gone. I mean, I have to eat breakfast because I gotta take that meat before me. Not even eat your stomach fine. Okay. Here we go. Jackson early. Mountain Dew, that cool, refreshing drink. I do got a box of strawberry shortcakes in there. Nap time by the time I get there. Uh, it's fishing time when you get there, buddy. Yeah, nap time. Got his license up with cracker jack box. Yeah, there's some trees starting to bloom around here. The ground is starting to the bottom of the turning to be secure. Get away from this guy. Okay, <laughs> What you talking about, Willis? Well, 
Come on, Ben, hurry up. You make me hit my brakes, ain't you, you fuck? <laughs> hey, Mr. Gertley. The what? Hey, good morning, Ernie Brown and Mr. Chrissy Brown. Oh, good morning, good morning. I can't see my phone from the reflection, so. I can see it, but I, I should really be greasy, you know, I'm driving. <laughs> D said that they're in the basement. Oh, okay. I'm Buddy. sorry. Thank you. I got you. Good hey, morning. buddy. Good morning. Hey, sorry. I couldn't see. I can't see my phone because of the glare. What was that? Rover. We're just hitting, we're just now getting on the road. Nice, nice. Stay in the island for one mile. Better keep going to work. <laughs> Amen to that. Okay. In one tenth of a mile, turn right onto KY 1829. Big wheels keep on turning. Yeah. Right now. There's got a big push turning. What? Turning, 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 turning. That's the way I'm going to go home right there, I think. Tearing up the bathroom. I think I'll take Highway 1 home. It's kind of nice turning. Where'd, where'd Chris and everybody go? They lost the signal and stuff. And <laughs> That's the kind of good therapy. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> I thought we'd jump up here for a minute with you. How, how or 10 or however long, I don't know. When you get on 285 on this side of the river, what is it, about 20 minutes over to get from there, I think? Uh, 275? Yeah, 
Or 74 and 2. Yeah, I would say it'll be about 5. See, uh, 20, 25 minutes at the most. That's what I was thinking, bar any traffic right now. Oh, bug, and bug, if Buggy's driving, probably 45 minutes. There you go. I may have to stop and use the bathroom yet, too. You never know. Because I know they ain't got no water left out at the Making River boat ramp yet. Because somebody had to go to the dumpster one day. <laughs> oh, the dumpster diving. I would tell you my back right in and out of one, so that ain't going to happen with me. Uh, Are we there yet? Uh, no. <laughs> my, my navigation. There you go. So you guys were headed all the way down to Alabama? Yeah. What Are you guys part driving Alabama? straight down to Alabama? What, Eric? I said, are you guys driving straight down to Alabama? Yep. Man, that's a long call. It's not really that bad of a drive it's you get on 71 you hit 65 and then you take 65 all the way down oh yeah yeah it's only like five six hours that's more less time than you drive a day eric <laughs> yeah true all that <laughs> yeah it'll take us about six six and a half hours we'll have to stop and get gas at some point I usually stop once on my way down, stretch my legs. Yeah, but you didn't have the new truck then, so you probably well, need to stop. The old truck, stop. I would have been able to get there on a take of gas. This truck, I'll have to stop and get gas. Stop at Bucky's and get you a pulled pork sandwich. Never been to Bucky's. What? I never heard of. <laughs> Every time I go buy one, I have to stop in and get me a pulled pork sandwich because that stuff's good. We got one about an hour south of us, but never been there. That's yeah, two people. Yeah. yeah, there's too many people there for me. Well, it is. It is the Walmart and gas stations. Yeah. I know a girl I work with. Um, stopped at Bucky's for her first time last weekend, weekend before. They said they spent two hours in there walking around. That's stupid. Where is, where is this place at? Uh, they're, they're building them all over, but the closest one I know of is down below Lexington. Huh. Yep. Yeah. I remember that. I'm probably yeah, going to take me forever to get out of there. Man. <laughs> it sounds like uh, him and his girlfriend stopped and it took him 10 minutes just to get out of the parking lot. No kidding. What, was the air pump not working? Right, or? Nobody got that one. Okay. If you like roasted peanuts, man, it smells. That's what it it's smells like, like in there. The buggy, you asked where we're going. We're going to be uh, in Rogersville. Okay. Yeah, we'll be down at Wheeler Dam. Most likely, we'll be on Lake Wilson. Now. Which is actually the river, but the way they, they call them all lakes because they're pulled up. Like how we call it, like the Marklin Pool or yeah, the Meldall Pool. They call it Lake. Like we could call, start calling it Lake Marklin. Yeah. I'd probably name it Lake Suck, but you know, whatever. Let's see in there. Oh, that's Chad's best friend, Bill. Am I going to be my best friend Bill, huh? My best friend Bill? Hi. I thought it was washed.
Oh. Be nice, but we'll actually get on the interstate. <laughs> J Dog says, 10 minutes away, so most party time by myself because Bucky is slow. <laughs> Pick on Bug Man. Really? He's learned to slow down and enjoy life. I was going to say, what part of me is not getting in a hurry? Don't you all believe me? I, I live it. You just hang out with me a while. You believe me. I don't plan was to leave my house at 5.30 this morning. But I have an excuse. I forgot to put the lot. I put your clothes in the dryer last night, but forgot to turn it on. Uh, I hate that. Yeah. I got up this morning at 5. It was like, Shoot, man. So I had to let the clothes dry before I left. Yeah. Rick, we love it down here too. It's just every time we go, it seems like there's crappy weather, man. I'm not looking yeah. forward to 20, 20, 20 mile an hour winds with 60 mile an hour gusts. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'd be looking on the map and finding me a cove to pull into. May not be no fish there, but there ain't no wind neither. Yep. I know. The thing that sucks about this lake is at least the wind is coming in a decent direction. People are making me nervous. Uh, the wind's going to be going in a, the, a, good, a decent direction. Because if it goes the opposite way, you get like five to eight foot rollers. Oh, yeah. But the lake is so wide. The dam's a mile wide. Really? Yeah, the lake itself is about a mile to a mile and a half wide. Dang. And then you get all that open wind and it just starts, you know, oh, creating yeah. problems. Dog, you just love fishing because you're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't take much to get the water moving. Not really. That's how they're surfing Lake Michigan. You got to think of it. It's got 300 miles of fetch between top to bottom. You take a 25 mile an hour wind for 300 miles, you got some big waves by the time it gets to the bottom. Yeah, we got, um, at least in some parts of the lake there, there's some big cliffs, and you can get up on the wall of them and might be able to stay out of some of it. J-Dog, I love fishing in the wind. <laughs> Rolly eyes. <laughs> in one quarter mile, turn left onto I-75 south towards Louisville. That way station's open. I don't think I've seen one open in years. Yeah, we my old my little boat that I had, we were down there in Wilson and we had a the wind shifted and started blowing straight up the river. And we thought we were gonna be cool and duck in and fly across the lake and duck in a little cove uh, creek because on the map it looked like you could get you know you could go up in this little creek we got over there and it was not a cove it was just a little indention and i we had to turn the boat and there was literally five foot waves i was going down in and i was like freaking That's out a we had a, our friends with us and we were just going go go just keep going <laughs> Yeah. I didn't think we were yeah. going to make it out of there. Yeah, that's a butt pucker right there, man. Yeah, that, that, that made me quite nervous. Yeah. And then the other part is, if the boat does go down, you're out inside them five-foot waves yourself then. Yeah. And I don't care how small of it is. It's going to be tough to do. Well, it's like, I don't remember how many years ago it's been now, but probably about four or five years ago, same thing. 
they had that fishing tournament down there, and I think eight eight boats sunk because of it. Okay. Yeah. That Sea Ark Invitational. Yeah. Yeah. They had like eight boats get swamped because of those waves and sunk. It was cold too. Got the fish. You've got to pay attention to the weather and your surroundings. Especially if the way you got to get back is against the waves, and it's like, oh crap. Good Lord, I hope it ain't like this all the way down. Oh my goodness. I hate traffic. Yes, me too. Traffic equates to people, and I hate people mostly, so it all ties. Oh shoot, I was going to take some freaking leave. I spaced it. Why is it? Well, Never should you be doing 35 on flipping interstate. Yep. Probably on your phone. Probably. Uh, it looks like it was a semi truck that was slowing everything down. One, they just got on the on the interstate. Now they're getting off this exit, all within a tenth of a mile. Glad I did fill up the other day, though. Yeah. Gas went up like uh, forty-five cents overnight the other day. Yes. Yeah. I pulled up one day and. Come by the next morning and it went up. I think I paid two something and it went up to 345. Yeah. And I'm like, what y'all do? Just change these things wherever you want to. Yeah, they'll jump it up 40, 50 cents and then it'll it'll come down 40 to 50 cents overnight and then it'll slowly come down over the next couple months. And as soon as it hits it again, it jumps back up. Money gouging people's greed. And like I was talking about earlier, just imagine if they were to take the taxes out of that, you could be you could actually afford gas. Oh yeah. Seventy some cents on the gallon that has to be. Hey, Buggy, Chris Atella, you're in the basement. All right, go. But only let him in because Kelly's with him. We're back. Yeah. Hey, that short guy's got to stick together, though. So me and Chris are together. That short guy's got to stick together. These guys are taking advantage of us. Hey, guys, it's just short. Yeah, I'm taking me out. Love you guys. Be safe. Love you too. Be safe. I got some eyes. You're saying that. Well, he was staring. Why is Daryl Morris messaging me? Who? Take it off there. You're going to move the camera all around. Daryl. What's Daryl one? I don't know. He's yeah, saying yeah. I am. I don't know if it's going me out or not. If he's canceling, he better do it quick. <laughs> yeah. Say reply no on our way. Okay. Be there around two. <laughs> Oh, 
Yes, they will be there. Who's asking if we're in Chattanooga yet? Oh. Probably what Woody scale. Yeah, because Daryl can't weigh a fish to save his life. Well, Woody won that. We gave away one of the Mad Cat scales in that big Mike giveaway, and Woody won it. Oh, uh, okay. So he's only talking to you because he wants some. Probably. Figures. That sounds about right. Did you just bring that with you and send a shipment of Said okay, I'll tell Woody. So I thought y'all were gonna be here to win be here Wednesday. Say no, we're staying till Wednesday. I'm wearing Bugman's live, leave me alone. Uh oh. Still there? Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello. What's up? Can you hear me? I'm not there. We're still in that. I don't know. Tell him we were in bug band. No, I just said, hey, go with day. I wanted to tie them and get out there as quickly as possible. Just in case we have to go back in. There you go. Driving, driving, driving. <laughs> you know, if you would have bought that one property and saw it out there, we could have a place to just camp. <laughs> Actually, I've got a building to this. You guys in Tennessee already? We ain't even out of northern Kentucky yet. <laughs> <laughs> you got skip jack? Yeah, we were using the buggy approach today. I'm not in any hurry to rush down there. Do you have do you have skipjack with you? I've got three. Got nowhere to be in the rest of your life to get there. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. That slow buggy, but yeah, Chad. Roger could have stopped by your house and dropped you off and skipjack, huh? Roger who? Ah, <laughs> uh, he's dead to me. Come to my state, steal all my damn skipjack, and don't even give me any. All right. Your state and your skipjack. That's right. Cave City. Out of staters hey. have to pay a fee. Skipjack or a prized possession. I used to go down there and play golf in Cave City, the Park Inn, Park City Inn or something like that. It's the first exit past the Cave City exit. Yeah, it wants us to take the Cave City exit, but we don't do it because we're rebels. I'm with you. I always like to tell that fat lady to shut her mouth up. Black people don't quit telling me where to go. 
What exit are you at there, Buggy? I'm at the Ohio River Bridge, baby, coming up, getting ready across the river. We're in Barron County. Barron Trump County. Barron River Lake State Resort Park. Oh, how river as today. That Cody guy, huh? for a nap. Yes. Help me into that. Didn't change at all. Didn't that that damn big cloud right there needs to go away. Three hours and 30 minutes to go. 29 minutes to go. What's your weather supposed to be like down, down there, D? I don't know, weatherman. What's your weather supposed to be like? So today's a hundred percent chance of rain, and then tomorrow it's not supposed to rain, but the wind is supposed to be seventeen mile an hour out of the north. Lovely. And I saw somebody on the. I think it was the North Alabama Catfish Trail. They were looking at moving their tournament to Sunday because the gust, the wind gusts are supposed to be like 50, 60 mile an hour. Woo! Lord. It's going to be stretched all the way through there where we're all at. All the way over. You guys are going to have a lot of wind too. You shut your face. My mouth. thing is, yeah. my thing is that it's, 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 on the river. So it's fun. Yeah, well, the nice thing is we're not supposed to have rain, but you all are. Shut your face mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I didn't want to have to put... The rain today. I didn't want to have to put my full bimini up and with it 20 mile an hour winds. Yeah. Bimini? What's a bimini? That boat. I mean, I, I probably would have had to go full enclosure on my boat. Yep. Then you wouldn't be able to open yeah. the nowhere. Right. Rain coming at you 20 mile an hour, you'd be coming in sideways. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, that'd be a stanging rain. Cold rain. Let's get a little warm. I need to turn my heated seat down. Why would you have your heated seat on? It's, it's 50 degrees. degrees. And it's 39 degrees, and I needed to warm my booty up. There you go. Rick, I ain't got nothing, brother. I literally, I have, I think, three skipjack and uh, some of that. Secret bait. Secret bait. Interesting. Yeah. I'm not talking about chicken. That's dumb bait. <laughs> or not bait. You have chicken. I do not have chicken. Now we got, I got some of that Asian carp to try out. The prepackaged stuff. Yeah. We've caught fish on it, but it's 
I mean, it's kind of hit and miss. It, it works and it doesn't. Well, if you, if you don't have a lot of bait, it'll be something on a, on a rod that you can try. Right, you're right, you're right. It's great to have for when bait is scarce. Because scarce. it will catch fish. It will. They caught fish on it. Probably Betty Jean's fish lets us check on it this year. Yeah, that fish does not let us check on it. She caught it. And I would say that fish is a 100 pounder now. If it's still alive. That was what? I was that three or four years ago. I meant to buy a couple packs of that at GatCon and we forgot all about it. See, we should have stopped the monster out. Of we have a skipjack, a secret bait, and one bluegill. Yeah. We'll hit our usual bait stores when we get down here. The one by the dam, and they usually are pretty fully stocked on the skip jack. J Dog's launching the boat. I know. J Dog said he ain't waiting on Buggy no more. All right, J Dog, I'm coming, buddy. Dog, we just don't have one. <laughs> He just crossed the river. He's only got about 25 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. such an angel. Cumberland Expressway coming up. Cumberland. Yeah, that's the that is the sound. Good morning, Lisa. Lisa Elliott. No. Burrito. Oh, burrito lady. We got multiple Lisa, so you have to specify her. Yeah. You gotta tell me that it's the burrito. Oh, it's the Cumberland Parkway, not the expressway. Yeah, get it right, loser. Shut up. Shut your face mouth. I just in my truck here when we just like all of a sudden. It looks like we're like 100 yards behind that truck on the screen. We still got 65 miles to Louisville. Why are you going to Louisville? Because we're going to Wheeler Wilson. When I get it down to Louisville, when oh. I hit 65, you take 65 straight down to Decatur, and then right. you go west of maybe an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. Well, if I would have known that, I would have thrown a pack of skipjack out right at the cross when we crossed the bridge. You could have picked it up. That's why, uh, well, I kind of thought you might have, but. You gotta, gonna be stopping you gotta try on to you. You gotta drop, drop the, or try to keep the competition down. You're like, you'd have to sit there for 
two hours wherever you're at. Or it's probably more. Yeah, I wasn't going to do it. He bought you. He do it for you. I wasn't going to do it. I was just going to die. Chris would be like, Chris would be like <laughs> Pull over, Brian. He's got to pee. <laughs> Hard. Hey, Eric, there's three tires on the side We're of the road. on the Cumberland Parkway right now. We will keep on cleaning. Cumberland Parkway. Good thing about when you get here, I know we're within an hour of being in Tennessee. Yep. Yeah. There's two two spots on this trip I can't stand. One's going through Louisville and the next is Nashville. Going through Louisville sucks. Oh, yeah, horrible. But Nashville traffic ain't that great. I guess I just I just assumed it would take you the same way as if you were going to Chester Frost. No. And then just keep going. going. Yeah, if I'm going to Chester Frost, we don't get on 71 to Louisville. We take 75 down through uh, Lexington and all that. Keeps going straight down. Yeah, I know. I figured that. I figured it would take you that way, and then just you just keep going past Chattanooga. What happens when you assume? I guess. Yeah, it makes that ass out of you and me. Buggy, buggy, you gonna keep those fish when you're fishing? Yeah, my well, I got that up. Yeah, right, yeah. Three hours, nineteen minutes. Well, I don't know. I ain't got a tripod or nothing like that. What kind of YouTuber are you? Uh, yeah, I got a tripod right here. You want to borrow it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how it goes about that far ahead. Sure, J Dog, we got a phone holder. Yeah, there he is. I mean, J Dog's pretty much a professional. Wow. 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 What's that on chat? Oh, I hear it on you, too. I don't hear it now. I'm being either. Pregnant. My phone was ringing. Oh, Buggy's phone was ringing. Oh. Tell them we're professional YouTubing. I just hit the red button. It's J Talk. Damn that J Dog. That was J Dog saying trips canceled. I can't even remember the name of my exit now that I think about it. Double A. No, yeah. I, I was just. I just remember because I crossed the Licking River right before. As soon as you cross the Licking River, you're there. Yeah. I'm just trying to remember the name of the road that I'm getting off on. Double A. Double A Highway. 
Is that what it is? Yep. Yep. Route nine route nine, I believe. It'll take you all correct. the way out to uh, the most eastern part of Kentucky. Yep. I usually go that way when we go when we leave to go to Virginia, we'll take double A all the way out to sixty until it meets sixty four in eastern Kentucky. West Virginia. Take me home. Take me home. Hurry up so I can get over. Kill me, Paul. Oh. Oh, man, it's so bad. Instead of fixing it, they actually put up signs that just says rough road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, we just passed a sign that said rough like road. No shit, Sherlock. Here's your yeah, sign. Once you get down below uh, Lebanon Junction, everything's fine. Yeah, once you once you get out of Louisville, yeah. Sixty five is pretty nice down there the rest of the way mostly. This road we're on now is wonder. Yeah. Cumberland Parkway, I, I haven't been on it in a long time, but it used to be really nice, kept license kept. A cow. Forty two hundred RPM to going up this hill. Ah, hell yeah. Them are cute little rookie numbers. Starburst. Yeah. Wilder Maysville. Oh, that's in the menu. Yeah, Wilder Maysville exit. You're right. That's that, that's the one. Route nine, double A highway. Yep. Right. Down that way. We've been there once. Hey buggy. Yeah. Will you do me a favor? Yeah. When you get down there, you see J Dog. Would you would you give him a hug? Will you grab his butt cheek for me? Uh, yeah, I have to consider this one. <laughs> <laughs> kiss him right on the mouth. <laughs> yeah, I kiss him right on the mouth. Yeah, that one's definitely not gonna happen. But you gotta tell him we it's did. from Eric. Crow. <laughs> Eric, you <yeah>, you did. <laughs> I want you to hold his hand and skip down the boat ramp. <laughs> if I could skip yeah, through yeah, that one, yeah. but I could skip. My, my skipping days are up for it. Maybe after I get my next knee fixed, I'll do it. I, ain't, I can't skip right now. I ain't got that. 
I have a hard enough time just getting down the boat ramp. Yep, we're going to have to run over here to the gas station first. Then bring this down this way. I know they ain't got no Porta Johns out there yet. Hey, Chad. What? Chad. What? We need to look into Douglas Lake. We need to look into Douglas okay. Lake. Douglas Lake. Okay. Douglas. Yep. It's like being I don't even know if there's blues okay. in there or not, but it's a big lake. I would imagine there are. There's a lake out in eastern Kentucky. I'm, we're going to go check out sometime. It's only about two hours from the house. It's more known for like musky and stuff, but there's. Which one's that? There's <laughs> catfish in the channel cats climb in, so. Uh, okay. Okay. The cave Run I like lose our signal. Everybody's chopping. Oh, Cave Run Lake, yeah. Oh, look. My screen's going black. And it won't let me do anything. Oh, it's because the phone's on fire. Phone's overheating. Ooh. Hey, we're going to step out. My phone's overheating real bad. Okay. Buggy is a UDF. Yeah. It's a chocolate chip ice cream, Buggy. <laughs> Lieutenant D, ice cream. Corey Coach says Douglas Lake isn't the best, but it's great for crappie. It's crappie Lake? And Lynn says there is what sucks. Jerky is back. Mm. Yeah. Linda. Linda, I don't know who Lynn Linda zoned me. He don't love me no more. I think you pick on everybody else, man. I thought we were buddies. J Dog says Operation Shad engaged. Get them, J Bubby. Get them. Got to get Bucky a new PB this weekend. Come on. Or. As some people say. <laughs> Every time he says that, I get it. I did. Carol, that's okay. You're slowing down. It didn't look good when it back to us. Yeah. How about objects in the mirror close to the damn mirror? Pass in the Kentucky River. Oh man, that water looks nice. Yeah. What become the king of the Tennessee on the Kentucky River? Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. 
Grab a 30 mile an hour. Lynn said, don't wet the bed, Jeff. It's okay. I still like you, Lynn. Duh. Okay. Said he caught a couple hogs yesterday. Nice. I keep seeing Rick doing some different lives and stuff, and never, never can get in them. Wait, so it's current. J Dogs is awesome. Wow, yeah, that's real nice. Right wing flows half on Son of a biscuit eater. Okay. That guy was nice. Let me in. The other guy sped up. And I want to punch him in his face mouth. Not that I'm an angry person. But I would. Punch right in his face mouth. And then say, my name's Chris from Hooks and Hammocks. That's right. Punch him in the mouth. Say, I'm Chris from Hooks and Hammocks. Great Goat needs a spinning reel suggestion. Got a new catfish rod coming Monday. Not one that will cost an arm and a leg. Going for <laughs> if you're going for a catfishing type spinning reel. They make some. I know Penn Pen makes some pretty good ones. I don't know price wise where they're at. Uh, and they make some monsters, big ones. You don't need that big of one. Some of the ones they get are you or make, but uh. <laughs> I want to say the Akuma Avengers they have, or they have some bigger size ones that would be good for catfishing. We love our Avengers for crappie and yeah. price wise, yeah. those QC fun reels for the price are okay. I haven't looked at their spin, their bigger spinning reels. Oh. For catfish type. Oh, spinning reels. Oh yeah, I've got an Akuma. It's nice. Uh. Oh, Mike Marillo gave it to me at CatCon two years ago, last year. You know what? Don't ever tell Marillo this, but he's an all right guy. He is when he's asleep. He just ain't sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't, I, I don't want him to, you know, think yeah. I like him or something. Yeah, I agree. He's blown away, to be honest with you. I was really flattered and grateful for the fact that he did. It was, I was truly grateful. So yeah. I traded, uh, a couple of PC funds for a uh, Uncle Luke uh, spinner rod. And uh, he'd seen that I had the rod and didn't have a reel. And I think it was sent Eric or someone over to give it to me. And, uh, it is extremely good people. Almost kind of intelligent when he, when he tries to be, you know. And Lisa, the uh, the the Akuma Avengers, they have a lot of different sizes of those reels. So I'm not sure what size, what kind of Akuma you have, but yeah, I'd have to get on it. Oh, I got it with me. I have to look at it. Yeah, Captain Dog, I can't believe I'm gonna agree with Chad. Ben is a great reel. <laughs> yeah, they got some nice. They got some nice ones. She says, I'm a little chick, and that reel is bigger than my hand. <laughs> well, we, the Akuma Avengers series that they have, we have everything from like a, 
a 10 to 10 and 20, which we use for crappie, to like a 40 that we use for skipjack, and they keep they keep going up. So it just depends on what size you get. No, I'm not so sure. I think I lose signal when I turn down into this park. I can't remember for sure now. We'll find out here in a minute. Morning, Jack Shore. Yaggedy yak. Don't talk back. That's what it is. Don't talk back. Yeah. I wouldn't know why you wouldn't get that great. I like to talk back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's as tall as heck. And that's coming from Yak. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely tall. She is sweet as a summer day is long. So nice. We live in a long summer day. Summer loving. Had me a blast. Summer <laughs> loving. Happened so fast. One of the few, one of the few musicals I'll, I'll actually watch. Yeah. Original Grease. Yep, I'm with you. My aunt took me to that. She's gone now, but she was so into that movie, I'll never forget it. Okay, let's see what all I'm going to need. If this is Friday, I'm going to let, we'll just use all J Dog's poles and stuff. Just don't manhandle them. Yep, yeah, I go easy with them. Yeah, Freddy's the one that breaks stuff. Not buttons. Oh, that's <laughs> Oh, man. Let's see here. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to end this, and I may start another one here in a little bit. All right, Buggy. You All do right, what you need to do. I enjoy it. I will. I always do. After all, it is about me. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. See you, Buggy. Yep, see you. Have a great day. Oh. <laughs> 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 Dog said, Yeah, he put my radio this time. Lord have mercy, Freddy. Uh, so, Buggy left, but he didn't end it. <laughs> Just the two of us making buggies live better if we can. Mm. I wonder if Buggy even realizes he didn't end it before he left. I uh, J Doc said, stay on here. We'll jump on in a minute. Oh, okay, that's cool. Ooh, then we can make it a fishing show, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. I really wish they wouldn't have popped uh popped out of there. That way we can see J Dog do like the threshold thing and pick Buggy up and put him in the boat like he does.
So, Eric, you guys still going down to fish with them? Yeah, I haven't decided if I'm going to leave tonight or wait until tomorrow. Yeah. But I don't drive as slow as the man, so. Yeah. Well, he warned everybody he drives slow, so. <laughs> Well, slow and steady, I guess the way the blood man goes. J Dog said, I got news for you. It's going to be an hour before he gets down the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. That is pretty long ramp. Yeah. I hate that ramp. It is so long, Steve. See, I don't mind it because uh, I'm in the boat when I go up and down myself. So. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> like the worst part of the fishing trip is when you're done, you know, you got to walk all the way up there to, to get the truck to put, bring it down. You're like, oh. Oh, and another 20 minutes to get in the boat. So we got an hour 20 wait. <laughs> so like we should already be in the pool by now. And Chris says they're going to stay in chat so their phone doesn't overheat. Yeah, because it really stinked to have phone problems and become the king of the Tennessee, but it wouldn't count. Yeah. You couldn't stay on the live. Yeah. Oh, okay. You might know. Did uh, Daryl ever announce what the changes are for the next one? I don't know. Ah, yes, second. Yeah, Chris is one of the rich people. He thinks he's so. He's pretty cool. Tell these more. Oh, God, tell you so much. But I mean, it was implied because she's a ginger. So, and ginger's for life. I hear it now. Chris said, shut your face mouth, Chad. I don't care what Chris has to say. This weekend, Chad, he is Diana. Chad, I noticed last what? night you're losing your gender. Your gender. Oh, I have been for a while, but I'll be, a, I'll be a full white beard before long. I guess that's what happens when you get teenagers, right? Between that and being a in a leadership role, yeah, I'll do it to you. Yep, because <laughs> I'm not in the leadership role, which must be more of it, because uh, I don't have gray hair. <laughs> don't worry, D, it's coming. That's okay. I just dye it out if it does. J Dog says, I'll have a strawberry shortcake in the boat 
waving it around like those people at SeaWorld coaching him to the boat. <laughs> He's going to look like a walrus getting in here. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'd say in about another month, they'll put the dock in down there, too. That's what stinks is when they don't have the dock in. Yeah. Forever 41 cage. Is that Khalil? That's what I was wondering. Look. Here's uh, tires crop yard. <laughs> He's a junkyard dog right now. Mm-hmm. It's a tire shop. <laughs> <laughs> You working at the you working at the tire shop? Yeah, Jay Dog says so. I still don't see him. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Poor poor buggy. Buggy's probably wandering around like. Well, he said he was here. <laughs> Not even the Louisville. We've already used a quarter ticket gas. Oh, you had to have a bigger truck. It's comfy that way. Heck yeah. That is sexy. So what are you doing there, Eric? Picking up more tires? Oh, he must have got out. He heard me get out. <laughs> well, we missed the window for good fishing now. <laughs> yeah, you're about to be in the air of sun. Maybe it'll rain like midday and then go to a lighter rain. Or maybe the rain just passes. Maybe the rain will just and the wind will just disappear. Bill says big truck equal what? J Dog says little ego, Bill. <laughs> I don't have much of an ego. Anybody, anybody knows me, I have a... a what was I going to say? But, uh, what's it called? Low self-esteem. Low self-esteem, thank you. See you later, Rico. See you, Lisa. Tell Randy hello. He's got paperwork to get done. Fun, fun, fun. Don't mm. so lose favorite place. Mm. Are you pick it up or drop it off? Dropping. Drop it. Like it's hot. Did you right. drop it like it's hot? Drop it like it's hot. Friday, I don't like picking nothing up. Means you have to go back to the warehouse and put it away. Off the roadside apples. Ah. 
She said she'll tell him he's on the phone with Captain Morgan. Don't uh, be giving Captain Morgan any fishing spots. I think he's fishing with us tomorrow. Oh, whatever, J Dog. I'm not even reading that. You knew better than that. We went to a restaurant in front of people and sat with him. So, yeah. Wonder why I have low self esteem. Because J Dog picks on you all the time. Yeah. Chad, they only pick on you because they love you, buddy. Uh, Jay don't, don't love me. Tara loves me. Well, he'd probably love you more if you took went fishing with him more. Well, most time I know my schedule's looking like. I hear you there. As you can see, J Dog don't like to go fish. He's he's more of a person that should fish with Bill more because they both like to get out there at like freaking noon. I like to be heading home by noon, especially like the summertime. Yeah, in the summertime, summer, I like to fish. Late fall, to fish. winter, and early spring, I like to stay out all day if I can. But, well, until I get until I hit it's where I need a nap because I'm old. Mm -hmm. uh, says he's fishing tomorrow. He's got his own spot. Somebody got a secret spot? Captain Morgan got some spots. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we, did, we did not have to drive three hours away, you jackass. <laughs> you make me sound like such a bad guy. God. I mean, I am driving six hours away because I heard that Curtis and Eric were going to be in town. Not even right. I think it's funny how they always just plan this stuff on weekends. We actually have something planned. Yep. We can't fish with them. My fault. <laughs> Plain buggy. Yeah, did you see anybody want to fish with us last weekend? We were when we were out there in the hurricane. Yeah. You ever see Buggy, Curtis, Eric say, or even J Dog say, "Hey, let's plan something this weekend. Go fishing." They're like, "Oh wait, no, you go fishing too early." <laughs> Hell, D tells me that too, but she still gets up. Yeah. I just think you need to wake up earlier during the week for work, and then maybe you realize why it'd be nice to sleep in a little bit on the weekend. See, I disagree with you because I would rather get up earlier on the weekend because it's actually his than going to work. Oh, so uh, if I quit my job, that makes me get up so early. I uh, can't get up early on the weekend. Nobody's saying they have quitting jobs, <laughs> but nobody's forcing you into that. 6 a.m. start time job. But yourself. But at the same time, it's also nice to get off at a decent time. Yeah. So just to ask. Uh, yep. <laughs> and then it was just me. We still got 18 people listening to us. Just Come on. We just rambling, doing what I love, driving lives. Those are your favorite kind of lives. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like the Highlander. 
there can be only one. And it was us. Man, you talk about the ultimate crave case. Look at that crave case rolling down the highway. Wow. 53 foot by 10. Or, yeah, yeah, 10 feet. 8 feet, 10 feet. A lot of crave cases. All right, chat, talk to me. He's tired of talking to himself. Come on. <laughs> you don't start talking, I'm going to start singing. Yep, lost a person over that one. <laughs> <laughs> Two point three months. Where oh man, why is it telling us to get off the earth? Chris says we're still here. Hey everybody. I thought that ended. About <laughs> time. Get yourself solo there in there if you're fishing. Hold on. I get Eric back up there. We ain't fishing yet. We just got here. And I got to find something to hold it with and a power cord because I'm going to run out of power if I don't. Oh, yeah, what's this? Yeah, you need a little bit of power. Are you clamping on? Yep, yep. Wherever you want to clamp it on, like that. We ain't putting it that close I'm to the side. But okay. <laughs> I'm saying you can't put it. My phone ain't going in no river today. There we go. <laughs> I don't even but know how fun. to do it. We'll leave it like this till we get set up here. We just pulled in. We oh, okay. ain't, they ain't fit. There's not fish one on any of them fish monitors neither. I don't know what we're gonna do today. Lie. We just counted nineteen of them. <laughs> I don't tell everybody. I was gonna surprise them when we started yanking fish out of that river. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, not one glove. Where's the other? There it is. Oh, I realized what you were saying. They're back. Oh my God. There ain't no gloves allowed. I'm not going to. I got to lace my boots up. I just throwed them on. Because uh, I almost came down in my shoes. I was like, oh no, dude, you broke your boots. Your feet will freeze to death if you don't do that. So now I got to put my boots on, lace them up a little bit anyway. <laughs> they make my knee hurt twice as bad if I'm walking in them, but I'll take the pain for the warmth today. Welcome to the bug man shop. Do what? Oh, I'm nervous up there, and I think that's not What's up, Missy Kennedy? I don't know. <laughs> I think we're good now. Looks like <laughs> There we go. There. We put the famous man up on there. Oh, yeah, that's right. The famous wow. man on YouTube. Okay. Been on oh, maybe a mile or two. Yeah, just a yeah. Yeah, I like this river. I'll get dark with it. Yeah. Like yeah, I like the wind one. I might wish we were here, man. You and your wife. Oh, you I'll definitely pour you. You better not mess it up. All right. Pro staff, Uncle Lou Rod. Oh, oh. I was going to bring the lucky rod down the hill, and I thought, no, I'll save that for tomorrow. We aren't going to mess with it till tomorrow, and we'll get uh, Curtis with it tomorrow. Yeah. So I figured you, what you got here? Uh -huh. That's what I was thinking, too. Look at him go. I got some shrimp, too. 
With cigar on the In one quarter mile, turn left onto KY329. Go left on E29. <laughs> Yeah, this is perfect, brother. Did you hear me tell that Dad snuck his phone in his uh, walker thing? There's a little pouch in there. Oh my God, he called over and over yesterday. So they couldn't. He couldn't find the suitcase. Well, when he come in, they took the medicine and stuff out of it, and then they took the suitcase down to the laundry and they ironed on these little tags with his name on it, all his clothes and stuff. So I had the nurse call me that had just got in there and I had no idea what the hell she was talking about, you know. I was like, ma'am, I don't know. Hold on. And then it dawned on me and I asked her, I said, do you have his medicine? Because otherwise, if that guy driving that pickup van had kept that suitcase in the van, he'd have been sitting pretty, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't understand. What to explain is that heel right there? Yeah. No way, really. Where you get that at? Oh, I thought maybe you caught it or something. Because I honestly had no idea that it were freshwater eel until I seen real time fishing catch one or had that set that trap up at night and caught some. Had them the next morning. I had no idea. No, well, I used to use bluegill fish. I don't know nothing about anything but bluegill. And I ain't that good at that even, to be honest with you. I just got lucky that the place I fish is easy. Man, it felt so good to, you know what I mean, be driving down the highway early in the morning, you know, going somewhere for a change. It's kind of hard to explain, but it was, I was like, yes, man, this is what I miss. Hey, Rick. You know, where you're just sitting. You get up early and take off and like man, especially when it's a weekday and everybody else is working, and you're like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm doing something today. Oh, you're in turn, see. What is that? Cottonwood come off that? Oh, they ain't bummed yet. I think that uh, seat's good. I will, I will not break the seat. We're gonna put my lawn chair right back there tomorrow. If we get in tonight, we'll transfer all that stuff over. The whisker seekers, baby. Oh, Maybe good luck. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you got that other whisker seeker. I gave you nine. I just didn't think that rod was big enough. You know what I mean, a little flexy for me. That's the way I like it. So they nibble more than they fight down here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like you know. Yeah. It's got cool cork handles though. I'm telling you, in my opinion, that's the coolest thing there is. Yeah. It it, it, it tickles my fancy what that does. I carry out the truck stuff out to the truck more. You all seen the little guy. He's sitting there with his ears down like, dude, tell me you're not leaving. <laughs> Please tell me you're not leaving. You know how she is. <laughs> I'm not going to treat all week. Yeah. Oh, no, he'll get treated. You'll, you'll let him out and forget he's out there. And then, you know, an hour and a half later, he remembers that he went out there freezing his ass off. <laughs> The green rod. Yeah. That's, the, that's the Eric rod. They have heard it's too good for it. Yep. Yep. Good for you, Eric. Oh, no, nope. that's the green one. Never mind. That one ain't for you. That's for me. That's money right there. Help! I make it a hole. By how long it takes to go down? Yep. Yep. It's either going to be 15 feet or it's going to be 35 feet. Oh, no, shit. That hole was that deep. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm in the it or not.
Oh, maybe we should have got all that extra. I got to pee. <laughs> I not only peed, I stopped that gas station on that hill and took a jump too. So I get all that on my way. <laughs> I ain't lying to no one. I got nothing to lie about. That golf course at the rink, very often you get to fish next to a professional golf course. Yeah, you're between a professional golf course and a professional angler. You mean, I am. My life is pretty good today. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm on the phone. <laughs> You're the professional, J Dog. You're the greatest Ohio angler ever. If I had to lick it, I would have believed you. <laughs> In Ohio, so I know you're lying. We probably won't catch that until we turn that. Well, no, you got here. Rick is butt crack 30. That's, I, it's all right. It's perfectly fine. We got from seven to about nine thirty. Right. Yeah. The rest of the day, we're gonna be twiddling our towels. Yeah, I ain't believing this today. Today's a different day. Today is a different day. Well, that pen's a beefy reel, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, the reels. Yeah, it's a beefy reel, man. It's a beefcake. That's a fish catching reel right there. I don't know how to use those brakes. I'm using those trailer brakes or something. All right, but they might smell it. It might drop that uh, stint down in the hole. I'm going to tell you something. may get curious and cruise over and see, hey, what's going on up there? There's something dead floating down we should be eating right now. Oh man, we got chicken. I didn't even put no chicken out. I'll be dipped. I didn't bring no chicken. I brought some shrimp and some bluegill and some night crawlers. Some net crawlers? I figured at the minimum, night crawler get a guy uh, a channel cat or something. Eight dry. Oh, we almost hit, we almost hit ten mile an hour and have hit the brake. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Well, they're there. There's a big hole right behind us. They're sitting in. Those are all Asian carp. Probably. But I'll catch an Asian carp. They will catch. I may even fight hard. I don't know. I don't know that much about them, actually. <laughs> now you're charging. Oh, okay, cool. Ooh, I'm starting to sweat. I know. I was sitting there thinking maybe I put too much sweatshirt on. Wish this river wasn't so up and down. I suspend drift down it right now. You mean up and down like this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take class with me. Mm hmm. Because the current's just. Not good. Denise said, I think I know that boat. 
Yes, do. Yes, you did. There's Lance McCool guy. Yep, he's in there early. And John R's in here. Job interview. Huh? He said he was headed to do a job interview. What tree right there ain't long for here, is it? See? No, next year it'll be gone. Oh, yeah, that's right. They don't stay much, do they? They get washed away in the floods. Uh -huh. That sucks. That sucks if they just stay there. But then they'd have to move them for the barges anyway, wouldn't they? Uh, the barges push them out. Exactly. Uncle Don R. Uncle Don. Uncle Lou said was snowing at his house. Absolutely, Denise. I told Uncle Lou, do not say the S word on my phone. <laughs> you, you said it wasn't going to rain this weekend and it was drizzling all the way down here. I was, I was in the sun all the way. Oh, somebody's dead up there. Look. That's something dead. They smelled you. Yep, that's what it is. They're like, in the body. Indiana boys here. <laughs> I smell them. Indiana boy who don't know how to fish. Yeah. No, nah, he's headed to Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't forget Chad and them headed to Alabama, but they're fishing the Tennessee River thing. Uh -huh. I'm going to have to get my map out and study it now. You going to study it? Starts way up there and eastern Tennessee and then goes down into Alabama, comes back up into Tennessee and goes through Kentucky and dumps out into the Ohio. I wonder how it does that. It makes a big U. Basically. Huh. But technically it goes back north at a point then. <laughs> The river flows the wrong way. Uh oh. The Patriot right in front of you just got tapped. Yeah. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Show that fishy who's boss there, bug man. Come on. Oh, damn. I forgot we got creek chubs. Yeah. Yeah. Morning, Rowdy Royal. Rowdy, Rowdy. Howdy, Rowdy. Lance. Lance. Cool guy. Lance in the crib. Did you get any moon eye? Uh, yeah, I got frozen moon eye. That's yeah. live cubs. Yep. All I use. Heck yeah, that sun stays out. We'll be filling these sweatshirts off in a little bit. I got a long john shirt under. I've got a uh, muddy water hoodie, and it's a hot son of a gun. Good Lord. It looks thick. It is. It's really thick. About but, as thick as Creole's accent. <laughs> those are hard to find, too. Good. Oh, that's thick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we made it up to 15 mile an hour. Things are getting risky. Where's that Chris It's risky. There's many golfers out there. Uh -huh. Like that Tonka trucks. Them big old Tonka trucks are
Don't drop no damn rock on my boat. Don't be dropping no rock on my boat. What's up, Eddie? Big old caterpillars down here doing uh, road work on this interstate. And they're scooping big, huge boulders and dumping them in the back of these big monster oh, yeah. dump truck things. I came across a video the other day. Uh, I forget what beach it was. In California, big cliffside. And I mean, house sized sections of this cliff was breaking off and falling down to the, to the beach area, all the way across it. You could watch in little sand. Well, it probably weren't little. They're were probably big. Like sand streams would be running on each side of it, and all of a sudden, it just start going. Mm. Explode. Uh oh. Uh oh. That pole get the bump. Yeah. Come on, bump it like it's hot. Bump it like it's hot. Shakespeare, Shakespeare reel on it. Uh -huh. Heck yeah. It's just a Walmart special and that's all he used. It don't matter. They catch fish. <laughs> yeah, that golf cart's rocking out over there. Oh, yeah, is that what that? Yeah. I uh, I my messed up. I took an appraisal the next week yesterday, but it was like a little bitty house in New County. I mean, it's, it's easy money appraisal. And I'm like, man, I got to take this. I can't make it work. And uh, hopefully nothing happens with Dad this week. Dave, they just started fishing, and uh, uh -oh. fifty cent. They're on the Licking River. Big fish energy. I won't fall, I promise. I was going to get the reach over. Yeah, my last, the last second I remember taking the lead and I'd be broke and I was getting ready to walk away from the car. I was like, oh, wait a minute, dude, don't pay the price. What's up, half century? <laughs> We're fishing in water. On the wonderful Lincoln River. And jump, jump way down there, is it? Mm-hmm. Old car for jump. How late are you guys going to stay out today? As late as we want to. Until the cows come home. Now what? Just acting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of them guys. You got to tell me when to go home. Or I'll just sit here. Yeah, I got to be home to get Mason, so I got to leave here by at least 245. I'm saying, I think you got to pick Mason up, don't you? Yeah. Okay. So we're leaving here at probably 2.30. I had every intention of getting out of the house at 5.30, but I, I lost 45 minutes to the dryer. You should have just hung them out the window and they would have flapped dry. I'd have had to drove naked then. Somebody might have liked it. Ain't nobody... I don't want to see that. I ain't inflicted upon nobody else. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on, Buggy. You know you want that girl that J Dog, that picture J Dog sent you to see it. Well, yeah, she's three of me, so I wouldn't mind then. I wouldn't be so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about my future wife like that now. Come on.
What's up, Northern View Outdoors? AR Patriots. What kind of bait do you have on this right here? Do you remember? Yep. More buzzer? Yep. That kind? Yep. All right. Hopefully, we didn't pull it off and everyone on it like that. You look. So, if you come on, bite it. Eat it or just leave it alone and let your other buddies have it. And get more changes because I forgot. Yeah, Northern View Outdoors is Ohio, from Ohio. From Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. House thinking yeah. that maybe the old drain pan was still there and it wasn't there. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, crap, what's his name? I've talked to him through Messenger. Can you think of it? Yeah. Damn long. Yeah. Is it him? The one getting hit's going to tangle with this one when it gets gets on there because the lines are right next to you. I'm on to the fish on it. Oh, man. Where are the books? That's the kind of stuff I'm like, oh, no, it's going to tangle. Probably because I used to get yelled at for casting across dad's line stuff when I was a kid. Oh. Well, I can't help it. It went that way. <laughs> yeah, good thing I didn't take sweatshirt. Take it, I oh. <laughs> yeah. it would have got bad. What's up, Greenwell? Mikey. Bumping Mike. I like little Mikey. Let's ask Mikey who he did anything. Look at that fish for you, man. Flowing better than it did that other day, didn't it? Uh, yeah, this is perfect right here. Can't believe we ain't well. That's late, but we should at least caught one though. It's because Tara's not there. The wind was blowing that day too. Is it? No, it's because he showed up at ten o'clock. It's all right. <laughs> this is just practice day, anyhow. Chad knows that this river is good from seven to nine thirty or so. <laughs> Did you gotta go home, take a nap, come back about six o'clock, and ready to rock again? Yep. Do that. Yep. It's funny that way that river is. They eat breakfast and then they all go take a nap because the old kids. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I say. Mm -hmm. We've the most we've hit is fifteen mile an hour through here. We're mostly doing five to ten. Hmm. Oh, you're kidding! Before we're we're not even to Louisville yet. Oh, the traffic down there sucks. Yeah. Well, that and they're always doing construction down through here. Well, yeah, and about the grain. Crap. What did you say, Jay? Well, you're right before LaGrange? No, we're past LaGrange. Are you? LaGrange. What that guy's doing? He's going over, dude. Turn signal's freaking hell. Okay. Yeah. That's why if I can, I don't take interstate. Like Did you come through uh, Lawrenceburg? I come. I took seventy four. I went down Highway Three oh, to God. Greensburg and take seventy four straight over to two seventy five. Where I think on the way home I may take Highway One home just because I like the scenery. That's the way I took to get to uh, Brookville Lake. Yeah. Yep, I've been camping there one time. 
but I've never been on the water there. And then the Potomac Yeah, Mike, that's us. We're behind the scenes. I've never been us on and the Eric. Lake. In fact, I need to research Potoka Lake, the catfish for more than <laughs> that. That's a big lake. That's a big lake. And somebody was telling me they read they're going to uh, release blues and flatheads in the lakes in Indiana or something is what they tell me. I don't know how I'm looking at the DNR probably able to. Oh, shoot, I got to get a license here. Chris said he's in 10 IC. <laughs> You know, if Chris was going through Louisville here in a few minutes, he could have gave me some bait, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, take as much bait as I gave him. He would say, hey, dog, you need a couple of skips for the weekend? I know. Sure didn't get that, though. Roger. Yeah, probably his brother. <laughs> they're about they're about the same height. Yeah, that's true. Makes me wonder if Roger if Roger grew a goatee, what they look alike? And shaved his head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now would that channel be called muskrats and hammocks? Or would it be <laughs> hammocks, muskrats are in the hammock? <laughs> Yeah. Or hooks in, the hooks, in, hooks in the muskrat? Hooks and rats. That's a good Hammock. name. Hammocks for rats. Yeah. Rat hey. Hammocks for rats. <laughs> I was say rat hammocks. They're in Tennessee now, by the way. Hooks and hammocks. Just said. Mm. Yeah, once you cross the Ohio River from there to out of Tennessee is not real bad, but then when you get in Georgia, it's like pack your lunch and you're going to be here a while. We're coming over this hey, way. Look, look, I don't think there, was five, there wasn't any traffic at all, man. It's like the whole yeah. freaking thing right there. You think all got the money? Uh, do we need to get over now? I can't see around the truck. I know. Well, I'm going to say so. It's going to the red. Yeah. The red end soon. Yeah, if those work out all right, man. <clears throat> yeah, doggy. This segment brought to you by J Dog Fishing. For all your fishing needs. Yep. That's what it is. You're awesome, dude. I don't care what anybody said. Who's awesome? The guy that just led us over. Uh -huh. We finally got to the source of the slowness, and it's there's a wreck in this one lane that we're Jack Wagon in. can't drive. <laughs> people, I would say, I'll be honest, I don't think. Half the world can drive anymore. If nope. if that that might be being nice. I'm telling you, this seventeen year old girl got shot on 465 for honking at a guy that cut her off. Fishy, they, fishy. Record, they just pull them over, or they yeah. broke down. I, I, I think there was a passenger leaned out the car and back at her and pointed and shot her five times. <laughs> That's why if I had the ability, I'd move out the country down over grandma and grandpa and them over there south of Hazard and just live out there like a hermit and go fishing. Man, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm flying right now. We're hit, we just hit 40. Hell yeah. Oh, oh snap. It's on now. Oh, see, here we go. Hey, give it five minutes and we'll be in Louisville in 
Could have we stopped again? Stopped again. <laughs> Well, this spot looks like a dizzard. Whatever you say, man. We going up river or down river? Maybe Buggy Bug should uh, dip his t uh, his feet in the water. That'll that'll attract some fish. My feet? Yeah, you don't want those crusty things. They'll have the, the uh, DNR and everybody out here with contamination suits, and it just it'd be ugly. It'd be a fish kill. Two thing two things would happen if you do it, Buggy. It's either gonna attract all the fish or they're gonna start floating. Exactly. <laughs> and if we snag them, they still count. That's right. <laughs> if one fin moves once they're laying in the boat, they count their life. On the Tennessee River. Christy Brown, what's going down? G T E B and Trissy. I, I missed. I didn't get to see them this year at CatCon. It wasn't there. They weren't. Yeah, I didn't think they were going to be able to go. I know he was having fits with that knee. Well, see, sometimes it's caused by him and Rustic. The doctor tells him stay off this for X amount of weeks. I hear and people then, don't see nobody. I don't know what. They do. They get up and do shit they ain't supposed to, and then can't figure out why they do. Oh, the doctor told you not to raise that arm for eight weeks. Don't raise it. I listened to my doctors. I didn't use to. My first surgery. I lay in an hospital bed. I was fourteen. Just lay here. Had my leg in one of them, like wrap around brace things and elevate and stuff. And the doctor come in and he said, Yep, I think we'll let you go home today. And I said, Good, man, I can take his damn brace off. Two minutes later, they were putting a cast on my leg. Dr. Bensley looked at me and smiled and said, Did you learn anything? I said, Yes, sir, I did. He was cool though. He done my dad's and all his dirt bike racing buddies. And then he's mine. He done two of mine. It's time to move, Chad. Where you been there? About half hour? 45 minutes or so? Half give hour? It three, yeah. give, it, give it three more minutes if you ain't got one move. All right, we'll move at 11. It's 1056. How about that? That'll work. Yeah, four minutes. I know I'm putting my jacket on this time before we go zooming down that river at a thousand mile an hour. <laughs> I gotta hurry up. Hell, you got here. Time to go to bed. Uh, this was just kind of a blow off day, man. Hell no, this is the best day we got. The rest of the day, so well, Sunday ain't bad, but Saturday sucks. Why, too many boats? Wind. Oh, it's gonna be windy tomorrow? Yeah. But I ain't gonna stop me from coming here though, because I can hide from the wind. I say we can hide from the wind on the lake, and yeah. I, I I love this river right here. I don't know what it is about. I like it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hide from the wind on the lake tomorrow, buddy. You don't think so? Well, just because of the direction that it's coming, it's gonna be coming straight out of the north to the south, so it's gonna shoot straight up that river. One of these bends would have to hide it. Yep. Hide behind one of the pillars on the bridge. Yeah. You'll be sitting there fishing, look back and be like, Where'd Buggy? Buggy be blown up into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Had to put, tie an anchor to his leg. It's a lot of fat to get up in the air, though. Buggy, you are not that big of a fella. Dude, I'm fatter than you think. <laughs> I'm over 200 pounds, I can tell you that. Damn. Most people are small to me, so. Like I said, I've never been big until I moved to start taking care of mom and them and ended up not doing anything healthy.
my my worst. I don't eat good, man. I eat shit. The reason I ain't died yet. <laughs> It's the final countdown. Yeah, I have sentry chads here. Andy and Eric. Yeah, we're here. Not on the boat, but in the live. Yeah. Yeah, we're not we're not on the boat uh, with them because they don't want to fish with us ever. I got to my oh, yeah. That's, that's it's, it's pretty bad that J Dog messaged Daryl to schedule the Tennessee tournament so that I would have to go down there this weekend and not hang out with them. He told me he told sure, me everything else after. I'm pretty sure last weekend I called you and said, you want to go bowling? Oh, yeah, let me ask D when I get home. And never heard from you for a week. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even get asked, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just start asking D. I'll just go around, Chad. Yeah, you got to. Yeah. It might be a smarter idea. I, go straight to the source. My brain is about dead half the time these days, buddy. I know you don't. I know you don't believe me, but that's because they're not on screen. Half century, just we are. Yeah, we're just driving half century. We're there ain't no sense in watching us. Hey, it's time to move. Come on. We're all over it, man. <laughs> Go to that spot where the fish are. Get the fish, bug. Get the fish. Get it. Get it. Get it. I told you to wait till eleven oh one. No. Yeah. On look, it's on a green pole. Figures. On the Eric pole. Buggy's still in my fish. Very weird. Yeah, it felt like you catching That's okay. That means you're putting the first fish in the boat, Eric. I always do. You know, I, am, I am the better brother at fishing, even though he runs his mouth every morning saying, oh, I'm a better fisherman than you. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm going to get him throwing the cat's net. I'm going to record him and not even let him know. But you guys can laugh at him. Do it. I still don't understand how he had that thing wrapped around his leg. <laughs> Did he drop around the tree and break it off? This is that one you had way, way out there. <laughs> I love Missy Kennedy. <laughs> More action watching you drive, Chad, than watching you fish. We all knew you D catches all the fish. I I don't like Missy Kennedy no more. I woke up. You got a PB or what? Hey, Curtis is here. And he said, Eric, you're full of yeah, and ms yeah, we got a PB right off the jump. Yeah. Did that come on a creek job? There we go. Yeah. I think we got a new PB today. Yeah, we got a teener here for sure. Oh, yeah. Finish on. Yeah. Hold on. I'm trying to. I'm out. Oh, Good job, job buggy. Good job, Bubba. Yep, I think we got a new one. Give me uh, my grip back there. That was on eel. On eel? 
on the hill. Did it get the hill to eat? Nope. nope. Heck yeah. Yeah. What is your PBO? I don't remember. My PBO, anything is 10.8 pounds. And my PB yeah. blue was eight or eight or nine something last time. You may be close. Yeah. I think he looks bigger than he is. That's what I'm saying. Wrong with that. Didn't really feel that big. He didn't hardly do anything until he got close to the boat. Oh yeah, we got it. What's your out? We'll put you back. He's just talking, ain't he? Twelve point eight new PB. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. well, come up a little bit closer to us. A little bit closer. Somebody can get him a screenshot there. Percy. Mm -hmm. Percy's awesome. Thanks, Percy. All right, buddy. We better get all the poles in there. We gotta move. <laughs> now it's time for a Swiss roll. A strawberry Swiss roll. There, guy. He was on the out in the middle, so I think when we move, I I'll move back to the middle. Thank you, Chrissy. That was. I got some slime though. on my shirt. So you didn't want to slime picture. up. Hey, Eric, help you get your PB. This is his pole. Oh, thank you, Eric. Off the Eric Pole. Off the Eric Pole. Yeah. Mm, cars. Well, it finally made it to Louisville. We say you're on the Sixty-five south for one hundred seventy-four miles. Mm, I'm only eighty-four miles. Warehouse. Come on, you little dick. Get out of my way. Let's go. Let's go. Out of freaking out of staters. Why are all of these out of staters in my state now, too? Oh, if they're not stealing my daggone skipjacks, they're out here in my way when I'm driving. Wow, you got. You got Indiana people coming and stealing your your skipjacks. You got a hundred people coming and stealing your skipjacks. Uh, right. Next they'll be coming at after your moon eye. Bless. Better pick up the head. Jack Boss and Carter should be up here reading chat for us. How much garbage is on the sides of the interstate driving down through here in Louisville? Like, 
It's horrible. It's horrible. Bridge we fished down there the last time. The train bridge? Yeah. Yeah. We'll go down there after this. Let's see. Man. I know what Uncle Lou's saying. Go to the island. Go to the island. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Go to the island. What he said. I'm like, what island? <laughs> <laughs> Smoke another one, you big dummy. Yeah, probably have two. I don't care. What's the worst could happen? We will, Ernie. Thank you. Safe. Thank you. We'll talk. All right, Thanks, buddy. Oh, right there, the little expo center for CatCon is passing in. Also, you just went past the football field and everything. Okay, now Lisa Elliott. Well, hello, Lisa Elliot. What the hell, you dumb? I gotta remember, I'm on buggy show. I don't want to too much. Uh, you're fine, man. My show is PGR rated or whatever you want to call it. Literally, in my lane, there is. 50 yards between me and the semi truck up there. This stupid little. Oh, well, there's another stupid little, you know what? They don't get up in front, like give you a car length or two before they get over. They literally, like, about swipe you when they get over. Yeah. yeah. God. When's the war start? I don't know, but I'm ready. I'm, yeah, I'm ready. Damn. I'm ready, man. Just tell me when and where I'll be there. What's going on? The war. The war against stupidity. Yeah, let's do. The, yeah, let's just do the purge. We're, I mean, we're one step away from the Moody movie Idiocracy. If you've never seen oh, it, yep. buggy, I have been saying it for several years about that. that yep. I the dumbing down of the generations is getting insane very, very fast. I just wonder what they put in the water when they're seeding clouds or what, but this whole world has gotten stupider in the last 10 years. Well, I mean, the water has got all kinds of different stuff. They, they have found all kinds of, like, not just the fluoride, but the, uh, the like actual medicines and stuff that are in our oh, water. Yep. Yeah. God only I knows what like, is in the food that we're consuming. It, it flat out amazes me. I can't believe we're sitting in 30 feet of water. Right? Yeah. I even, I put that on YouTube comments all the time about the movie or Yahoo comments. Did you start the movie Idiocracy or, is it, was, or was it a biography? <laughs> Something like that, people. Yep. I've brought it up a lot myself over the last three or four years. I'm with I'm telling you, man, I'm one hundred percent. It just amazes me the stupidity that's out there. Hey, you don't want to hang out with me. I'm just hoping some of my intelligence rubs off on you, though. 
You're what? lying here because. Oh. Curtis don't even like me. But he likes me, so. Yeah, but. Where the boat goes, I can call so. it been up that far. It would have been up over that land. Yes, right don't fly. I'm here. I'm going to go become the new king of the Tennessee. <laughs> To make it awesome, natural. Uh -huh. Catfish Hunters TV's in here said common sense is a common. It is no. very unfortunate. Yeah. You know, they've done away with shop class in school and home ec, and that's where all the common sense was taught, and they just done away with it, so now there ain't none. I kind of chuckled that pole there. That was the one cast it out the furthest. And I was like, that figure's the one you catch the fish on the furthest one out. Uh -huh. I knew that Chubb Head was going to do it for us. Yep. I used to have a crit by the house. I food fished out when I was a kid that we'd catch those. So I'm going to go over and see if I can find a way to get back to the crib again. Because the old farmhouse it was at, it's tore down. There was a bridge that went across the creek out into the field, big cement bridge, <clears throat> you know, with metal I beams. So the bridge has still got to be there, I would assume. Morning, Uncle Lou. The buggy, somebody in Sea Cow says good morning. Oh, that it's they your friend Chris from Oklahoma. Friend Chris from Oklahoma. Not a clue. I don't know. Good morning. Yes, there you go. I don't talk to you regularly the last three days. I probably don't remember it, to be honest with you. Switched. My name's Joey now. Yes, don't fly. We have our rumble rods with us. So we've never officially learned how to bump. We mess around with it every once in a while. We have some current. For now. Um, 
that funny how every time you get ready to reel up and leave, you catch fish? Uh-huh. Every time. Like they got one fish on lookout says, okay, guys, we're getting ready to go. Okay, now. That's how it went. The problem with that is the way that it would be across the lake. Typically, on the lake that we'll be on, is unless you're up by the dam, there's no turn. So we didn't step on it. That's PB Blue. We need to get one in the teens. I ain't built the teens yet. You just did? Mm -hmm. You mean out of the teens? Yeah, that was a 12 8. That's I thought you said you need to get one in the teens. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. That one every 12 8. That's not a teen. That's, that's why I'm close to you. Yeah, but I can work with numbers. Uh oh. I'd be better than that, buddy. That's a good piece of bait right there you're hitting on. You might as well get all over it. Don't don't hesitate. We just call it a fish, Lisa. Might be catching another. Oh, there it goes. Real, real, real. Get him, get him, get him. Get it? Oh, yeah, you got it. Slow down, slow down, Wendy. Slow down. He's trying to he's trying to Andrew it and chunky it in here. I told you to stay in that spot. We didn't, we moved. Oh yeah. Bring it in and we'll we'll fix it. Here comes the rain. First one? First. That's his first ever flyhead. Oh, he <laughs> All he needs is a channel now, and he'll have the traffic. But... Heck yeah. I don't know how much he's already got the good way to start out the day. Yeah, it is. Well, there's, there's your entertainer. You want it? Is it? That's what I was looking for. Hold on. I got my seat. Okay. 13 7. 13 7. I need to write this stuff down so I don't forget it. Well, we got it. So I'm sorry, wait, let, let Chrissy get you a picture or, or D okay. or one of them. Yeah, D grabbed it. Hold him out. 
There you go. Walk in. There you go. Look at that. That's a good fit. You can send that into the bragging board. Yeah. Or you, you can just send it to me and I'll make sure it gets on here. Probably a better idea. Yeah, we hit the rain. Yeah, I see what they say now about the the fight. They fight well, I kept saying it's still different. Well, the old creek show. Oh, right in front of me. Right in front of me. Yep. 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 Double up, well, kind of a double up. Fish the fish. Yeah. I got a tank on my bird nest. You got it going on here. You come off. Well, I can get in the water, but I can't make him catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Hopefully, it's the channel and you bust it out. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and there you go, the trifecta within three fish of the trifecta. <laughs> Even though he ain't much of a channel, but don't he, matter. He's a channel the way you look at it. Great job. <laughs> Kid, you already got to the trifecta. Yep, three fish, three different species. Yeah, Grand Slam baby. Yeah. Go, buddy. He's a baby, but he's going to count for the trifecta today. That's right. Heck yeah. Thank you, buddy. There you go, little man. You can oh, consider that a double us. I mean, oh. Oh, well, uh, that's cool. That first time you ever did the trifecta? Oh, yeah. Especially that quick. Paul Bastion, join us. What's up, mate? Hopefully, you made it just in time to see Boogie's first flathead. Yep. Oh. It's PB Blue and his first trifecta. Yep. PB Blue at 12 8. Flathead was 13 something. That'll work. And his runny nose due to allergies. Yep. That'll work. Water temp is 47, so. Down a little couple degrees, didn't it? I don't know. Yeah, that was interesting. Like I said, I felt I was like, "Stop this is fighting." I feel. I heard someone talk about them shaking their head, and I was like, "Yeah, I can feel that now." They definitely fight harder than the other one. Yep, nice fish. Hey, Buggy, can you put yourself back on solo? Yeah, I think so. Hold on, let me see. I think it spun and it kicked it, kicked you out and back in real quick. And it there we go. Took off, took yeah. you off solo. There you go. Uh, Heck yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Well, it's about time it got put out here then. Seven or eight years, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Now see, that's getting how it'd be if I fish with six poles all the time. It'd always be like that. Oh, I know, but it'd still always be that way with me. That's because I'm I'm like that. 
Yeah. Shooting the gap, baby. Boom, money. Money. Huh. I'll put my glasses right up here in this cup holder. They it's they get fogged up. <laughs> Hmm? Which rod did the what? that flathead come on? Which rod? Down there, down there. I think it is. I, yeah, I think whichever one was next to the. This was the channel cut, so it was the. Okay, yeah, it was the seeker. big whisker seeker, no, the long one. It. No, no, that's all right. I don't want to. I got two bank rods that are good enough for me. Two and then I got three regular rods. And that's pretty much all I needed. And I'm doing a lot. I'm pretty simple. I got my ultra light. Three cat poles. Don't get in the trifecta. We back in business. <clears throat> We're in business, folks. Check us out. That's cool. I don't care if I catch another fish the whole week. I'm good. No, I think you need a 20. Come on. I would like a 20. My goal is 20 or bigger this weekend. But so I could get a sticker. My PB channel is going to be hard to beat, though. It's a 10-8. And that one I caught a lake by my house by myself. And it was, I was reeling my stuff up then too, getting ready to go home. And I was taking one rod apart and putting the yeah, that's awesome. things on it. And all I heard was ding, ding, ding. It scared the hell out of me. It's like two in the morning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make sure you text them to me so I can send them my. You ain't my damn boss. You ain't me, Tara. I ain't your boss. Yeah, that's true. I'll tell your wife. Here. Tell him I said send me the pictures, please. Yep, the trees are blooming. I, my nose is running to beat hell. <laughs> oh, I didn't top this morning off to be a nap. He said it'll be a nap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're old when naps are awesome. Naps become awesome when you're fishing the game over. Either you think eating dinner at 7 30 is late. That's what I tell people when it comes to like a trifecta tournament. It'd be really hard to beat me in this river. Yep. Yep. Because in the summer, I usually get it 90% of the time I fish. I can't believe you said it and then we're done. I hadn't even thought about that part. That was a nice flathead. That was a beautiful I'm flathead. I stoked on that one. It was. Yep. Yeah. And I agree, Lisa. She said, great yeah. job, J-Dog. Both men needed a great day on the water. Yes, I do. Oh, I yeah. no idea. I'm going to do my best to make sure he enjoys every day he's here. Yeah. Tomorrow may be a little difficult. but No idea how bad I need. I knew it was time for Dad to go to rest because I was grouchy yesterday. And I try not to be. Even when I'm having a bad day, I try not to be grouchy around him. Sometimes it just happens. Yeah. Well, we was coming home from the doctor the other day. He got his pain pump filled. And... Uh, 
He said something like, "What's a shame your mom died, but that other lady at the house, she, she's okay too, though. <laughs> <laughs> said, Dad, that's mom. I said, that's, nothing's happened to mom. And he started crying. He said, well, I just can't remember anymore about it, about us being together all that time. So I'm like, I'm sorry, Pop. I said, well, yeah, nothing's happened to mom. He introduced her to the nurse the other day. Have you met Joyce? <laughs> What's up, Bob Chat? Bob Kitty! Bobcat, Bob Kitty. Your dad's rod got my twice now since we've been here. We're gonna catch fish on that today. And Terry B's in here now. Curtis, Curtis told me to tell you you're gonna have to do better tomorrow to beat him. You ain't got nothing to touch that flathead tomorrow. <laughs> we'll bet double or nothing on the trifecta. <laughs> hey, what's up? Uh, Bobcat's got a question for you. He wants to know when you're going to take him fishing. Well, Martin's supposed to be here a certain day. That's why I had to back out on Bobcat, but he ended up not showing up. Or I would have took him out during CatCon. But he, I'll take him fishing anytime he wants. Jump in the truck, Bob. We'll be here all day and tomorrow, too. We, we love us some bobcat. Yeah, buddy. Best Tennessee fisherman there is. Heck yeah. I said it from the start, and I'll say it at the end. Oh, I forgot. He's got a tournament to win this week, doesn't he? What, what the he hell? Is he the king of the tournament? <laughs> that's going to be hard to do. Uh, Kentucky people's there. Yep, that's true. I'll say, me and Ryan are both fishing. There's two Kentucky people. Well, you're the, only, you're the only one that matters to me. Yeah, he says he's got some bump whooping to do in the morning. Come on, Bob Kitten. Half century, you know. You know where I live. All you gotta do is ask. Yep. Oh, you're closer to me than Chad is. Dad, does he get as much grief as we do? <laughs> <laughs> That river comes down. I might like come down there and fish the, uh, the dam a lot more. Yeah, did you notice you said the dam, not fish with you at the dam? Yeah. Oh, my God. You you are such a flipping Democrat, twisting <laughs> everything I'd say. <laughs> oh, I, I just listened to yeah, your words. That should have hurt your feelings. The P word. <laughs> that should have hurt your feelings. Yeah, it should. <laughs> not as much as when I'm sitting here and you're not with you two ain't fishing with me. <laughs> that is now the, probably the biggest insult you could have in the world today. That is well, yeah. Rustic, you see his PB blue and flathead. Well, that's a good way to start your flathead right there. Yeah, it is. I might have to take you down there and get your terrace thirty or forty. I'm sure he's still hanging around somewhere down there. Look, oh, Big and Bill, now Bill Big wants you to take you fishing. Yeah, I'd love to fish with Bill. Big we have a blast. No. Oh, Jada. At least he would answer my calls and and call me back when I asked him if he wanted to do something. I'm sure. Two. Bill. He would not. Bill would just tell you he's got a baseball game to, to go to. Act like acting like his kids so important. <laughs> <laughs> hey, back off, Zach. <laughs> he's pretty yep. good bass fisherman. Yeah, he's an alright kid for a bass fisherman, I guess. <laughs> I am excited to see him get into baseball and do some sports. He's a good kid. Yeah, I'm going to handle that way. Oh, no. There's trouble now. Uh-oh. 
Jody's here. <laughs> Actually, it's cool cats. <laughs> on Jody's phone. I thought, Jerry, or I thought Chad was coming down here to fish with me. Oh, this is cool cats on Jody's phone. <laughs> oh. Well, damn, James, if you would have said something, I, yeah, we could have just left our boat at home, came down and fished with you. I mean, why would we want to fish in our little crap boat compared to your, you know, boat of the Board year? Winning boat of the year. <laughs> yeah, that was an expensive trophy. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I can't believe. I don't know how any of us going to compete. With, you know, not spending two hundred thousand dollars on our boat. I'd never buy a new one. The rest of us are just chopped liver. Yeah, now you know how I feel. <laughs> yeah, I know you're probably feeling like they should do boat of the year by how many fish are called out the boat. They should do boat of the year for what it has accomplished for the year. Run a tally of each boat, how many fish they have. You know, kind of like 30, 34 PBs. Probably 15 first ever fish, you know, that kind of stuff. I have been nice. Pay attention. Help me. I'm trying to have to break the boat with all these morons. Other things trying to cut us off. Maybe if I can go get off right here and come back. Try it. <laughs> oh my god, where'd the freaking road just go? Black spot, it'll move here in a minute. Lord have mercy. Adventure yeah. America. Yeah, well, Can you see it? Eric, there's two more tires on the side of the road. You can Adventure America. Well, my boat, the dog pound, did 370s, 34 PBs. Like 15 first fish, internationally known, and it still wouldn't win. So you, your junk boat didn't even make the list, did it? Yeah, no, because I didn't pay a hundred thousand dollars for it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was two hundred fifty thousand. No. James well, says, "Hey, I caught a crap ton of big fish last year out of my boat. Thank you. You're welcome." He's sounding more like Jody now. I know. God, I'm coming like one. That's because he's using her phone and it automatically acts like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it does auto correct to her tone. Yeah. Yeah. He's being nice and saying, well, Chad, you should have won. You had the better <laughs> boat, but it auto corrected it, you know, to Jody style. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Her phone company's probably going to get a call saying her phone was stolen here soon. We're going down to Wilson and Wheeler. Yeah, haven't decided yet which lake we're going to fish yet. I'm going to think on that tonight. I doubt if it was well under a hundred grand. It was probably well over, probably like at least three hundred thousand. You know, it goes up by fifty thousand every time I say it. Ninety, ninety-five, a hundred. What makes a difference? Still, still a lot of money to catch something and throw it back. <laughs> Gotta have joy in life, though. Yeah, oh, I get, what, I get it. I get it. That's what this fishing does before us all, Bubba. Hey, I love his boat. I mean, it it was a beautiful boat. Definitely ain't taking that away from him. It's kind of it's a cute little one. I mean, trust me, if I was rich, I'd own one. I wouldn't think twice why I did it. But I definitely ain't gonna go buy one when I'm poor to go fish. I'm surprised uh, Jody hasn't started decorating it with like big purple flowers and stuff, and purple yellow, and make it look all like hippie and stuff. He said, watch the wind. We'll yeah. Yeah, that wind's with, yeah, we're trying to figure out. But. Wilson and Wheeler is no joke with wind. 
this boat I've literally got maybe fifteen hundred two grand in it tops. And that's even with my Tarova. And I'm perfectly fine with it. <laughs> he said, Oh, she tries. <laughs> I don't know what kind of sound the turkey Hey, Buck Man, that Seaha uh, wants to know if he can join the panel. Tell him I've got my hands full right now. <laughs> I'm, doing something. I'm, watching this, I'm watching wild turkey up here right He's now. He's watching this turkey walk around with his feathers out. He's amazed. <laughs> gobble, gobble, gobble. He's about to get raped by a turkey. <laughs> she wants to put her logos over mine. What the <laughs> hell, James? If you know that, you know, when we see that happen, we'll know you're bluffing. Yeah, you ought to just have her, have her put a big whip down the side of it. Call, it, call you whipping cats. Jody needs to get new stickers made called Hugh Craft Jody. I know, right? She's got to change her old name. Yeah. Use Craft Jody. Uh, we can, uh, she's still talking about getting her own boat, so we can just call her Any Boat Jody. That sounds any boat. Any, <laughs> any boat to do? <laughs> Is that the name, Any Boat to do? I got to be careful, though, because Jody can, Jody can dish it, but she can't take it. James is, That's why I like James so much better than her. Is, that is 100% accurate. Not that like that one, Jody lady. She just sniffs with, you know, and cries whenever you try to pick on her back. Uh -huh. Then she thinks you're a bad person. She tells everybody that you're just, you know, hateful and mean. And you shouldn't even be allowed in the Watts Bar Chattanooga area. So all you're doing is stealing her spots. Uh huh. Don't, don't watch her hate me. Don't say something about another person, a certain person on YouTube, because she'll send you a long ass text about <laughs> it. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> I got read. Well, I got read out that day. Huh? Can you abbreviate? No, These being bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got reamed out that day over that one. You know, maybe she should change her name to Flathead Jody. Yeah. So James said she did like the sound of Hughescraft Jody. Oh, really? That's because she's All trying to take it up to James's. I hope Poor so, uh, Denise. Shark fat dome fish or wild turkey up here in the trees. It's a good day. Uh, 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 slow and you're getting me out of my way. There went five gallons of gas going up this hill. This is the town, two miles. Cause I had a bad day. Yeah, that'd be awesome to come down on your birthday, Denise. Yeah. Be nice to have Martin here when the weather's right and the river's right for once. Every time the poor fella comes here, we're raging. Flooded. Is that Martin? Yeah. Yeah. What's he planning on? Did I hear he's planning planning on moving to states, right? Yeah. When's he planning on doing that? Uh, in a year or two when he retires, he says. Year or two when he retires. Yeah, I, I can't wait to get him out there in front of the Red Stadium catching fish. Yeah, that night with them all lit up, yeah. Yeah, oh. that, that's just something you can't take. Right, what we got here? Any other lodging attraction? How about this? 
<laughs> Jane wants to know how these boats running, anyways, Chad. Like a champ. That's great. Yeah. I need to get the oil and everything changed on it for my for my next trip, but. I, no, I we, didn't a, get it till, we didn't get it till October, but I still want to get changed. Hey, I got a picture of Lisa wearing her J-Dog shirt the other day. Woohoo! I thought I was like, I don't believe see how far, but hopefully they're yeah, we're able to pull into them. That's the thing. When there's his babies over there. <laughs> James wouldn't let me chat until I did the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work, just so you know. <laughs> Yeah. The words let me do don't come out of my mouth no more. Uh half century, that's a little weird, but okay. There you go, J Dog underwear on. And now we may make a slight right turn. This will be better. She said, sir, yes, sir. Sure. <laughs> oh, we're in Elizabeth town. Yeah. You know, me and Jody used to be really good friends, and she just abandoned me one day out of the blue. And there are people in either. There's more uh, going down this way, I think. Because that's where we used to always meet. In one quarter mile, they can oh. turn. In one quarter mile, turn or left. Or playing mini golf. Unless you decide you want to go to another place. I'd just like to fucking be able to pull in some, get some gas, and go to the bathroom. Come on. Why do they keep calling me? Maybe you can turn now. Shut up, Linda. Okay, you turn now. <laughs> well, we got off the exit, so we can try to get some. She said we should probably cry about it. In the bathroom, get some gas, but. In two tenths of a mile, maybe you can turn right. Huh? We got a blue back. Yeah, blue back there. A uh, channel and a flat here. And a channel and flat here. Okay, we didn't get enough blue here. That's right. We got the blue on the green rod back there where we can't work with cast it out. This far. Uh -huh. uh, I think there's a baby turkey up there. Make a U turn now. Oh, shut up, Linda. Yeah, well, shut up, Linda. Linda, Linda, listen, Linda. Proceed two miles on the current road. I'll do whatever the hell I want, Linda. Shut up. Woo! There we go. Nobody likes this station. Yo, man, uh, turn right, stupid. Where you got? That's the wrong way. Turn your ass around. <laughs> Tara says that all the time that they should cuss at you. Yep. I yeah. Want to got a, a ghetto boy. You dumbass, turn your ass around. <laughs> That's not where I told you to go. <laughs> exactly. I said go left, stupid. You could probably tell a million of them if you just make that app. Uh -huh. Go with your map and stuff. Well, All right, we'll be back. Come on where are you going? I got a beat. And then I got to uh, get gas. Uh -huh. Don't forget your gas station chicken. <laughs> I almost bought a chicken breakfast biscuit thing at Speedway. Before, and I was like, no, nah, I better not do that. That's, that's too much tempting fate right there. <laughs> so I went down to McDonald's and got the sausage and the muffin instead. But it was close. Uncle Lou, Uncle Lou said, No, Chad, don't do it. Yeah, there's that couple of 
trying to make Uncle Lou proud and sit here, but it's really, really bothering me. But nothing biting. Lit it up when we first pulled in, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We can always hit back down to that railroad bridge if we want to. I don't usually go straight to it. I usually wait my work my way down there to it. Okay, no worries. It's a lot of good fishing we miss in between there. No worries. He said you probably just got there. <laughs> You've been here for almost an hour. Long enough to catch a big flathead and a small turtle cat. I can't believe it's been an hour. That's crazy. Oh no! It's amazing how fast time goes when you're fishing that, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh oh, green one. Oh, that's what I said. That oh, there he goes again. Trying to get over here where you can see. Uh, I think you premature reeled on him. Yeah, a little premature. Golly, I can't take this kid anywhere. He's been pulling on it, though. He's been messing with it. Oh, heck, that was the chicken, wasn't it? Uh huh. Back out there we moved from right there to right here at 11 o'clock. Thank you. you can, I remember putting yeah, I don't, I don't have my brakes. I'll turn them off. No, that's fine. I just said I got to remember to take the, keep my thumb on That's the second head. time you burden us, my stuff, since you've been here. I know. You got the brakes off. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Well, on mine, I always keep my thumb on it, but I don't know why I don't remember on yours. Well, he bugged me in that fish. One, I got tired of messing with him the other day. Last time I was here, and I caught him on the way down. Remember? That channel cap. He kept hitting. Oh, shit. <laughs> I fell over. First day with your new sea legs? Yeah, it's got to be, man. But the other, that Sunday, that one kept bipping with it. Remember, and I got tired. I said, man, I'm tired of that fish doing that. And I went up there and waited, and on the way down, I drilled. Curtis oh, called you a rookie. He said he would never do that. Yeah, that's all right. We'll see. I am a rookie, though. That's a fact. That's a fact, Jack. That's a fact, Jack. Because there she was, just a walking down the street. Just a shuffle of Come on, Bug, where's the fish at? I think Flathead went back and told him, get out of here. It's that guy we see him all the time. He's back here. You gotta go hide. Do not eat anything. <laughs> But it smells so good. It's a trick. Go back. NJ wants to know who you're fishing with. Tell them none of your business. I dare you. Just say it. Just put it out there like that. Who, me? Yeah. I ain't fishing with nobody. I'm by myself. Yeah, that's it. Put him on blast. I'm out here all by my lonesome. Feeling sad. I'm glad because nobody likes me or wants to fish with me, so I just go by myself and catch trifectas all along. <laughs> I don't know, man. Bird nest the poles all the time. I these poles because I don't know how to cast them. But at least they're not bad bird nests. I have seen worse. I can bird nest and braid. Don't let nobody kid you. Yeah, I might as well just yeah, cut you know, some of these in a little bit.
We're going to give this Bob about 10 more minutes. All right. Five more minutes and we have. All right. Talk me into it. We don't have a rod limit, NJ. We, we're unlimited. So I take it they don't have one in Tennessee neither, then. Right? I don't know on that one. Well, Jody uses all them poles. Why aren't you up here reading chat for us, Curtis? I need to go on and get my license, what I need to do. And all the excitement, I forgot my, my uh, granola bar back here. Granola. No smart face, more stuff like that. No raw limit in Tennessee, James said. Well, thank you. Make yourself full screen. Why don't you quit telling me what to do? Uh oh, right. Hey, Uncle Lou Rod. Oh, there he goes. He running for on there. I don't think he is. He. Yep. See, I nudged that pole, reeled it in a few times, huh? And brought it right to the fish. Another rod again. Move your way away. Back up a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's two off that same head, isn't it? That's a different head. Oh, is it? Yes, two off uh, three off creek chub now. Note to self. You see what rod that was? Yep. Oh, that's the pro staff rod. The, the J or the Uncle Lou Pro Staff rod. They like to curl their tail a lot, don't they? Mm -hmm. We don't need to weigh him. He's smaller than the other one, so it don't really matter. Yep. Just snap a picture. Man, those are nice fish. Okay, buddy. Oh, yeah, you had to spin right when I got you over the rail. About broke my wrist, didn't you? Huh? Come on, man. Don't be that guy. You ready? There you go. See you, man. Yep, real damn things right into him, didn't you? I always move them every once in a while just for that reason. Yeah. Might be one. He's like, I know I smell something. I just didn't know where I smell it from. Well, J Dog Gone Fishing Pro Staff Edition. It even rhymes. Yeah, it does. Yeah. J Dog Gone Fishing with the Pro Staff Edition. That's right. Uncle Lou Ride. Uncle 
Boy, that needs an old Curtis. He's screwed tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> I have to spot him a couple of fish, I reckon. Yeah, you might have to. Just to keep him interested. Otherwise, he may not want to play with us no more. Woo! Yep. Giving the pity fish. He may not want to play no more. Catching fish while we were away, huh? Yeah, he just caught a five or six pounder. Yeah, I see a couple snaps of it too. Thank you. Yeah. Huh? A couple of deer just ran through there too. I got fifty here. I got deer over there. Yeah, there oh, yep, there he goes. I see him. The, baby. the deer running across the bank here. You better leave a turkey alone. That turkey will. Win. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I'm I'm keeping an eye on it, so I gotta catch his feet when he goes over. That right there, James, is the only Uncle Lou Pro Staff rod in the world. Where the turkey went. He's got babies up there, though. I know that. Well, now do we rebait or do we go ahead and move? Seems they really ain't doing much. Go ahead and move, man. We'll get reamed out if we do. You just call a fish and you want to move? Yeah, they will. No, that'd be Lou. I already hear him in my head. Yeah. Yeah. Leave, leave them fish to go find fish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> leave fish to go find fish. You know that surfers, traveling surfers have a saying, never leave ways. Well, one fish in an hour ain't a very good ratio. Well, that's a bigger deer there. <laughs> Up there and right by them turkey. There's three. There went another one. Yep. There's three deer just ran oh, by. Oh, it. four. There's four. Yeah. Four deer. That's crazy. Oh, Put your hammocks is in a Walmart stop. You'll be back soon. These fish to go find fish. <laughs> yeah, but what if we go up somewhere? David Smith. Quad -fecta? Is there a quad factor? Yes, yeah. you can catch a bullhead. I meant, man, you get a double up or a triple up. Hey, Uncle Lou was watching me one day. I did. I can't remember if it was three or four triple ups in a row. No. <laughs> yep. That's when you know you're having a good day. Yeah. Oh, the quarterfinals for the NCAA wrestling tournament just started. Yeah, it's me Where's against Uncle Lou you. At? I need updates. Well, it's me against you. Never, we won't hear from Uncle Lou again this week. Ooh, I got me some gas station chicken. Well, you're screwed. I almost did, and then I didn't want to push my corner that way. I thought, man, if you do that. Something's gonna happen. Yeah, better not get no chicken. Because if you do, hey, they're gonna laugh their ass out of all fat chicken gets sick. Man, I'm sure this chicken's good. Uh, and I went to the restroom and. Chicken club. The Uncle Lou Chicken Club. <laughs> Hi, David Smith. The Uncle Lou Chicken. I went into the restroom. Poor D had to wait until I was done because the women's was shut down out of uh, order. I used the restroom, went to wash my hands. <laughs> yeah. The uh the faucet's not even attached to anything. I about pulled it all the way out. Like there's nothing. <laughs> They, they yeah. didn't bolt it or nothing. It just quarter mile. Make a slight right turn onto I sixty five south towards Nashville. 
So they smell. <laughs> Tara always tells me that the women's bathrooms are nasty. What? Did you want to make this? My brother used to tell me that he worked at a department store. Chad's going to regret that pick. Davis is wrestling now. Davis is wrestling He had a close one in the second round, Lou. He'd, that kid from Cornell gave him a good match. Really interested to see how Carter Starachi comes out today. Did you say Carter's crotch? Uh huh. It is wrestling. Come on. <laughs> kind of glad you don't fish with me now. The big match there, first round. Number three time returning national champ got hurt. Got he got a nine nine seed, and now he's wrestling the number one seed, which is another defending national champ in the quarterfinals this morning. Make a slight right turn onto I-65 South towards Nashville now. Oh, I know exactly where you're at. We're in Elizabethtown right now. E-town, baby. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Funniest thing I've heard. One of, one of the funniest things I've ever heard. Is like, get all, they puffed up their chest one day and told me, I'm from E-town. <laughs> Like, I don't care where the hell you're from. Beat your ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. They finally did pin that girl with murder on their old man. Oh. Murder whatever. Crackhead looking mother freaker. I don't think they ever did solve it. Crackhead looking mother freaker, he said. He was. I think we've done all the damage we could do up here. I'm ready to go back, go down on the other side of the barges. I'm with you. I'm with you, man. Well, I didn't do it. I didn't even know. Yeah, I'm Who knows how good the thing on these chaos drills is? You know, kind of make them. I'm trying to figure out how they got. I don't know if they got bearings in there or what. Hey, J Dog or Buggy, you were still solo again, Bug. Say what, bro? When you get a minute solo. 
Oh, okay. No rock. Putting my PFD on. Catch me a fish. Are you guys moving or something again? Probably muted because they're talking about us. Okay, they're just so quiet. Yeah, it's been Get the jacket on. It's a chilly little ride. On the road again. There's a bump again. There's a bump again. I've already decided they didn't want to hear you sing. Well, then. Fairly well. Oh, buddy. Oh. Got to your break, bro. Oh, look at that cute little bass boat. He's got a skier on the trailer. Knock it off. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I just came, I came up. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, I have to update my app again. Chat's not going. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah. Hey, Boogie. Trying to fuck me. Do it. Oh man, that sucks on blue. How bad? Yeah. What's up, Stephen Merchant? Thank 
that kid's only a freshman too, so got a break career, I think, ahead of him. Which is nice because Penn State's not really had good 125. Like. Big ass thing for Bill Huge. Huge. The other side of the dam is on the Maybe. That's a big, huge one. What's three Penn Staters into the consoles right now? Wow, Matt Ramos got beat too. Oh, we lost two to one, man. That's a close one. I will get that. Bad bridges. Huh? Bad bridges. Get out of my spot. <laughs> Should be some pretty good matchups this round. Writing time was the funny factor, the Davis match. Damn. <laughs> Gotta move, gotta attack. Unmute us. We want to hear you all. Yeah, really. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you were just talking about us. It's cool. Yeah, we didn't want you to hear, though, only part of it, the good part. That's a pretty picture right there. What's up, Billy? Oh, Billy. Creek, Billy, Billy. 
Oh my God, Bugman Junior, get out in front of me! <laughs> Take it, he's driving fast. Oh, yeah, so, uh, speed limit seventy. You're only going to do like sixty-five. Get in the right lane. Well, that's one thing you won't catch me doing is is getting in anything but the slow lane. That's money right there. Yeah, and I mean I, I don't have a problem with that. But this yep, person's that's literally I mean, I won't, middle lane is kind of. A, my dad would do that, and I would get so mad at him. Like, Pop, you can't just sit over here. He'd be in the fast lane doing the speed limit. And I'd be like, Pop, you can't just sit in the fast lane doing the speed limit. Well, I'm passing cars over there. I said, yeah, but you're holding up 15 behind you. I'd get so <laughs> mad at him for that. Yeah, he'd do it. He'd just sit there and cruise. And I'd be like, seriously, Pop? Here, dude, you can have your chair back. Now they just about swerved into a dump truck. And guess what? They're from out of state, Georgia. You know they, you know they're interesting people. I mean, look at Daryl. What did I do? Yep, they sure are a bunch of peaches down there. They, yeah, sure, they've caught quite a few fish now. Uh, what a PB blue, a PB flathead. They got a channel cat and one or two other fish. Seriously, did you see that? They turned their they turned their flasher on to get over. Got a quarter of the way in and then jerked back into the middle lane. Oh my gosh! These people are giving me anxiety. I'm going to go into the slow lane to pass them. I mean, can we give them a moment? Oh, he must be he must be 80 years old and holding a cell phone trying to work it. That ain't good. That's funny. Where are we circling? Or are they circling? Their body's back. Oh, there you're, there you're back. I think we got some signal issues right, right here, so. Might be. That ain't all bad. Oh man, Lions Den Adult Store. Exit now. Uh oh. How deep is that? I forgot. To look there. Is that that one up on top of that thing still? Uh -huh. Is it really? Boy, them, if they're having babies up there, they're sure going to have a first step to go fly, aren't they? Mm -hmm. It's like, get out of the boat, boy, or get out of the nest, boy, kook. <laughs> Oh, that one just dogged him. Act like he was taking off and then he stopped and dove under the water. Nice. Good move. Get over. We are now in the central time zone. Central to what? <laughs> so said. Yeah, we caught a few today, yeah. One decent flathead. 
Every fish is a piece of fish. Yep. Couple blues and a channel, so we got the trifecta working already. Almost, almost like worked it out towards the center. The one that was over there by the bridge thing, it kind of worked everything center, didn't it? Huh? No move. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Louis said a handsome free stuff. I don't know if they've used them yet. Yeah, we caught three fish on creek chubs. Yep. They got three fish on cheap creek chubs. What else is he for you to say? There she was, just walking down the street. Did it dum did it ding? Shopping. You know, I like that release on those pin reels. The, the pin reels, the release, the little thumb release. Yeah. Oh, my God. Which one's that? Oh, yeah. Is it broke or something? No, that's the way they are. Really? Yeah, no, I can't have that then because you know that would never, I'd lose it all the time. All right, Rusty, get the fish packed up. Do you still need my address or do you already have it? <laughs> I like mine in frozen ice or dry ice too. <laughs> the eyes weren't lying. You know what I'm saying? No. Yeah. It's Italy, it's finest, baby. That's a base for a table. No, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Turn around and put it in there if you want. Yeah. We need to have an armrest right here. But <laughs> I'd break it. That one's hanging up on something, I think. I feel like a blue heron or something flying up there. I, I, I like nature. I like nature. The, the creatures. Do you guys like the creatures in nature also? Most of them. Kung Fu Panda Bug.
And that head's still on there. I'll tell you what, you get that eel, you don't have to change it about once every three years or so. Let's keep it keep it hydrated. <laughs> Here, you sit and talk to your people. My people, that's your, that's your people, man. That ain't my people. Mm. Oh, it take me two days to relax. About time I go get that, I have to go get that again. I get relaxed, you know what I mean? Okay. I'll get all the stress out of your system. Yeah, this is like a chance. Yeah, this is like a chance. Yeah, this is like a The other barge in front of that one up there is like that. Like it is. That's what it's supposed to be. Is. Did, they, did they get it yet? Higher and higher. Well, evidently there was something on this side at one time. Oh, maybe. They used to bring them over here and tie them up. Oh, okay. I no, oh, baby, we're supposed to have a bank to have something there in the boat. I wonder how old those things are. I guess. I don't play. I'm supposed to do it. This is the time, like today's generation, that kids are go for it. You know, he's talking about the Bob and Mackey place. I came home the other day and I watched them. When I watched them, and they went to the and stuff. It's one of them, a paranormal hunt, that's what they were doing. Who goes by that the other day? Really? Come on, man. Don't just bump it like that. Be, be a man. When that first that rod with the black ring and that and the silver and that stuff we were talking about. Yes, he thinks so. No problem. I think it's a good Yeah, that's what I was, I, th I thought that's what he was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's all right. It's good to be unique. Remind me of my best friend on race just like the president you have to have to be different everybody else. Even if he had to manufacture the part of the system. Oh god, a log and truck. Final destination. <laughs> Graphics on the panel, you know what I mean? Time to go. Think of that every time I pass one, Chad. Uh, so 100 miles from there. Let's take it for a path. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm going to take it for a path. I'm going to take it for a path. I'm going to take it for a path. Three and a half hours. Exactly. Having a risk of authority is no longer. Yeah. You know how you can replace this stuff right here. It'd be nice if you could replace it with cool. One of the way they can do that would be if I could all my life. 
Yak Shore, Rustic. Oh, he's got a ball over. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's the last thing I want to do. Oh my fat butt in that cold water. I'm real sure I'd be able to get back up in the boat. We are back. Hour and thirteen minutes to get up in the sure. Man, there's the Green River. How much money did you spend in Walmart, Chris? We all want to know. One hour, 13 minutes to destination for Hooks and Hammock. You come back up, Chris. I'm watching now. Three hours and 20 minutes. So you should have came up when he was in Walmart. You're all making big progress, ain't you? <laughs> Don't do that. I've been I've been yawning since you left. Really, this ain't a bad trip. It's, Couple bad areas. Leave yeah, usually, yeah, usually we'll uh, we'll leave out about uh, 10, 11 o'clock at night, and we'll drive yeah. through the night and get to the dam about six o'clock in the morning, five or six o'clock. Yep, and then like going through the big towns, there ain't no traffic. Yeah, then you go through Louisville and Nashville, and there's not, there's no traffic. Yep. How long are you guys staying down there? Uh, we're staying at night, fish tomorrow, and probably head home sometime tomorrow evening. Let's go. Talk me into it. Talk me into it, man. Yeah. If the wind wasn't going to be so crazy, we'd stay out there and catch some skipjacks tomorrow night. <laughs> I got a feeling we'll be ready to go. But it don't even look like it's supposed to rain. Good evening. Basement buggy. He's, he's turning his run around right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> One thirty three Daxton fixed winds number one and overtime number three forming just what was the first one you said? That thing fixed. Oh, bro, are you doing something? Oh, so Let's go. 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 
almost at Mammoth Cave. Mammoth Cave before. Mammoth Cave before. Mammoth Cave before. Peter Buggy. This is my whisper mm -hmm. Nobody touches my whisper Nobody. 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 Is that right? Yeah. 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 Fine. Hey, buggy. <laughs> mm, froze up now. What happened? I didn't hear nobody. I didn't turn it off. Oh, oh man. Oh, we're almost a dinosaur world now. I know where that is. And we're seeing them going down the highway. What do you do, fat finger it? I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> I was getting ready to tell him he's got to eat a shad now. And caught his PB, a flathead, and a channel. Oh, it might be their service. Look like they, he said it looks like they froze up. No, yeah, must accept it. Chat. <laughs> well, at least we can talk to the panda. <laughs> yeah. We told. That's Jack Black. I can't do this. Anymore. More, two more days. No, you can keep it, Uncle Don. Ain't nobody want that stuff no more. That stuff's time has gone and passed. Deep that, they can deep that stuff up in Canada along with their geese. Yeah, we don't want none of that. <laughs> I only want to see it on Christmas and it can go away. <laughs> You're right, Russ. It does look like that, don't it? <laughs> Come on. Oh. 
Please like what happened. Apparently they have bad service here. Buggy had a crack button. <laughs> You can hold it 192 miles for <laughs> the buggy <laughs> What do you say? <laughs> buggy probably didn't realize he got to kick himself out. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me anything on buggy. That's okay. Sooner or later, you'll be like, why did it get so quiet? Why aren't they talking? They won't. He'll just be sitting there talking to himself, not realizing it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he cracks me up. Hmm. Hmm. That sucks. <clears throat> Need to be take his truck and drop it off. You know, pick up another one. Said, where oh where can our buggy be? <laughs> Said, he must have touched the whisker seeker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. He touched the whisker seeker. Whipping him with a shame. Whipping him. Oh man, Don, that stinks. Said, can't go fishing because the ice isn't safe. Can't go with the boat because the ramps are iced in and the shore is all snow and ice. Ugh. That's right, Lisa. He was warned. But you know, J Dog could have left it on camera. That'd have been something to watch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I gotta look at my pain though. Can't make him dance. Sorry. You like to come back, man. Very true, Lisa. Nah, J Dog will use that footage for a short. <laughs> Right. He texted me say lost service be back. Lost service be back. I'd be back. I'd be back. Uh, 
Where, oh, where can J Doggy be? The fan love service took away from me. Does that happen a lot on the licky? Yeah, around the uh, bridges, because it's, I think, because of all the metal, sometimes there's, seems like there's service problems around. Body service. Yeah, you because know, that's where the fish are. Yeah. You know all right. How the fish roll. You may know where there's no service thanks to Chad. Who what? I said they know where there's no service thanks to Chad dropping his phone down there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sitting down there watching. It's all fun. The games until it happens to you. Remember that. Ted. Well, I don't think that's ever gonna happen to me. Because you don't I fish. Use, I use this rim rim mount XG. They ain't going nowhere. I have to sink the boat to get it to lose my phone. Yeah, by the time they get back, be happy. Funny about that's probably what they're doing. They're probably spooning on the boat. That's why they had to shut the camera off. <laughs> 29 folks watching a panda showing us how big Eric's burger was. Mm. It was a lot bigger than that. Real wood just lost. I don't know who that is. Maybe Chad does. Mm. Who else getting? Wow, real woods just lost, huh? Damn. Interesting quarterfinals. The tough matches in the quarterfinals. Oh, he actually, well, you were saying it looked good yesterday. That was yesterday. It's a new day. Oh, Bartlett won by fall. I don't even know what Buggy's thumbnail was. Uh, <laughs> Well, monkey's not even here to let you up, Chris. Don't worry, Chris. Either is uh, Buggy. <laughs> He's not in the basement right now either. Yeah, Mustard, uh, the show was a little different when uh, the main guy had his signal. Yeah, we're waiting on him to come back to so finish this fishing. For now, you got to look at this. About an hour left to do this. The guy, most of the guy that's fishing, lost service. They will be back. As soon as they get a signal. As soon as they can get the signal back, they had to move spots. The rain's coming here. Yeah. 
Yeah. All we can do is the all we can do right now is watch the panda because none of us have controls on uh, Bugman's channel, so we can't switch it up. I think you want to traffic. Somebody, there's somebody in chat that has control, but he's too busy watching wrestling. Oh, what's up, Mark? That panda sounds like Chad. Looks like Chad, well, at least in the belly. <laughs> hey, at least you admit it. I know, Eric, I know I'm fat. It's okay. You can't but help it, Chad. Way. You love food. It's not your fault. <laughs> food is I have, good. I've, I've been that way my whole life, brother. It's not your fault you love food, Chad. It's not your fault. Food is good. Food is great. It takes a mansion to house all this awesomeness. That's right. Well, my body does. <laughs> I mean, that was a great picture on uh, the bait shop last night. What happened on the bait shop? That picture that was posted on the bait shop. Oh, uh, no. That was rude. <laughs> hey, look. Coming soon. There's there's the new Bucky's they're building right here. Two people. Yeah. Look it's at all that. that. Uh, I don't even know where the hell we're at right now, dude. Uh, <laughs> down here on 65. <laughs> hey, now the screen's black. Eric, I can still hear there? Hey, I can hear you yeah, now. Here. Jesus, try me. Yeah, we pulled up by the boat ramp, and we pulled up by the boat ramp and lost all signal. Jason yeah. had to run to the bathroom real quick. He's coming down the hill now. Let's see. <laughs> Wait a minute. He had to. He you had, he had to, to run. Pay. You said he had to run to the bathroom. Hey, buggy. Well, I don't know if he ran, but he drove his vehicle wherever he went. Yep. Nice of you to join us. Oh, uh, that means yeah. That means it. That means it was the number two. I don't know. I'm glad you guys. I thanks for having me. Thanks for having me, man. Hey, no problem, brother. Oh, dude, you're awesome. Hey, you know that uh, now that I've been up on your sh morning show like twice, you have a chance of being a uh, live talk show in a year. <laughs> and then it don't know me. Oh, okay. What's up with the sprinkling, though, man? I told you I had the bubble gun. I had to go. I know. I heard you. <laughs> man, this guy's bummed. He thought he's going to follow you down here. And maybe, didn't know you. maybe it was that salad you had the other night. <laughs> they can hurt you sometimes. So what happens? You run out of bait and J Dog went up to the dumpster trying to find some or what? Yeah. Nope. That's what it was, a dumpster bait turner. Hey, know that story. Oh, we don't? No. <laughs> You don't know the story, Chad, about Jay Dog's brother having to go to the bathroom real bad and going up uh, and climbing in the dumpster. Do. Yeah, he went up and climbed in the dumpster, which I thought was ingenious myself. I would have never thought of it, but I thought it was a, an ingenious idea. Hey, when nature calls, nature calls. Me, calls. There's no way my fat butt fits in one of those. No way in heck. That counts dead. Back here, I just playing kind of funny on the side. Good 
Good job, Stonefly. We're in Bowling Green. That's where we're at. <laughs> Finally, he gets back on here and then he mutes so they can go to a fishing spot. <laughs> what about these two? Uncle Luke. Congratulations, Stonefly. Bet and I found half of that at least last week. Oh, uh, when you can't get up and walk around much. <laughs> At least we're under three hours now. Yeah, I've already been driving like twelve. Now well, we've been driving about three hours. It just the good does for some reason feels a lot longer today. Uh -huh. Western Kentucky University, Bowling Green, Warren County, Kentucky. Music. Probably put the top up the anchors. It, it don't matter to me. I'm okay one way or the other. I got this jacket put on to get too wet. I want to see fishies. Go watch chunkies. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you ain't got to push that top up until you want, brother. You're talking that wacky stuff. I'm with you. Look, <laughs> now it's a square fish. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, man. Well, in the middle of the lake river down there, a big log or something. CPA in the house. Fresno. Dana Stone Outdoors. What's up, DSO? Danny Stowe. You're dead to me. Hey, leave Danny alone. Oh, 
I even brought a baby. I will leave him in a trail of tears. There's the Corvette Museum I'm passing. Which is good without it. It's pretty good. I like the old artist yeah, new ones actually they look kind of like they're trying to switch the formula. Stop here! Is it the rocks over here that let you know it's got a more solid hey, bottom nice. or something? Okay. That's oh wait, there's the wanted. Corvette music. That was the Corvette factory right here. Corvette factory. I know a lot of the people that worked at Chevy in my hometown ended up down there working there when they closed the factory downtown. They offered them that. You can go down to Bone Green and work. A lot of them took them up on it. Got Mr. Lee Evans in here. I would uh, take the Corvette factory Joe? over. I think they had a, a poultry factory or something up the full wing, but if I could work on, on vets, I'd just soon do that. We know what you said. Nowadays, vets actually look pretty awesome. My brother's wife, before he died, a couple years before he died, bought him a new vet. They rolled over. Come on, man, you can drive back. I was like, nope. Why not? Dude, I don't want to drive back. Come on, Dancing man. over the Barren River right I'm now. If I don't know what I'm looking, I can't miss it. We're up on the lake. Saturday. It was spot. Did we fit in? Yes, they were. Barren River, Kentucky River, next to the Ohio River. There's another river, Green River. Mm -hmm. Blue, I don't think they went down that far. Yeah, it's about the island. Nope, didn't make it down there. Come back um, up the other way, though. Got some walking robin eggs in them. Huh. Our beast broke down the middle of the road. Really push that thing out of the way. No, there's one right there. Where? Oh, is there right? the left of two of them really have to Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> I'm not going to say to go back up to the one by the interstate when you go back.
<laughs> no. Wow, it's 70 degrees here. It's bad here. In fact, it's about right for me because I ain't sweat. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me all right? Yeah, we hear you. Yeah. 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 Hey, be careful. What? I'm sitting in a church parking lot having lunch, trying not to burst into flames. You know what I mean? Parking down. I ducked my head the first time I walked in mine. <laughs> I held my Bible up over my head, and that guy said, What are you doing? I said, It's been a long time because I've been in one of them. <laughs> Check it out. Got to end in 28 seconds. Hey, in the national championship. Yeah, go down like that hurt. Mm. Lucky Tara. Tara. Oh, Uncle Lou, don't do that to me. If he wrestled like he did yesterday, he I could see him get beat. I don't think he's I don't think he's a hundred percent. Think Shredder's pulling them flat rocks right there up north and tell him. And take your places for big money. Man, who all y'all got on that boat? Just me and Buggy. We got a PB. We got a PB Blue Cat. It's first ever. Uh, blue uh, flyhead and his PB, a channel cat. So we got him a trifecta also. Are you kidding me? Nope. His Man. first flyhead ever was thirteen pounds. Nice. Fun catch. That yeah. fish was fun to catch, man. I bet. People target them. And that's way bigger than my first flathead. My first flathead was probably a pound and a half. <laughs> They definitely got. Well, I mean, it equals up to the rest of your fish, so it's all right. <laughs> ah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ruined D on flathead. Her first flathead was 31 and a half. And no kidding. I, same thing with me and Steve Mosley. His first was 30. Yeah. Uh, the only flathead I've ever seen Chad catch. Yeah, the, the only flathead I ever saw Chad catch is when he came up here to the Mississippi River and got like a whole five pounder. Nope, my biggest is 35. Thank you. I can, I can show you pictures of big flathead Chad Paul. I uh, think. I mean, he ain't got no pictures of my fish, but I got pictures of his. Because you don't send me your pictures, you only send me the ones that Tara catches. Well, that's just because you catch it more than I do. I'm not, I'm not even in your top 100 list of who you send the picks to. That's all right. I got a hack. I mean, uh, I get his picture too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, my sweet kid tonight. Got up bright and early this morning, so I'll definitely be I thought this 
water now. And boom, <laughs> that part falls that way. Uh, you guys, and where you come from, huh? Well, let me forget to give you that lead before I leave. Seven, four, three. Seven, four, three. Is this what lights up right here? Yeah. Really? Yep. About a hundred LED lights there. <laughs> They're not expensive. I have to move. He'll tell you where to get it. Yeah, they told me they were going to give me an easy day at work today. So they got me standing in the street directing traffic. And uh, I've almost been hit, been hit by three people that know me. My dad. Yeah. Well, I'm down, buggy. I wasn't real on I just trying to get up on something. I used to have to do that when I worked at the cable company. Man, I'll tell you what, you never want to throw a hammer through the windshield so bad in all your life. Oh, you know it, man. Yeah. I had one guy. I'm set up on this road. It's usually a pretty busy road during the daytime, but it's like midnight on a freaking Tuesday. I'm not thinking about the work on the amplifier. And this guy pulls up, goes around, gets out of his car, and walks back and says something like, so You're just going to do it any way you want to. I mean, it's like October. It ain't warm out, and I'm working. I look down like, what in the F are you talking about, pal? You're just going to park the truck anywhere you want. I said, yeah, I parked it on the side road. I could put my ladder out here and let you run over me. Get back in your car and leave. I'm going to call your office in the morning. I said, good. My name is Brian Wedmore. Tell my boss I'm the one you talk to. Dang, buggy. I didn't mean to bring up any bad memories that traumatize you or anything. Oh, I hate people that when you're trying to do a job and people that have no consideration for it. Yeah. That's, that's one of my pet peeves, man. It's like this guy out here trying to do a job. You guys are going to give him a hard time. They did have these really cool things yesterday by my house, and it's on a thing about the size of a golf cart. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. He's pecking. I just see, that's what happened to that pack fish or that channel that one time. He done the same thing. I had to catch him on the other one. Got him. That's my daddy, Paul. That's my daddy, Paul. That'd be the first fish this caught in almost eight years. Don't mess it up, bud. <laughs> Did you finally get him broke from running to the rod every time it twitched? Yeah, finally. <laughs> that ain't funny. It ain't funny, it's back. It only took a year and a half, Danny. I know. I remember the first time he fished with J Dog. I was going to sit there and let him keep doing it. Yep. That's why I wasn't going to let him sit there and keep doing it like the last time. The heck you need a net for that. I just don't want it to fall off. Hey, don't you be talking about that fish. Yeah. What are you doing today? You must know how many you've caught today. Exactly. If I, I wasn't at work, I would have caught them all. i get you back in there real fast. Okay. <laughs> Freak job. Oh man, are you kidding me? There's a stupid board. Down, cat. Hold him up there, buddy. Oh, that's a nice one. We gotta get poles in. We ain't got time. We gotta go. Yep. We gotta get the get it, get it. We got a barge hauling ass up the river here. Yep, we gotta get out of the way. Hey, just have Bugman jump out there at that stop sign like we were talking about a while ago. 
That is annoying now, man. You can't, you can't really do nothing on the league because of that. No sooner you get set up, there they go. Can't wait till our anchor guys get here tomorrow. Oh my god, look at the way she's making. Well, I gotta get back to work. Somebody's gotta pay for all them free hotels for them folks in New York City. <laughs> See you, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> All How right, congratulations feeling, on that PB, Buggy. Way to go, buddy. We, we see how it is, though. He can't catch fish unless he's with J Dog. I don't want J Dog. You do. We all know that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, seriously, you guys uh, be safe and have fun. We'll catch you guys on the flip flop. All right, man. We'll get All, right. All right, bye, y'all. That's what I was going to say. I'm glad this is a good time not to be in a fucking John boat, man. Oh, man. I get to get those big ass waves like that. Uh, yep. So. Watch the gift. They'll drown. Is that Mr. Pew, they're fishing on the Licking River. You know, Mark, that makes me so sad that you got snow. Well, I'm at, I'm at 73 degrees where we're, where we're at right now, and it's warming up with every mile, it seems like. Boom. 
Not exactly on vacation. We took today off to go down here and fish. We'll head back tomorrow night or Sunday morning. Just a little like, two day trip. I like it the further south we get, the cheaper the gas gets. And it's stupid. Uncle Lou, any good matches going on right now? <laughs> Get into the Tennessee state line here in a minute. Bug man and J Dog are catching fish today. Eric loves pandas. It's about the extent of what I know. Old Don, him in the snow. Get this here burger truck drunk.
Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Uh oh. Oh, no, my nerve is. What's that? I thought we lost the pole for a minute because it wasn't in the holder. I did too. <laughs> hey, Chadwick. Yeah, boy. That barge just tried to kill us legit. He come over on our Kelly. side. He come down on our side, or scooted over to our side and just put the hammer down. I mean, he was blowing three feet over the front of him, and just headed straight towards us. I had to turn and come back. I wasn't up watching. I, I wasn't watching. I had the chat pulled up so I could watch. Wait for Uncle Lou to give me updates. He's my, I'm living vicariously through his uh, access to the wrestling stuff. Welcome to Tennessee. We're in Tennessee. Right, I'm tired of the Kroger truck. Yeah, I don't think I would have turned around and drove what you for? four hours back. Whooped his ass. Who? That barge guy. Well, he was an asshole. You beat Clyde Sandbar. Drove uh, out there on the boat with you guys. He is dumb. I get they got a job to do, but they shouldn't be driving the fast or pushing as fast as they do on that little river. They shouldn't be on my side running wide open towards me. He was pushing a bunch of water up the front, I know that. Because just they all got ready to say, hey, we're going to turn around and go upriver. I, I was getting ready to say, man, I sure wouldn't want to be in a John boat right now. Yeah, no doubt. And he said, John boat, I, I wouldn't want to be in this one. Yeah, I turned around and come back up river because it would have sunk the front of this boat. Yeah, the waves that it, the waves they push most of the time up through there, son. It's some decent size ones. He was putting out the biggest waves I've seen one of them put out, and he was doing it on purpose because he was on our side. Thank you. The water right there, see it? It's almost like a pond right there, or like almost like a back pond. Like I said, I I get that they're doing their. They have a job to do, but that doesn't yeah. mean they own the entire river. And he wasn't a quarter mile from the barge there. He was going to pick up. Yeah, but not not even a quarter mile. A mile else close to the end of the bay. Yep. And if something was to happen to you all. They should be able to be held liable for acting like that. They should have some kind of standards of what they can and can't do, coast guard wise. Well, I pulled anchor and started headed towards him, and he picked up the team, and I was like, no, I know what he's trying to do. So I turned around and came, oh, oh what's your sneaker buggy? I mean, honestly, that's he should be getting attempted murder charge, Walker.
don't kill me, mister. I mean, he could have. If the yeah. father kept going, he would have sunk the front of the boat and we could have drowned. Yeah. They did get you, out. you know what I mean? How you doing, Bob Kitten? What's happening, brother? What's the secret? Trying not to die. <laughs> yeah, sound like you got some drama. That's the stupid barge drivers. They don't care about you here. Oh, my. Y'all caught anything today? Uh, we got his PB Blue. Nice. We got his PB Flyhead, and we got the trifecta. Why, well, yeah. That's winning. Yeah. Hey, Chad, yeah. get out of Tennessee. <laughs> what? I got an alert on my phone when you crossed the state line. That's why I jumped in here and tell you to get out of Tennessee. <laughs> What's up, Bob Kitty? What's going on, brother? St. Bobcat. Get out while you can. One and only. <laughs> Did the alert awesome. say finally a real fisherman in here? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did it pop up and say the true king has returned? Uh huh. The, the mistreated, the misguided redhead has crossed in the Tennessee state lines. <laughs> Work sucks. I'd rather be fishing. Me too, Bob. Me too. I agree. <laughs> So y'all gonna go down there and get in all that wind and Wheeler and Wilson, huh, tomorrow? Um, you know what the nice thing about today? What's that? He and I are actually getting paid to drive down here. Ooh. How'd you work that out? Daryl Daryl paid him to come down. <laughs> Daryl paid you off, huh? I was there. We was eating at Applebee's the other day and Daryl called him and said, look, Chad, he said, I need you here because there ain't nobody in Tennessee I got faith in, but I do you. I know. And I heard I heard it with my own ears. <laughs> but remember, he asked me, not, well, he did ask only me not to say nothing. I didn't, he did, I don't think he realized you were there, Chad. Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bringing the title home back home tomorrow, boys. It was just right there. It's coming back. It's coming back to Poppy. I've got faith in you, Bobcat. I bet you I bet you five bucks, Chad, out fishes you tomorrow, Bobcat. <laughs> You're putting a whole lot of faith in me, brother. I wouldn't make that fun. <laughs> five dollars worth of faith. <laughs> That's something. I don't know. You say five dollars worth of bait. Here's the thing. I haven't I haven't fished in the morning for I can't tell you how long. Oh, here we go. Not, I have not fished in the morning, so I don't here know we what go. the morning buy is going to be like. Here Call comes him the out. excuses. Yeah. <laughs> Call him out. Here comes the excuses. I'm a night fisherman. We're in hey, Saudi I Daisy. I have trouble with morning time myself, man. I ain't nothing Take about off. getting up early I like. Chris, he was talking all kinds of smack up the air. He was talking all kinds of smack before I, I crossed that Tennessee state line. Mm -hmm. Either be the man or don't. They, oh, now we talk crap. I'm going to have to mute myself a minute. I'm fixing to get loud. I got to turn the pressure washer on. Oh, look, now I done made him angry. Don't hit it again if I just sit down. I hate you Gen X fish who won't commit. Hey, buddy, that fish is too legit to commit. I'm thinking. You know, it's, 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 you know what they are now, or Gen Z or whatever they are, double X. I know you look up in the dictionary of common sense, you ain't going to see them. Hell, people can't even figure out what gender they want to be right now. Yeah, no kidding. 
bad part is there's nuts out there that support them in there. Joe Biden. Uh, <laughs> Why is this turning on? Come on. Why is it turning on? I'm trying go. to watch for that blue here. And there, but I'm thinking to myself, there's no way you can fish right there. It's too deep. Chris, you're in Saudi Daisy now? The hell is Saudi Daisy? Well, that's my alma mater. I graduated from the Saudi Daisy High School in 1993. I feel old. Just on the, just on the outskirts of Chattanooga. I oh, okay. Service back out and started my career at the cable company. <laughs> Yeah, Chester Frost Park is actually in Hickson, but Hickson is right next door to Saudi Daisy. So you got all these little towns around here that are all kind of uh -oh, bordering Chattanooga. He said yes. Yeah, let's turn this on. I was going to go out and fish, but the water was high. How high? So high. I can't catch river a fish on the river, so I went down to Tennessee. I catch fish anywhere I go. Who said I was talking about you? So you got to go with your conscience here? I got to keep talking about Chris. <laughs> He's jumping your boat down here. You got to try to fish for him. You know what's sad, Jay Puppy? What's up, baby doll? My biggest blue cat's from the Ohio River, not any of these other waters. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, Eric's getting a bite over there. Eric, killing the boat too. That's the name of that pole right there. Oh, Eric. Where'd Uncle Lou go? Did he go to sleep? Shouldn't name it Eric. He tries to give me a heart attack over Colonel Tarachi, and then his nap time. A spear on me. Man, I wish I could take a nap. Right, you know, I don't want to tell me that Carter lost. Yeah, I got kind of spoiled the last month taking a nap in the afternoon. Because I got to get some Z's when I can. If Dad's asleep in the afternoon, I'm sleeping. I don't blame you, buggy. Yeah, he's asleep in the afternoon. There's a good chance he ain't asleep at night. So, I might as well join him. That's right. Did somebody get? Yet? No, I'm good. I felt sorry for him when he called me yesterday, though. What town am I in? <laughs> I said, you're in Muncie, why? I was going to know, I'm coming home. Said, you are, how you going to get there? I'm going to walk. <laughs> he was ready, wasn't he? Yeah. My <laughs> grandmother, she went, my grandmother suffered with dementia and Alzheimer's for years, and she would do all kinds of, she would forget that she couldn't do things and try to do them and end up hurting herself. Just yeah. All kinds of, forget where she was at or, what time of day it was, her kids were, I mean, it was just, eventually she got to where she just uh, kind of reverted back to a kid again. Yeah, dad's headed that way right now. I felt bad for him the other day would come home from the doctor, I'd tell him about it. He, uh, he introduced mom to the nurse the other day, and that's Joyce. She's kind of like my wife was. <laughs> So we were coming home and he was he's talking about it and he got to crying and I said, What's wrong, Papa? He said, I can't remember. He said, I know that's your mom there, but I sure can't remember mm. anything about it. Yeah, that's all I'm sorry, Pop. Yes, enough. I never heard my grandmother cussing when she was uh when I was growing up. Yep. I never heard her say a foul word, but man, when she got really bad with that dementia. 
She because she wears a drop of a hat. Yep, my grandma done the exact same thing too. It's funny you say that because she never cussed and she start telling me stories and she used the band and I just look at her like, did you just say what I think you did? Yeah. Tara must have dementia because she cussed me out all the time. <laughs> yeah. Chris is going to trash her pot. Don't but trash her pot. You know, it was time for me to get away for a while because I sure was getting grouchy yesterday, man. Just, I, I can't believe Chris is only about five minutes, ten minutes away from me, and then he come by here and see me. That's shame, man. Yep, sure is. Here I'm working myself to death, and him and Telly's over there recreating. Yep, yep, and ain't got a minute to stop. Hey, I would have stopped. Is that buggy? I would have stopped. Would have, Dad. I know you would have. Chris don't love me like that though. I just don't love anybody anymore. I know it. What are you going to do? He calls me and I, I feed him intel and this ain't true. <laughs> <laughs> I feed him intel, give him all the secrets. Yeah. Tell him all the best fishing spots. Yep. Oh, what else I can do for you guys? Just, just to get a few. We've got a good day today. We've seen wild turkey, a herd of deer. Bout got killed by a boat. Hey, J Dog got fish. a bottle of it stashed on his boat. Caught four fish, including the trifecta. Well, I got stashed on the boat. Wild turkey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I don't drink. I've never done it. <laughs> you ain't missing much. That stuff kill your brain cells, J Dog. Don't ever try it. I must you have ain't got, been a you drunk. Ain't got I any spare. A, I must have been a drunk in my former life, then. Hey, you ain't got any spare, brother. <laughs> oh my god, this ink's thick. Good grief, what is going on? Oh my rehab things they were talking about. Big thing back in the day was these idiots that sniff like model plane glue. You know, I'm talking about putting oh, them back. Lord. There you go. Yeah. I've done stupid uh, stuff like that too. I told him, I said, if you want to know what that does to your brain, I said, take the styrofoam and force the back in or something on the styrofoam. Goodness gracious. Oh, 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 oh. Argo. That's not real. I'm mixing ink. That is. Fuck that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's loud. <laughs> My bad, dude. <laughs> See what you did there. Yeah. Big dumb bones you got. She was taking a nap. I got, it reminds me, I got to call Brandon and see if, make sure he charges. Oh, this looks awesome. Batteries in the boat. I don't want him saying my bad dude on Saturday when we don't have any trolling motor batteries. <laughs> Brandon, he's a bit scattered. You got to stay on him. Well, you know, when you have to give yourself 10 seconds to win a tournament. Um. Yeah. <laughs> he about fell out of the boat last night. It was pretty funny, actually. I got it on video. It might be a blooper <laughs> of the year. I grabbed the back of his shirt as he was going over the gunnel. <laughs> he didn't fit in my boat very well. We were in my boat. Brandon's a big guy, okay. and he just don't fit. I liked your boat. Yeah, I like it too. It just ain't made for guys that are six feet tall and 290. No. Holy Nike's a big boy. I don't think he's that big. I don't know. Probably 250 or better, but though. He's just tall. That was me, Lisa. My screws were loose. My I bad. could put your boat in my boat and run around in circles. Probably I want that boat. How wide is how wide is yours? Uh, 
I don't know. It's I mean the floor is uh it's it's a it's a seventeen fifty six, so fifty six across the floor. I don't know what it is across the gums. In one half mile Thanks. turn right onto exit one oh four. I think mine, mine's either 92 or 94 wide up top. Yeah, it's not deep. Mine is not deep at all. Uh, mine's 36 deep. Yeah. I think mine's like 23 it's inches deep, deep or something. You can stand on the fender and climb over. I know that. Yeah, it's deep enough you can't stand on the fender and put your leg over and touch the floor. Yeah. That's Bug Man. He's got, he's got a sack on one side of the... Bimini top, another sack yeah. on the other side, and his feet are dangling. <laughs> Don't you get worried about <laughs> the future? Yeah, I don't know about all this. I didn't want to say nothing. Uh, I feel like I knew what yeah, I was doing. Turn this on. Even though I didn't have a clue. <laughs> Can you see it on? Mm -hmm. Come on, where's Eric's okay. fish? This is where we called it. We need it again. We need to rub it in the plate. Oh, it's not updated. It's it on the green. Great on me. You know how funny that'd be to catch that fish on his pole? <laughs> My Freddy rod's right here somewhere, too. Oh, is it? You, you lost one right here? No, sir. I'm the only person to lose one. Yeah, it should be... One I picked it up on with one hand, back. and it literally just torqued it right out of my hand. No kidding. That's why I'm real careful trying to take them out. That's why it takes me so long. Bitch will do. Afraid I'll drop them. <laughs> Did Bobcat ever know that he's my hero? I know, Jay. I know. Oh, I thought you said, did Bobcat ever know he is my rear hoe? <laughs> yeah, I, I realized what you said afterwards. Yeah. That's what hey, get out. Like. Get out, Telly. Get out, Chris. Not your river. Y'all should definitely fish the lake tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to come fish where you took us. I like that spot. Man, we caught some good flatheads that night, which is crazy because I never catch flatheads. <laughs> I, well, I rarely catch flatheads, and when I do, they're like little dinky ones. One that Bob, or, uh, Bug Man here caught a little bit ago. It was a nice one. Yeah, yeah, I have to go back and watch the replay on it. Our first three fish was a blue, a flat, and a channel. Trifecta. Dang, just like that, huh? Yep. Sweet. Are you on the licking? Yeah. Who the hell's these waves coming? Oh, that's that barge down there. Around the corner. He's taking off that stuff now. I believe we caught fish. We got to stay down there. He didn't run us out. Yeah. We need to put one in that back pool. Trying to figure out what makes that pool back like. One right up to exit one oh four now. Water comes in that back flow. No, just you, Chris. Taylor can stay. I'm just trying to figure out what causing it to do that. I hate getting on the These people going around something right here. What the hell? What? How come a Tacoma thinks they're good enough to get over in front of me? Yeah, really. Is this a Toyota? Is it a Piota? Toyota. I should take Bugman up to the island. That's what I should do. Up there? Yeah. Let's go. Leave him on the island. Then you can kick him off. You know that's what Uncle Lou said. It doesn't, it's not an invite for everybody to just start coming like crazy. Yeah, it is. Freaking Jeep owners. Wait, what are you doing? Hey. 
Oh, yeah, they got that was bad. Oh, that's not nice. They're a special breed. They all wave at each other. That's motorcycle riding. Damn. In one quarter mile, make a sharp yeah, step turn on 16, 257. A little candle or something, because they definitely had no gumption for commitment, did they? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. No gumption. Chris, that bobcat, I can't believe you told Telly to leave. I, I, I retracted it. I said, well, Telly can stay, but you have to leave, Chris. Just mm -hmm. leave Telly with us. Mm -hmm. He probably couldn't even get his underwear right on in the mornings if it wasn't for Telly. What the crap? I'm sitting here watching the rerun of Fields to Water. It just popped up my news feed, and Freddie's got on some goofy-looking glasses and a bunny hat or something. I don't even know what's going yeah, on here. Last night or something, yeah. I didn't watch it. I was halfway asleep watching it, kind of. I was in the bed, I'm sure. No, I was I fishing. <laughs> That's where I was at. <laughs> you don't even know where he was. <laughs> I was fishing. I just don't being there. Oh, I caught some good fish last night. Within an hour, we had 95 pound bags. Man. I could honestly say I did not watch it Thursday. I think I watched it while I was at Walmart last night. I not think of it. Didn't you have a new co host or something like that? Yeah, yeah. it was a Catfish Chris, I think. I already knew the answer, so kind of pointless to watch if you already know. I already know you don't watch us. I really didn't that time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chad, you're lucky he's even talking to you right now. Why? It's never good fans for me. <laughs> You're the reason why. Whatever, you what? don't ever tell me. <laughs> you're like, I'm like, I want to go fishing with Jayla. You're like, too bad. You're taking me fishing. I'm like, okay. Yeah, Dee's never yeah. fished with us. And I bet you I'm the one that says, let's go to Big Bone, too, where there's no signal. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's important to right? always fish right, these D. tournaments where there's no signal. They're always good on Friday, Chris. I said, you ain't ever fished with us. What's up with that? Yeah, I have. When? Yeah, we went out um, during the, was it the bait shop that one night? Yeah. Even. I know that day. Fished on my boat? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember that. That must have been a long time ago. Remember it was the me versus Freddy episode. And we both stopped. <laughs> we both stopped. Well, he paid, I got he my paid you. Like, yeah, I still ain't got give, that. Yeah, he was going to no. give you a steak when he uh, came to visit. Yeah, I need to tell him you owe me that dinner. I forgot all about that. Well, that's just wrong. Where's that guy? Yeah. Ooh. Bad weather is about to show up. Yep. Uncle Lou said the match is, is on now. 3 to 0. Up 3 0, whatever that means. Let me see. Let me see. Wait. The match is on now. Up, up 3 0. So, Carter's wrestling now. What is he watching? Midget wrestling? Yeah. No. <laughs> Division one uh, college wrestling national tournament. Uh, yes. Hello, like did Mitchell miss him? Did miss him, Brink? 
Uh, win. Oh, you guys have a guy in, in 65 left, too. Caliando. Caliando. He said Caliando. starting second. Oh, my God. I hadn't changed the paper on this machine in forever. What paper is this? Oh, This part is stupid. Just don't know where we can move to. We gotta stay out of the wind. Looks like there ain't no wind up there. Can't tell until we get up there, but. What time you got big boy up? Tara's gonna get him. Oh, okay, cool. I'm sitting here worried to death about that, then. That's cool. Yeah, she texted me and said she'll be. We go up there by the interstate, kid. We went up there. Oh, where we fished it out again? Yeah, we went up by the interstate that one time. That's one of the places I yeah, remember. We can fish under it. That keeps yeah. it out of the rain, too. As yeah, long as the wind always. ain't up there. Yeah, we could always go up there and just rain and find the spot to run down. That's where flyheads are. Uh-oh. I've seen it. That's, That's where great. flyheads are. Cool. cool. If we do it, it's not the time to fish in that case we're in Texas doing it. Looks like he's getting a little serious. <laughs> <laughs> Driver alert warning. Rest suggested. My truck cares so much about me. Uh, swing and a miss. <laughs> Maybe it pissed him off enough to actually eat it. But Lou, that means that Miss uh Miss and Brink and Caliando are both all Americans, guaranteed, right? Okay. He might make some ice in the fall back for you. Good lord, what is wrong with the Tennessee driver? Hey, hey, hey. Look, in less than like three miles, we've had three different stops. One was a T-bone. The other one was an ambulance with the guy on a uh, vehicle parked on the side. Now we're stopping again. I need a bambolance. Oh, black medic bambolance. The problem is we got too much freedom in Tennessee. I thought Ohio drivers were bad. Chad must be from Memphis because he's the only ten I see. <laughs> oh, you're so adorable. Oh, Lord. <laughs> What's the scale go to? A thousand? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very nice. That was pretty that, that was pretty mean. Yeah. I mean we're trying to have a sweet moment here and you ruined it. Hard guy. My bad dude. <laughs> My bad dude. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> He's a good one. <laughs> oh. It's like right here. In Tennessee, it's like it can start any minute. Actually, it was sprinkling early. I went outside and changed some line on the skipjack rod. Killing me. Oh. Let's just be uh, because we're in Nashville now around one o'clock. Mm. 
Nash Vegas. I don't even like driving in Chattanooga, much less than Nashville. Chattanooga's uh, got way too many freaking people there. I would never move there. I agree. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I don't mind. I wouldn't mind visiting from time to time, but yeah, yeah. You guys got way too many, too much, too many people there for such a small area. Exactly, and they keep trying to steal my fish too. That's what's infuriating. Oh, you poor baby. Oh. Poachers, every one of them. Bunch of poachers. Sound like Daryl. Daryl Drive. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start, look, I'm gonna start calling you Pontoon Bobcat. I know Daryl drives an hour and forty five minutes like to come here and poach my fish twice a week. I just kicked Daryl out of state. <laughs> well, we've we've tried to post at the line, but we're gonna head up to the bridge. bridge. He keeps yep. changing vehicles. That's what's happening. Ah. Uh, it's going incognito, huh? He said he quote unquote wrecked his white truck, you know. That's because they got wise to him. Well, I finally got that off, thank God. Wrestling. That's what we call it in the South. Wrestling. Wrestling. Oh, wrestling. I got a little place right down the road from my shop here. They have some of those amateur wrestling things. I don't know what night it is, but that place gets packed, though. A bunch of dudes grabbing each other's butts. Anytime you want to wrestle, I'll show you what wrestling's really about. Because I love Whoa. people that make their comments and then want, want to actually try. Hey, Chad, you ain't touching my butt. I'm I will. Sorry, I like you, but <laughs> you wait till I check your way. oil, pal. Not that way, buddy. Oh, you get an oil check from me, you're gonna. Nah. Oil checkers, we got oil checkers, boys. Watch out. Them guys nah. get lonely out on them oil well. Yeah, oil we'll check. So now Uncle Lou, this break will have um, Keegan O'Toole and Caliando will have uh, David Carr, right? Uh, bridge. David Carr actually is from Kentucky. I don't even know what that is, Uncle Lou, but it sounds perverted. Oh, yeah. I would definitely like to splay to him. <laughs> D, you need to get your man under control. Yeah, that ain't happening. You need to rein him in. Him. He's going around wanting to splattle guys and stuff. I don't know about him. So you got a game plan for this weekend, Chad? Catch fish. Try not to capsize. <laughs> Try not to capsize. That'll do. So I believe I'm... catch bait and then catch fish. <laughs> yeah. I uh I think there's probably gonna be too much wind to try to pull board or drag. I want to go down to Alabama and go bumping sometime. I've never been down there. Feathers down our bins below Nickajack. Mm -hmm. 
you come on down. Come down. I think it's about a two hour, two and a half hour drive for me. Every every area of Tennessee that I've been to is beautiful. Yeah, I'm blessed to live here. In the pool, or well, they were last week, or he was last week. The pool below where I'm, we're playing on going. Oh, really? You need to catch a fish, Jay Dog. There's beef boating right now. They're probably getting ready to go back. I think he's got to go pick up Mason. Oh, he's running, yeah. No, he said Tara was picking Mason up. Oh, okay. Why don't you I pay attention, that. Chad? God. I'm trying to drive. Yeah, I get that. I'll give you that. I've heard it for trying. Boat, little boat's getting up and moving, ain't it? I need a bigger boat. Probably never happened though. Let's see if this screen is dry. I'm going to drain that cooler too. Get my crap ready for in the morning. Whoop y'all's butt. Golly. Y'all should stop and fish the Cumberland, Chad. It's not the Tennessee. You're just trying to get me disqualified. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I was. I ain't gonna lie. I'm on to you, pal. Is that bad? Oh, my bad, dude. My bad, dude. Where are you at, Chad? Cumberland. You're DQ. DQ. Here you go. <laughs> 
There you go. Who left? Nobody. Buggy. No, Buggy. No, Buggy. No. Oh, there's the boating and fishing expo on February 2nd and February 4th. Uh-oh. I think that sign needs to be taken down. Yeah, I believe it's done fast. This should be it. Why did I turn that off? I don't need the mic. Got a couple of trolls under the bridge. Yeah. Here, kitty, kitty. Does that work? Oh, guess what? We're stopped again. Uh oh. It's, it is Friday. So. Don't try to give them excuses. Mm hmm. I want to say buggy reel on a sixty pounder. That'd be cool. Would be cool. But what's Buggy's new PB as of today? Well, he's got, it was a 13 something pound flathead and a 12.83 pound blue cat. Oh, man. J-Dog, you can do better than that. He's working on it. 
You okay there? Okay. You live? Maybe. Hey, will you pass me in Doritos, Chad? <laughs> Man, I ain't got no Doritos. Oh. You got some gas station chicken? I got some gas Ooh. station chicken. I'd like to rather eat the Doritos. <laughs> what was it, Brandon? Brandon was. He ate something yesterday, like a gas station egg roll or something. Oh, he was bad in the boat last night. <laughs> like, what the, like, what the crap, dude? He's like, my bad, dude. <laughs> I can't think of the worst thing to eat from a gas station. <laughs> yeah. No, well, maybe it was a cheese log or something, like a cheese, fried cheese stick or something. I don't know. <laughs> it was toxic coming out, I can tell you that. <laughs> Look, we ain't on your 24-foot boat. We can't run from it. Well, I can't. Yeah, now you know the real reason we had to get a bigger boat. Uh, yeah, I, I feel you, Dave. <laughs> Just couldn't get away from him, could you? Nope. <laughs> Buy him a muffler or something. Well, I'm gonna jump down off here. I gotta go. All right, buddy. Don't work too hard. hard. Yeah, I'm not. We look forward to you kicking our butt tomorrow. I know, right? I don't count on it. I'd like to, but hey, is anybody can win? Yeah. If if I get beat, then I'm gonna make somebody work for it. Hey, honestly, it might be a bit to whoever can freaking handle uh, actually stay anchored. <laughs> yeah. That's true. It's going to the weather. Why is it the weather ha always has to be uncooperative during these stupid things? Yeah. Well, the yeah. Be the beginning of the week, it looked like it was going to turn out to be really awesome here. Mm. And then all of a sudden, it just flipped. And it's like, oh, 20 mile an hour with 60 mile an hour gusts or something. And it's like, what the hell? Yeah. Hey, that's I what just... happens when Chad gets involved in anything. Yeah. You're not wrong. Yeah. That's part of it, I guess. All right, guys. I'll see y'all. See ya. Hey, buddy.
Let's go, Buggy. Here we go, Buggy. Here we go. If it's, the bridge is loud, let us know. We'll mute again. Don't hear it at all. All right. Hooks and hammocks, or I'm sorry, hooks up. All right, well, I just seen hooks. <laughs> what kind of boat is that, J Dog? Said hooks up. It is a, I believe, an 88 Sylvan Highlander. The True axe lost. Huh? Uncle Lou, give me updates that True axe lost. Bernie True axe. But he was wrestling the number two seed, wasn't he? That kid from Oklahoma State. Did you ask for his license and registration? <laughs> Say, did he pull the top of it? It kind of looks like you. It would have my testimony. Yeah, that's what I thought. I There's the Cumberland River. Yep. 
that thing would almost cover my entire little boat, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. you see the bass boat I bought last night? I bought nice one. Oh, really? That's a deep beat tracker. The tracker needs me. I just need to know that. It's been raining for about two hours. It's just I didn't want Buggy to get soaking wet, so. I'm just going to tell you what to do. Yeah. And I'm Yeah, I actually think I could make it. Uh oh, right there, Patriot Rod. Yeah. Make one of these work on this boat. Turn one to my forty towards not now. I was going back and forth. Oh, there he goes. Turn right at exit 210 on to I 65 South. Ain't called to guard, so. Yeah, don't be saying that. In one half mile, turn right at exit 210 on to I 65 South towards Huntsville. Whoa, whoa, mother. Turn right onto I sixty five South towards Huntsville now. But if I keep to the left, I go to Chattanooga. And I still bobcats fishing spots. Mm -hmm. My bad, dude. Yeah, when he shows up and I'm like already there, I'm like, my bad, dude. Proceed on I-65 South. 
How much farther you got to go, Chad? Uh, 110 miles. Goodness gracious. It's like, it was like 300 and... I can't remember, 341 miles from my house to here. Problem is, we've been, we've been uh, hit like what five different times where we just like stopped we should have been there like about uh, a half hour from now now it would be another hour and a half hour and 45 minutes yeah we've lost it about an hour due to all those stops not including stopping and getting gas ones. I wish I could just snap my fingers in the garage and be emptied out. Wow. Brooks pinned in the first one. Got it pinned. It's going to take a big two loads of that little trailer we got to get rid of all of Suppose I should maybe have a brownie to bring it to the back so I can put it on the stand. The heavyweight batches on the loose should be pretty decent too. I'm pretty sure if I look correctly, that's the one, one of the one weight classes that all eight seeds made the the quarters, all top eight. Uh -huh. And then he said, he didn't do it. I'm like, well, Pop, you got to do it twice. So you had to have put it in there. No, I didn't do that. No, I promise I didn't. I'm like, well, I don't know what to tell you then because, yeah, you know, it is what it is. And I can't open it. So I, I bet four times I've had to factory reset it. You go through and figure out all the Google, you know, password and how they make it all tie in Google's kind of a pain in the ass really. <clears throat> if I thought he could get if I thought he could open text, I'd send him a picture. Who 
Brooks wins by first period pin. Trevor yeah. Brooks, good job, Brooks. All right. Brooks Aaron, Aaron Brooks is the man. Never heard of. Oh, I hate to start on them. All the milk egg jobbies, because you kind of crack it, and next thing you know, you ain't a half a bag of them, you still feel like a bag of them. That's what they ate that man. There you go. That's the spot. Just bounce one What's off, Mike. There is a drop straight down in the hole. How you cast that with the top up, I'll never know, but good job. Because I'm a bad mofo, that's how. That ain't nothing. I can tell you that right now. It tastes like a cat would be that way. I'd like to buy me a van, I think. I had a GMC Safari van in the kids' race. It was one of them custom kind. I had, you know, the bucket seats and all that crap on the inside. And we used, I called it the Hoosier Race van. It was red and white. And it was a piece of mileage. And it was just a turnaround on the dime. The turning record is awesome. I like that because when you're on the short dirt bike track. Uh oh, there it goes again. Yep. Yeah, it's 78 degrees down here. I hope you pooped the bed. <laughs> I it's hope not gonna be that in our miserable. It's not gonna be that warm tomorrow. It's gonna be like sixty-two. Yeah, I hope you get swamp ass. <laughs> <laughs> Let's My child should be walking in. Ninety-nine miles to go. Damn, Buggy Lou said I'm starting to think Curtis is gonna put the boots to Buggy. Oh man. 
I mean, hell, Buggy's caught more today, and I've seen Eric catch the, or Curtis catch since I've known him. <laughs> you can see me shaking. I'm getting all nervous. I think Curtis should be up there running his mouth. I'm saying, why, why won't Curtis come up? Uh, we scared him off with the flathead. He doesn't know what's coming, I think. Yeah. What he said. I ain't even got the lucky rod out yet. You kidding me? I mean, he, I, I'm almost going to feel bad for him when I break out the mad cat rod. Whatever, Curtis. There he is. I fell asleep. This show is boring. Don't worry, Curtis. I'm with you. I like sleeping. I, like sleep. if I had bells on there for them, I could take a nap right now. <laughs> See you later, Curtis. <laughs> I didn't do it. Hey, Chrissy, do you have my number to send them pictures to? What did you say, Buggy? I didn't. I just. I wondered if Chrissy had the number to send them pictures to. Like, so send them to my mom and dad later tonight. Are you talking about your screenshots? Yeah. I uh, sent them to J Dog. Yeah. J Dog's got it. Okay. I think I screwed up. It says Curtis was banned and the comments was removed. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Oops. I said if I hit timeout. Now, how do I get that off? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think, well, I think it actually, I don't think you actually banned him. Uh, it says he was banned and their comments were removed. I think it says that on your end, but it was actually, he was timed out, right? Yeah, for 300 yeah, but they, yeah, give me, uh, All you did was time him out. You didn't actually ban him. Ban him. There we go. Oh, here he is right here. I can unban him here. You didn't ban him. Okay, I see it. <laughs> all you all I did was find you if you did. Yeah, I, I see it. Curtis has been banned from the comments. His comment was banned, not me. No worries. Yeah. As long yeah. as he can come back. He'll be back. Yeah, He's he back. Probably to, he probably All right. He'll be back. Oh. 
Okay, if he's not, I'll text him in a little bit. Yeah, if he don't start crying first, I won't come back up. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Poor if he baby. starts crying, I guess I got to leave him at home, right, J-Dog? That's what I said. I know. <laughs> Ain't no crying this weekend. Yeah, this is the death of no I'm going fishing. They're out fishing right now. How do you get your bands for Oh, no, Billy, that one's still at the house in the garage. <laughs> hey, where, where's the title of that one that's in the garage? Where's the what? Where's the title to it? To what? The one that's in the garage. Sitting on my TV stand. Where it's at now. I'm grabbing it before I leave. <laughs> Only problem you have is you can't get it notarized, so you're kind of screwed. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know a notary republic, buddy. I work. At, I mean, I, I have a bunch of people that do that, you know. Come on, fish. All they're doing is just pulling and let go. Pull that go. Oh, yes. Yeah, Buggy's the one timed you out, not me, Curtis. Remember that. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Kiss me. You know why that? Is. You know why they timed you out? Because you're too. You're sitting at home, and you could have been up here reading chat for us all day. That's right. No, you're too good for that. Only read hog legs chat. And then five minutes later, hog leg reads hog legs chat. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I know, they're hey. so fun. You know, you know what's funny, though, is he, at least Bugman, you know, he has his morning show. He went out after his, on his show and caught fish. That's something I don't think Hogleg's ever done. I don't think, I don't think I've ever seen Hogleg or Curtis do that. Goodbye. <laughs> I, I think Curtis has caught one fish on them. This year. Hell, even their crazy. even their new co-host Rustic. I don't think I've seen the three of them combined. <laughs> their new co-host. <laughs> the new and improved talk show, the Rusty Leg. <laughs> <laughs> You shouldn't oh. talk about Uncle Lou like that. <laughs> oh, <what's the> <laughs> Rob a leg? No, uh, well, give me one. Hell with it. Hell, it's funny. Will we'll come back yet? Uh uh. Really? No, man. Sleep. He probably went to his he mama. Like, See you guys are going back to sleep. He probably went down and told his mama that we're picking on him. Come here, Rosie. Oh, snap. I hope not. Mama, they're picking on me. What? What? I'm 
Bert Luce said, say what? What? Eric, you mean? Eric, I mean. What? Well, oh, you must know if you all worked already. Yeah. And I, I ain't left yet. I'm sitting here waiting to make my truck warm up a little bit. It's in there milking the clock. No, I already did that enough today. Sucks is I had to take my truck over to Heno and go pick up that piece of crap 1525. They better not try. Well, I might have to call off Monday. I got fishitis. I can't come to work. Oh, uh, it's going to be beautiful day. fishing Monday. I know. Stay an extra day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got, I got, I got shad pox. <laughs> hey, J Dog made me eat a shad, so I got shad pox. <laughs> so look at where we got. So then we need him. Is he talking about when I said caught him rusty leg? Is that what Uncle Lee was talking about? Do the rusty leg, yeah, do the rusty leg. I mean, you hear him more when he ro rolls around on his little, his little new contraction thingy. Yeah. Sounds like a rusty old leg. Eighty-six more miles of. Eighty-six miles. I already did triple that today. What are you talking about? <laughs> he followed it. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, because then we could have actually probably tried to catch bait this morning. Yeah. And fish. I just said you're going to go down there and you're. You're going to see pictures of Eric and Curtis and J Dog and Bug. But I hope this ain't for 5.6 miles because I'll never get ever to turn left. Come on now, don't play with it. Be a man. You going fishing? Brian ain't that. That's no. We can't. You've got to go fishing. It's good for your mental health. I gotta make sure the wife ain't got no plan. What's she got to do with anything? You just tell her, hey, I'm going fishing. Okay, she just works, but she's got something to do with her. Yeah. I might have to call off Monday. I might have to uh, fish pop. It's highly contagious. He followed it. <laughs> Don't you have to catch a fish to get fish itis? Yeah, you got to catch the fish first. Oh, hey. Hey, man, I'm going home. Yeah. Oh, I am. I'm going to go hang out with my buddy. It's always a good weekend when we got to hang out with him. Even though he treats me like shit. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember. I think his name was Joe Denton or something like that. Yeah, I ran into him a couple times at the boat ramp. 
him and his buddy. Did you hear that, Chad? No. He said, even though I treat him like crap, even though I'm about to spend sixty dollars in fuel, an hour round trip, and get the bait and use my equipment, but I treat him like crap. I know. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. What you just said. <laughs> yeah, One you. nothing. Yeah, I got to take my uh, pin. I'm on the phone with him now. I, he's listening. I got to take my pin, pin ball yeah. or whatever it is down there so you can look at it because I think I got a janky one, to be honest. You too. Watch out for that FedEx truck. They don't know how to drive. That's my buddy Mike that works here. He fishes over at Greg's Dam. By the Columbus Zoo. <laughs> They had a pretty good match in uh, no way. Yonder lost. Wow. That that's shocking to me. All right. Do you want to move back down to where the bars ran us out, or do you want to go to the island? Whichever you choose. No, I did not say that. I asked you. This is your damn river. Just wherever you tell me we're going to go fishing. No, you tell me where we're going. Take him to the island. Take him to the island. Go to the fish catching spot. Yeah, take him to the island. Fish catching spot. That's where we need to go. Your call, man. I don't know. All right, let's go back down where the bars ran us out. Then. All right. All right, so another one can run you out again? Uncle Lou, I bet uh, Wyatt, Wyatt Henderson is freaking ecstatic that Yonder lost. Six to four. Wow. That Feldman from Ohio State's pretty daggone good. He actually gave uh keep look a couple good matches. Keep it a bay. Say somebody from Ohio State was good. Well, if you did Big Ten wrestling, all them heavyweights were freaking. Did you just say you so, like Ohio State guy? Wow. I would have never uh, thought no. that would came out of Chad's mouth. I said he is a good wrestler. He is not Penn State heavyweight caliber, but he's he'll probably, I'm pretty sure he's a young, younger class, too. He'll probably be a, looking at national titles in the next year or two. Yeah. Okay, Buggy. Chris and Telly are in the basement. We're going to try again. Come on, Buggy. Oh, and uh, J Dog, check your messages. Oh, they're both playing with the rods. Uh. Chris and Telly in the basement. I heard you. Shut up. Put yourself back on solo. I heard you. Shut up. Check your messages. <laughs> what are you doing, Chris and Tally? Driving. Driving. Getting hungry. There you go. You guys want to see my messages? I can't see that. They can, but I can.
told you he'd be a crybaby. Crybaby. Oh, man. I get him fixed. You fix him. <laughs> Uncle Lou's taking a break. He's been working pretty hard. He has. He's been keeping me great, greatly posted. I appreciate him. What happened to Bob Kitty? He got tired of uh, hanging out with the, what he called the greatest angler he ever seen and Ted King of the true king of the Tennessee. And, I'd take a map or something to consult. Tell he wasn't even in there hanging out. I don't know what he's talking about. Well, if J Dog went down there and fished, he'd be the true Tennessee king. We all know this. You probably would. I've said about. 500 times that J-Dog is 10 times the pitcher than I am, but minimal. Wow, I still can't believe younger Petita lost. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, He's a guy from Cuba that moved up to heavyweight this year and like, tearing the hell out of everybody. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that freaking hurt. Yeah, he was trying to loop the truck and the boat. Yeah, we just, point. yeah, that thing must have been about a foot deep in five different spots. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and Jay, I'm with you on that if you don't hurt him even. That's Mike Tyson you're talking about there. That. I'm sorry, man. That guy, he hits really, really hard. He bites pretty hard, too. Yeah, he bites pretty hard. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's been known to. Hold on, I'll put you guys back where you was. How close are you guys, Chad and 81 miles to the hotel. Oh, okay. Forever. Hey, we just passed the one about shot. Yeah. It's already breaking rules. Yeah, it says we'll be there at 3.39. Oh, you're going back in time. I was like, wait a minute. That's why. It's like 20 minutes. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, we're, we pan, we went <laughs> central time a long time ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uncle Lou, little does he know that Aaron Brooks could whoop him, you, and me all at the same time. Aaron Brooks is a beast. Seen any, have you seen any eating establishments along the way? I have not. Have you been not looking? Yet. Huh? Have you been looking? I 
have. As well as you can see my super sales. <laughs> This might be the worst drive you've had. Hey, we got our camp set up. Good deal. But I've already booked a room for tonight. You can't cancel it? I don't know. Kind of like the idea, just because we know it for sure it's going to rain tonight. Uh, it, it's, it's supposed to be raining here right now, and it's not. It's not a drop. I feel like that thing keeps getting farther away. The wind is crazy bad out here right now. Though. That lake. Ugh. I would not be out there on that lake right now. Of course, tomorrow. I'm not going to be on the lake. That is a guarantee that we're not going to be on the lake tomorrow. Mainly because of the wind. Catch me a fish.
Lord. I'm supposed to be as close as I want to be, woman. You're gonna open a door, dang. You can't give me full screen, can you? Hello. Hello. Can anybody hear me? No. It's J Dog taking Buggy to J Dog Island. They won't put me on full screen because, uh, what are you live? I'm on bug on bug man. I'm bug man. Oh, Can you guys hear us or not? Hmm? Yes. Yeah, we hear you. Yes. We're standing here looking at Bobcat. If you want to put me on full screen. Well, I mean, we just now I heard you. We just stopped. Hi, how are you? Hey, Jay Dog caught him more fish. I don't know. We were sitting there. Yeah, we had set up Yeah, we Alright, you can take us off full screen now. Yeah, you wanted it. Keep it. Softball jersey for my shirt. Careful, Bobcat. Chris just wants to be there so he can rub your head for luck. I understand why that volume is so low. It's windy. You're very that lake. My volume's lake all is, the way up too. That lake is weird. Look, everyone has pegged out. Huh. How bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. That's why we didn't see his truck. Back there. Oh, yeah, well, I'm driving around. You know how many times? We I, we went, Look, we can't see And then see I turned around. And see out. Went, yeah, stealth mode on. Yeah, I keep it until Anna starts driving. I'm driving the Ranger and I keep it hooked my boat. So, my, my boat so I can Let's go see the Bob boat. Is that all right? Good. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're getting special privileges yeah. walking through the shop. Big fish energy. What should we do to it? Rub, rub your belly button lid on it. Oh, I'm rubbing something on it. Gross. You need the bug man sticker on there. That's what it needs. Need fish on it. They don't ever have that on there. <laughs> <laughs> you got no fish in the boat today. Ain't no fish on that boat. Smells like fish. Wasting time. time. This is going to be a problem tomorrow if that's all the louder this volume is getting. Huh? If I, this is as loud as my volume is going to get, it's going to be a problem tomorrow. I've what? got you guys turned completely all the way up, and I can barely hear you. You need to power down, power up, restart it. Hit the three dots. You tell me what to do. You're not the boss of me. No. I know I had that problem, and I couldn't figure it out. And I hit those three dots, and I turned the other one up, and it worked good. This is a bait shop as much as it, it is, is a, a print shop. Yeah, the title's taken. All right, we're leaving. Love you all. Bye. Here's the next big river we're facing, the Duck Scenic River.
it's all right. It's okay, man. It's all right. Basically, the bed is the original. It wasn't. <laughs> Barry Curtis is back. All right, brother. I was worried that he got you blocked accidentally, and I didn't want to hurt your feelings too bad. It was purely accidental. Yeah, he did. Oh, operator error. Mean to us. Oh, were you being mean to us? He said that uh, we were boring. Oh, well, you know what? I, I like being old and boring. It took me a long time to get here. Eventually, old and boring is not too bad. To be That's if you had a hard price. Is that that one? That's a good one right there. Brother, he's put this top down. It ain't a problem by me. I wish I'd known you needed a cotter pin for that. I probably got a whole box of cotter pins at home. I can say, yeah, I got a whole box of them at home. I did have some really good duct tape. My buddy works at 3M in Hartford City, and he brought me two nice big rolls of duct tape two years ago, and I'm down to about three quarters of the last roll because Dad used it on everything. And this stuff here, dude, is the strongest tape I've ever seen. Because he said he could only get it when they run at certain times. All right, fish. I'm telling you right now, this is your chance for Friday dinner. Come on out and eat. If you don't, you're going to wish you had. Just saying. That tree got to be pretty good sized because that's 17 foot of water there. So, What'd they do? All get mad and go home? Yeah. Took their ball and went home. Oh, well. That's all right. No, they're all still there except for Chris and then they left. Yeah. We're still here. We're still here. I knew you was. I if, did that, if that even matters. It matters to me. That's a pretty big house up there. Uh, square footage. Right there. Outlook. 
sick right there. I know. I know, uh, Eric's gone. He's not here, no, no. Not bad. He didn't have that many sprinkles. There's the link, Eric, and there's the link for Curtis if he wants to come up and apologize to us for saying we're boring. If not, he's dead to us. If not, you'll leave him on the bank when you guys lost the boat tomorrow. Yep. If not, yeah. I will literally put him in my boat, get him about halfway down the boat ramp. I'll flip my latch up and kick the tongue off the trailer and or off the ball and watch him go rolling down the boat ramp wide <laughs> open in the boat. Better have your PSD on. Your personal freak device. Yeah, get your freak on, baby. I don't mind. Get your freak on. Whatever <laughs> you're into, I'm okay with. Just always remember that. Freak honey. on. Freak on. Monk artist, get up here and apologize for calling us boring. Right here, I'm going to get me a pipe that fits in this and sits up about this high. Yep. And I'm going to put something on it that I can just clamp this yeah. to it. That way it's literally sitting you know, mm -hmm. right in my face and they'll have a straight view of the yep. rods there. Not going to happen. Why don't come up here and talk to us? How about that? Come up and say hi to me, Curtis, at least, buddy. Come on. Don't hurt my come on, Curtis. Come on up here. Come here, buddy. We all come here, little buddy. Oh, snakey. snakey, are you a slippery snake? I don't want no snake. Are you a biggest snake? Yeah. Me and snakes got an agreement. They stay away from me. Now we're in the rain. Nope. Uh, nope. Delta Dawn, what's Delta Curtis whining on? Curtis, the man. You've been live for 10 hours and 12 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got a lot of work in clearing that spot right over there. Uh-huh. And they brought a bunch of stone in so they could build a yeah, door. Yeah, yeah. I think Curtis always the one to tell everybody, don't be so sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Don't be sensitive. Please don't be sensitive, buddy, buddy. We love you, though. Love you is all that matters. If didn't love you, we wouldn't give you. We're going to bust a 20 out this weekend. That's the rest of the day, all day tomorrow, and most of the day Sunday to do it. He said we're like little children. <laughs> and you say that like it's a bad thing. No, we just want you to come up here and talk to us. I like being a kid. You ain't hit no link. I've been sitting here looking at it. Good try, though. 
Give me one down there. I think the Eric ride ought to get the hit over there now. Eat all you want. I got another uh, bag uh, in the car, man. You're going to get these once a year during Easter. You got to eat all you can while you can get them. Otherwise, you got to dream about them the rest of the year. Or you could go to hopefully the, the Walmart and hope they have some left at clearance day. <laughs> but you got to get there when they open. And then freeze them. I'm not sure you can even freeze them. I don't know. Come on, Curtis. I'm watching for the red light. Curtis. Curtis. Rudy. Curtis. <laughs> you know, Rudy's one of them movies I'm flipping through when it's on. I got to stop and watch it for the end. Never watched it. Oh, man. It's one of them feel good stories, man. What, the <laughs> <laughs> and there's some movies you just can't watch unless they're on like Cinemax or something like Fast Times at Ridgemont High because it's not worth watching if you can't see Phoebe Cates come out of the pool. Right. What's up? You hear that? No, what is it? The sound of snipples and tears. Who's crying? He just joined. Well, I know I'm, that. I'm a, well, I wish this was backstage. I'd kick you right in the shin, Chad. Oh, look, he's oh, he, he's spicy when he's angry. It ain't backstage. That's all it was. <laughs> oh, buggy! You know what it is like being backstage. <laughs> what? Well, I, I tried to end it, and then J Dog told me it wasn't ended. <laughs> like really? I thought I hit end. Oh, yeah, I know. Stan, I got it. Stan, he got a PB blue, his PB fly head, and a trifecta today. So we're gonna we're gonna stop at the hospital and get him some medicine for the trifecta. Yeah, I've been watching. I've been watching all morning. You got a trifection. <laughs> trifection. <laughs> so, 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 dog, does this mean I'm not going to get any kind of candy on my bed pillow or anything? I was going to put you, honestly, a whole gigantic big bag of M&Ms on there, but you called me names and I ain't doing it now. We ate them. Sorry. <laughs> Remember, he was remember gonna them sprinkle, all. Right, he was gonna on, sprinkle peanut M and M's all over like the bed, like they were flower petals. I was. <laughs> yeah. but, um, Chad, you shut your face, mouth. It's like you're angry, little. I got a whole bag in the car. Here, here, I was hoping that you'd be the one that win that. Well, we really we know it's going to be Miss D when the king of the Tennessee. I want to see anybody win besides Chris. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got to root for Bobcat tomorrow, guys. Not, not me. Uh, not me. I'm rooting for Chad and D. I love them, but they didn't end up in the hospital with open heart surgery this year. If so. I had to, if I had to pick a Tennessee, there's definitely Bobcat. Yeah. But I am definitely pulling for D and Chad. Me oh, too. You guys are basing it on what river that you just fish. Okay, I see. Yeah, now. No, I'm basing on who's fishing. Oh. Yeah. I want to do for Bobcat because he had a bad year. So I want him to see him, you know, have something positive happen. Hey, Bugman, who's to say who's to say Chad and D didn't have a bad year? Yeah. We just don't see our stuff. Yeah. Wait a minute. Let's see. A new boat I mean, and a really cool blue pickup. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, but I mean, D has a bad year, uh, a bad day every day. She's got to see Chad. Right? Oh, no. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the highlight. Yeah. Of my 
that would be the highlight of every morning for me waking up to see Chadwick. She's like, Chad, what's up, dude? Good to see you today. Oh, Chad. Uh-oh. It's raining. It's getting harder and harder to hear. I hope you guys keep it down that way. I hope it, if it does do Uh-oh. anything, I just hope it. I hope it just sprinkles on you guys. I hope you guys get no wind. Oh man, that wind not looks good tomorrow. That's the part that I was kind of like, I don't even know if we're coming down here for. Yeah, I heard and I saw that. I can imagine. I have that is a bad guy too. I've been around sixty-five. Same thing, jet skis have got just bigger. A lot of them got twin motors, yeah. Three days, three days ago, it was supposed to be perfect. The rain was supposed to have ended by now, and tomorrow was like no rain, no wind, hardly any wind, and then all of a sudden Mm. something. Totally flip. Daryl. Like, Daryl. Yeah. Tennessee flip. <laughs> I mean, you guys, you guys already pretty much won that belt already. In, in my opinion, you already won it. Well, there you go. Right in front of you. A little extra secret. Oh, yours. And you hey, know what? Hey, I always root for Bobcat to win it too, but you know I can't really root against us. So yeah, have fun time. Yeah, hopefully we can catch a bit. Well, you know I hope he catches at least one, but I'm still rooting for D and Chad. We appreciate Mark it. my word. Mark my words, Chad will catch a 36 pounder tomorrow. What's D going to catch? 42. <laughs> that's that's right. That's my boy right there. That's my boy. What? <laughs> and me and Buggy and Eric and Curtis and Tara are going to catch hypothermia. <laughs> and wind burn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got one more, Lou. But I don't know how long you've been gone. <laughs> I messaged him. Uh, that that uh, Brooks kid. That yeah, Brooks kid. He looks like a thug. <laughs> He's that. What's funny is he is. One of the most down to earth people that was in that tournament. Yeah. From what I can see. But I don't know. Late night, I can not believe. I, I told Uncle Lou I think I could take him, though. <laughs> 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 In about 45 minutes, half hour, or about 45 minutes, we'll go. No worries. Oh, you got your new set of word. Hold on, I got this thing in this one. You got to come no, out. Not going at all. Oh, okay. Okay. Unless I'm going to try to take this off at one, I don't like people who start this one. Under an hour. Whoop, whoop. Fifty minutes to go. Unless we keep going. <laughs> I didn't say that, Uncle Lou. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> he'll probably, <laughs> he'll pro he'll probably check right. Eric's oil. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. Uncle Lou, I heard I heard Curtis wants Aaron Brooks to uh, reverse Dieter him. Oh no, 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 no! I ain't, I ain't into that kind. Of, nope, not into that wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Dieter would be in the bait shop last night. <laughs> I thought he was going to be the new co-host. Huh? Hey man, how do you know he wasn't? You didn't watch. Yes, I did. I just didn't say anything. Eric, Eric watched because Eric, Eric likes me better, so. I didn't say anything. I hit my thumbs up and I sat and watched. Well, now I know you're lying. You gave me a thumbs up. Yeah. I always do. <laughs> that that ain't a joke. I always do. I hit the thumbs up as soon as I come in. Everybody show. Yeah, that's what I do too. It, I I don't I like the idea. Of, yeah, I don't like the idea of having to remind everybody, but it seems like you you do. Honestly, I, sometimes I try, I try to, and then I'm like, at the same time, I'm like, it's not even worth asking for. And I get people forget. Yeah. Sometimes I do too, but eh, I don't want to feel like I'm begging all the time for thumbs up. Yeah, that's exactly what I feel like all the time. That or I read chat like two days before Hog Lake does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, there was a comment made about that earlier. <laughs> yeah, no, I I, I heard. <laughs> ten, ten minutes later. Hey, he likes he likes to be thorough. He likes to go back and and read the comments. Hey, at least you guys pay attention to chat. <laughs> like some other shows where, you know. <laughs> well, hey, they only get like 10 messages in chat an hour. And they're all from small water. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just glad that I'm just glad they stopped doing that, putting uh, Chad in the basement all the time. <laughs> I thought that's no. I'm being serious. Like I told him, Eric had kind of. I thought that was getting a little old, and I didn't think it was all that funny. It is sometimes. Not, not to me. When you're watching it, you're looking for the superstar, and then he's gone. It, it, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he knows what I'm laying down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's asking you the last you fade to exit. Oh, they're gone. Again. They're gone again. You guys are taking over again. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Stan Three. That's an You'll awesome boat. If it starts to get dimmed, you just gotta touch it and it'll come back on. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to know where to turn it off. I'm not sure if I want to fish with these two tomorrow. touching it. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Stan 3 says I need to stop sucking up to Chad and D. <laughs> hey, I haven't got to fish with Miss D yet. I fished with Chad, but I haven't fished with Miss D. Yeah. You think thirty minutes away, I'd get to a lot more, but I have I have went out to eat with them guys though. Yep. 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 Ghostbusters. Turn I have officially fished with somebody that lives uh, 10 hours away more than I had somebody that lives 30 minutes. 
Mm-hmm. I'm just putting that out there. Yeah, I I seen half century. Don't fish with him. I seen it. <laughs> yeah, him too. <laughs> oh, I, I thought that's who you were talking about. <laughs> no, he knows who I'm talking about. Oh, you talk about my buddy Chad. I am. What are you gonna do about it? I'll kick you in the shin when I see you tomorrow. You ain't allowed down here, remember? Uh, Terry Terry Stanfield wanted well, to know you caught any big ones today. Yeah, I'll send you pictures when we get off here, Terry. Remember calling me names in that message? Nope, don't remember mean names you said. at all. Nope, huh? don't nope, don't recall anything you're talking about. Oh. Mm. That was the, that was the evil Curtis. Hey, look, see, even Aunt Chrissy went and took a nap. Evil Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy, Chrissy says, okay, I'm back. Chrissy Brown. How many times you fished with them? Once. Only one time fishing with Chrissy and Ernie. Hmm. Uh-huh. That'll change this year. I'll get them down here. Miles of Birmingham. Mm. Guarantee it. I'll fish with Chrissy multiple times this year. That's a long jog down there to go fishing. Where's that? Down to Alabama. Hey, Mike. Sorry. Yeah. I was down circuit town actually. You got a seven year old sleeping with him, yeah. <laughs> I'd imagine that would keep you up. Man, I bet your fishing be good tonight. Mm-hmm. Well, she say that, then you come out here at night and skunk. Mm, nothing. Hey, I'm I'm on on big flatty, a big blue, and some channels. We're all right. You should have kept those yeah. channels to them for dinner. That's true. Yeah, buggy, that was that was pretty awesome. It wasn't thirty minutes into the show and you were already catching a trifecta. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well I mean, thirty minutes into the when you guys started fishing, I should say, not thirty minutes into the show. <laughs> yeah, it took you thirty <laughs> minutes to get out of the driveway. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, and then J Dog no, sitting there waving that, that, was a, that, that was strawberry Swiss roll. Come here, boy. Yeah, he looked like those wall Rollises or Walruses or whatever they are at the uh, Sea World. <laughs> I'm over I'm here, buddy. <laughs> when you do, you'll be like, man, I wish I'd have been taking it slow and easy all these past years going by so fast. <laughs> Especially these five days when pop, I don't have to worry about pop. You kidding me, man? I ain't gonna do anything fast. I need to figure right, out how yeah, to buggy. Go crap ton of chubs for tomorrow. <laughs> or at least for Sunday. Sunday's gonna be the big day. Come on, dog. I'm setting that up what? too easy. <laughs> go ahead with it. I don't care. Herbert. It's a show. It is a bug man show. show. Go ahead. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> You can't embarrass me, so go ahead, have fun. Twitter or whatever, I don't care. Mm. Although I knew I do need to download all my videos and load them up to my you know little hard drive jobby. Yeah, you, you ought to make it shorter out of them uh, fish you caught earlier there, Buggy. Yeah, yeah, I will, I think. That was a nice flyhead. Yeah. I don't know how, I just make three separate shorts. I swear that was that one I caught what, last year, the year before last. It just grew up. <laughs> you wish. That one would have ate the one you caught. That's what I'm saying. It grew up. It's been, what, two years? I've been dying to catch one of those like that. Uncle Lou said, "You guys gonna, you guys gonna hang out, pick up park." Hell no, we about to leave. We about to go to Applebee's. Applebee's. 
apple beads on a Friday night. Tip basket. What? Rib tip basket. Mm. Riblet basket, whatever they call them. At Applebee's. Yeah, that other restaurant will be closing, wouldn't it? <laughs> they used to have like an Oriental yeah. salad that was killer. I like that little restaurant you got that we always keep going to. I tell mom about it all the time, too. So you would like it. The decor and everything it's is right, cool I in there. It's in my bowl. <laughs> He takes a nap. This is when the stencil comes out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Butter, I want my treat, buggy. <laughs> I told him, I said, no damn treats at 10 o'clock. I get off my porch and go home. I go home, go money. to bed. <laughs> that dog's got one mind. That dog's got a one mind track. <laughs> Come in here bothering me this early in the night. <laughs> That's funny. Bad as getting phone calls at ten o'clock at night. <laughs> Late night phone calls don't usually mean anything but something bad. Mm. A bucket of chubs. <laughs> Can a brother get a bucket of chubs? Yummy, yummy, fry them up like fish fingers. Just eat them whole. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm not. I'm not sure, but I'm. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not what Uncle Lou's saying there. <laughs> oh. Y'all being dirty. <laughs> Y'all nasty. You nasty. <laughs> nasty. Hey, when we get to your house, you want me to park her by that pontoon? I want again? you to shut the up, so I want you to do it. Don't you fucking kiss my ass. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I'll pull up and park right in the middle of the driveway and shut that car off and lock it. There's old Donald Knight, three nights. Hey, Say Donald, hello, everybody. He said, Buggy, you all wound up. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Billy wants to know what kind of bait Curtis and Eric are using tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, whatever they can find between here and there. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> D. <laughs> yeah, buggy throws, buggy download videos. All right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> so I had to be good. Earlier, so yeah. Now I can't see how many people's in here. Uh, I can't see them. Nineteen. Man. Nineteen. But heck, it's got fifty-eight thumbs up. Yeah. Rock on. There's the old Elk River. 
all this water and you just won't let me fish. <laughs> yes. We fish. We, we passed over the Kentucky River, Green River, Duck River, Cumberland River, Elk River. Here comes the barge. Barren oh, yeah, River. I can't that here. He's coming by himself again. Pushing through, just, through the water. He's just looking for you guys. You lucky Sammy ain't on the boat with you guys. This is a different guy. Hopefully he's not an a-hole like the other one. Oh, I saw that other one. I was like, oh, I hope you turn around. Uptown Chrissy Brown. Uptown Chrissy Brown. Because I, I figured the uh, the camera here didn't do it justice. No, when I moved, he was only 50, 60 feet behind us. He was coming mm. right at us. He didn't care. Mm. I mean, he literally come over on our side and hammer down, just come running up our side right towards us. Mm. We'd had to use some adult words to that fella. <laughs> All right. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get out of that big chunk. They do. Can't believe you. It's been so freaking long since I've got to come down here. Which one's that? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna let him go by, and then we're gonna go. Yep. Where are you going to? Uh, home, and then Maysville to Applebee's. Applebee's. I can't believe you're taking you're taking them to our restaurant, J Dog. <laughs> That's why. That's what happens when you leave me. Is Buckman waving at somebody? Yeah, the barge driver. That one there slowed down. It stayed over on the bank over there, out of you know, instead of being up on us. Nice. <laughs> See, that's the way you're supposed to do it right there, sir. Yep. Yeah, look, he got past us, then he hammered down. What he doing? Oh, going back out to the Ohio? Huh? What's he doing? Going back to the Ohio? Yeah, he's going back to the Ohio now. And he won't be back till probably midnight or so. Have you looked at the weather for tomorrow, Curtis? Has it changed any? Mm, a little bit. It's a forty percent chance of rain, and it's uh, going to be like in the fifties. I'm more worried about the wind. I don't care about the rain. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't even pay attention to the wind. Bugman would keep his mouth shut. We'd be all right then. <laughs> that, might, that might counteract some of the wind. Uh -oh. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Sweet old Alabama, here we are. Here we are now. Here we are now. Fish, I'm Stone. coming here for you. Yeah, Stonefly says rain in the morning. Sampy says, "Hey, buggy." Yeah. Hey, Sampy. 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 Hey, Chadwick. J Dogwick. Uh, where would I get another remote for my uh, Tarova? Mine's messed up. I put a new battery in it, but it's still reading low and like flashing. It's still working, but it's like making weird flashing. I thought you had two I've of them. I've never seen one do that. Yeah. Battery. 
I mean, it still comes on and works, but it's breathing like eight miles an hour, and I'm not even moving. Uh, that means it doesn't sound like it's working. Have you tried to do a factory reset on it? Or restore restore no. defaults? Uh -uh. I would try that first. I would try I that. Do. I'd have to look at it. You had to go to, like, settings and stuff. I mean, the roller motor works. I could turn it on and, you know, work it and all that, but the remote's going crazy. Both of them are doing it. Both? That's weird. Yeah, I know. Turn one of them off. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you can only do one at a time. I mean, I'm no... One at a time. Yeah, I'm no rocket Yeah, there's a party bar. And then, like Chad said, reset one, reset the one, one of them. Sampy. You know, I have Roger. He knows a lot about them. Hey, buggy. There's a Christopher Hall that's in your basement. I have no idea who that is, but it's, he's in the basement. That's his, uh, ain't that the guy that's see you? See yeah, off, from, see from Oklahoma. You know why Texas is still on the map? <laughs> Oklahoma sucks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Skip Jack, Cindy. Oh, Cindy. I don't know if I drive over there. Yep, that's who it is. Skip that Cindy. And Travis. Travis is probably awake. Building another rest area there. Hey, J Dog, Stonefly says Bass Pro Amazon has them. I don't know if you heard me. I don't know if you heard me there, dog. I heard you. All right. I don't know why both remotes will be doing the same thing. Uh, they're special remotes. I mean, I still could I, use it, but it's still annoying. I'd pull the battery out of one, and then, like Chad said, reset the other one, and then see if it works. I think he's talking about resetting the trolling motor, not the troll, not the remote. Duh, that's what I'm saying. Durr. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fly says try re reconnecting it. How do you reset it? Yes, don't fly. Yeah, bossy boots, tell us. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yes, bossy boots, tell us. Travis is out fishing right now. Cindy's on her way to meet him there. Friday night fishing. I'm glad Jay Dog and uh, Buggy are wrapping it up because I hate to see them go up there on that uh, Pontoon Jody show and show them what it is. Start catching fish. This is how you catch fish, folks. Hey, dog, Stonefly says, isn't it on trolling motor? Hit the button on the top or blue Bluetooth. I don't know the easy sassy pants. <laughs> oh, he's gone. 
Yep, we're driving. Yep, yep. It's the it's the D and Chad show again. <laughs> Still driving. Yeah, driving in the rain. Yep, thirty miles left. <laughs> Only. <laughs> You guys would have been there already if it wasn't for that one accident. It, well, we would have been there if it was more like the park. We, would, we had like five different stops on the interstate because of them. Yeah, I, I saw that one. In Tennessee. Yeah, there was one in Tennessee. Yeah, just before. Yeah, just before. Yeah. <laughs> Stonefly said you could have just went to Tennessee and been there already. Yeah. And Wallbash, and then Wallbash Nate said, You mean Chad's quest to hit every pothole? <laughs> That's like an everyday quest. <laughs> yeah, did they actually say it had to be the Tennessee River or did they just say did they just say Tennessee River? Oh, a Tennessee oh River. no. Don't don't get me involved in that again. Kevin Kevin gave me the business about that. Don't don't get me involved. He already dislikes me. <laughs> I already did that once. He he doesn't like that. <laughs> Skipjack Cindy wants to know, are you guys going to Tennessee? I'm letting you guys answer that, that one. We're here in Alabama right now. To fish the Tennessee River. To fish the Tennessee that's, River. That's right. I had that cleared up for me. <laughs> it are all called lakes instead of tails like we do in Ohio. <laughs> for the Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Bobcat. Bobcat said not good enough to come to Tennessee and fish. You no, know, last time I did, they flipped and cried about it. Yeah, you would have took the belt home. They went and ate without us. And then they went and ate without us. Didn't even invite us. Mm. They are, Stonefly, they are fishing the Tennessee River. Well, the branch, uh, branch of it. The nice thing about the only, I mean, everywhere everybody's fish is going to have a lot of wind tomorrow. I hope not. But we should hopefully be without rain where we're at. I hope right above, right above you and D, it just there's like a bubble right there where no wind bothers you. Uh, I, I hope, man, but I, I'm not. Right now, I'll be honest. I don't know if I'm looking, really looking forward to fishing tomorrow. <laughs> I can just see Chad and D. Screw this. We're just going to go eat. <laughs> well, they do have this place called the Catfish Cabin. Oh, we'll be going there tonight. Oh. And it is awesome. We're going to go oh, check in the hotel. We're going to run down to the bait stop store. And then we'll probably go to dinner. Mm. Bobcat said well, they didn't invite well, me either. I just actually went to the restaurant. I need to make one more stop. Party. They should be right next to Bobcat. Hey, Bobcat can't catch no fish. Stonefly. That that's all been fake advertising right there. Bobcat. He, he don't catch fish no more. Oh. Yeah, I heard something about it was Photoshop or something. I, I even messaged Bobcat asking if he would fit with us that day, and he ignored all my messages. Yep. Act like he don't know nobody. Mm -hmm. But then I heard he, he said something to other people like, I can't, you know, I can't be seen with non-Tennessee people. So That's right. I remember him saying that. He said he'll keep running your mouth. <laughs> 
<laughs> he just gave Chris and Telly a bunch of information, didn't he? Probably. I already knew he liked Chris and Telly more than he likes me and me. So. Yeah, but I, that, that was the proof right there. I mean, you just seen it. The locals rule, he said. <laughs> I mean, I ain't afraid to tell people that Bobcat's my favorite, but whatever. Is this the right exit? Did it just change? I have no <laughs> idea, Eric. I think they lost signal again. Yeah, they just like dropped out. They were putting rod sleeves on it. Yeah. Stonefly said they didn't take their bumping rods, Chris and Telly. Cars are in the boat, but yeah. Bob won't teach us how to bump, so. Tennessee don't really have currents, so usually, so. Oh, oh, listen to Bobcat here. You know I love you, Chad, but I'm so offended that she won't come fish with me. Who won't come fish with you? Mm, I don't know. Who's... Well, you just insulted her. <laughs> you said you love Chad, not D. <laughs> I'll be honest. We might drop. I have no idea where we're at right now. Uh, you're in a you're in a truck going down a highway. Uh, white bison coffee. He said D. He said D. <laughs> Turn right now. Turn right now. Dang. That's, that, is, that right there is bossy boots right there. Oh, yeah. This the gas in the time you could have saved <laughs> going to going fish, to fish with the top guy. I know, right? <laughs> Okay, so everybody knows if you ever ask Chad if we want to do something, you need to ask me because he will forget to ask me or tell me anything about it. Um, yeah, well, nine times out of ten, I get asked why, you know, with messages while I'm at work. I can tell you by the end of my day at work, I have tried to forget everything about that day. And I don't blame him. No. He says he forgets. He does. Stonefly. We've seen him at work. I've seen him backstage at work. <laughs> Don't look like it's all that fun. I have a very mentally stressful job. Oh, I can see. It is, that's why you, it that's, is not physical at all, but mentally it wears me out a lot of days. That's why you got all that gray hair now. Shut up, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I don't have gray hair and I'm 11 years older than you. So. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> uh, Bobcat's making excuses. Do you need me to dye your hair again? Um, It's not dyed right now, so shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> he about to get jack slapped. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. He said the crazy thing is most of the time when we come down, there's not enough float of them. Oh, honestly, that's my luck, my kind of luck. Every time I want to go somewhere, something's not right. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> that's why we got to try and be good at fishing because we are not lucky. At all. Oh, God. No, we have <laughs> zero luck. At least you're not going over the one of them uh, dams like you did, uh, what was it, a couple years ago? When you went down to, what was it, Virginia or something like that? What do you mean? Well, what did you guys get? What was it, like a little one of them, what do you call a dam or something like that you hit a long time ago? I think it was like two years ago. I might be down here where Wilson you're talking about. I can't remember, but I remember you guys telling a story about that. 
where you went too far or something like that. I, I kept thinking it was, it was like in Virginia or something when you went down by the dock or something. And what what did we do? I, I think it was a little uh, dam, like one of them little dam things, or I forget what they're called. Oh, he's talking about when we tried to go. Oh, when we tried to go up that creek and yeah, was, yeah, was yeah that. No, that was down here where we're going. Uh oh, this creek is about I don't know, hundred hundred yards wide or so, mm -hmm. and you can only enter about a tenth of it. Because they, mm -hmm. they used to have an old um, rock bridge that they rock blew up and it's all piled right there. You can't, I mean, you can't see it. There's a sign on each side of the creek, but nothing in the middle saying, you know, you can't get there. Mm. Yeah, so you're thinking, okay, both the you know, sides of the creek where it would be shallower, don't go there. But right. uh, no, it's right in the middle. Don't go anywhere in the middle of those signs. Yeah. Jeez. How many boats got tore up going through there? Uh, yeah, enough that the people on the porch just yell, put your motor up! Yeah, motor <laughs> up, motor up! <laughs> like, oh, okay. And all of a you're like, oh, oh, boom! Like, yeah. Oh, damn. I got it, thanks! <laughs> hey, Mike Greenwell. Something Mike's back. <laughs> Mikey! Yeah, we're still driving, Mikey, because... All the people in Tennessee are trying to keep us from the water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've had five five different times the traffic stopped on the interstate, and four of them were in Tennessee. Hey, looky there. There's Brian Big Fish. See, <laughs> I'm so proud of you. You knew what the B stood for. Big Fish. Yeah. <laughs> Brian's my Brian's my boy. He said better than what I drive. That's better than what I say the B stands for to him. <laughs> so, Mike's won second place in Big Fish. Yep. Way to Congratulations. go. Congratulations, Mikey. Excuse me. Stonefly, don't listen to Stan. Yeah, we don't <laughs> listen to Stan. <laughs> he told that story one too many times. And we just drowned him out now. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> It's awfully nice and buggy to leave his show to us. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is uh, Catfish uh, Chris going to be on the show every week now? Cannot confirm nor deny that. All right. Why are you trying to? You're going to try to. Pluck him from underneath us? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've already told you at CatCon, no. <laughs> as long as it's a superstar, uh, I don't leave the show. We're, 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 we're all good. I ain't going nowhere. Who, Brian? <laughs> no, she just said it. Come on, everybody knows. <laughs> you would never know, Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know, Brian. I'm just going with Brian Big Fish Cat. Hey, everybody. Hey, Buggy, welcome back. <laughs> Hello. I'm going to end this thing now, 11 hours and some minutes, it looks like. What's All sorry? right. <laughs> And I'll see you guys in the morning. And those of you fishing tomorrow, good luck. Uh, All right, buggy. Take care, buddy. You guys, yeah, catch you guys, Chad, tomorrow. you guys be careful on the rest of your trip. All right. All right. Thank you. Yep. Be, be safe and good luck, guys. See you hey, guys. Brian, see you guys. How are you, brother? 
I'm out of here. Bye. All right. Bye, everybody. We'll see if Buggy hits the end button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.